Hello. 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 Is this is this is this thing on? This is this is my this is my first time streaming. I'm nervous. What am I supposed to do? Chat, how am I supposed to stream? Oh, oh, run ads? Yo, true, true, dude. I should just run shit tons of ads. Absolutely. <clears throat> what I meant to say was shit. What I meant to say was. What I meant to say was. My dudes, what's going on? How are we doing today, chat? How are we doing today? The beautiful day of out alone. Out alone. My dudes. Oh, by the way, shout outs to fucking Soen, who thought it'd be a good idea to be like, Hmm, we need a, we need a new GP role in the Discord. Let's set it to a hundred K. Like who the, f like you can tell that someone doesn't play Eidolon that fucking sets the GP for requirement for a new role to a hundred K. Nobody in any of the guilds has a hundred K GP. I don't even think I don't even think anybody in Ethereum has a hundred K GP. What are we saying here? Now we're changing that to fifty K. All right, yeah, we're turning that we're turning that down to fifty k. Right, that's not that's not going to be a hundred k. It's crazy talk, crazy talk, absolutely berserk. Clearly, we need to get good. Hundred k is low. I don't know, bro. I don't know a single person that's got a hundred k. All right, clearly a preemptive role for two years from now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's people with 75k though. Yeah, but you guess what that isn't? 100k. 75k is at 100k. It's close, but that only counts as in horseshoes and hand grenades. So, I mean, it's not. Highest in Ethereum is 96,750. It's still, bro, imagine. It's not even 100k. But how's it going, Chad? How are we doing today? Welcome in. I'm sorry I'm on time. Unfortunately. Well, yeah, 20k in my solo guild. Yeah, that makes sense. Still not 100k. The stream is not loading. My Twitch did. Uh, it sounds like you might be the bottom G then. Oh, as always, late. I'm not late. I'm always here when I expect to be here. All right? It is... I am never on time to a normal standard because I'm a rebel. I I fight the... What, what, what is that? What is the word? I don't. I don't. I don't want to say patriarchy because that's not right. Um, the system. Yeah, the system. Yeah, fight the power. The system. I went rogue. Yeah. 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 That's, what, that's, what, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what we're doing. This is the norm of a Griffey stream, dude. It's always a meme now. No, you specifically said I've overslept, which implies that you yourself knew you were later than you wanted. Um, excuse me, how dare you use my own words against me, all right? Excuse me, I have you know, I am at least somewhat coherent of what I say in a day. Speaking of Rogue, use code Griffy at checkout, absolutely. Actually, speaking of which, I gotta order more Rogue. Plus one streamer logic, hey, I mean... Pfft. Is what it is. Yeah, yeah, don't quote me at me, dude. Yeah, how dare you quote me and use it against me? All right? You didn't say I was wrong? Shut up. Shut up, Fairfix. Oh, and yo, there was, uh, while we were playing uh, Nova Lands yesterday, Varsix sent me a, uh, what, what this, what this game looked like, okay? Uh, he, it was called Mana Soul. I'm pretty sure some of you guys saw it because you guys were watching Nova Lands. Um, I tried it out. I I thought I thought it looked so bad that I decided to try it out. Now now chat now chat. Look, look at the, look at this shit. All right, look at the, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look 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 look. This is the game. This is the game, chat. 
Look at that. Look at that shit. Look at that shit, dude. Look at that shit. That looks so good, eh? That looks real good, eh? Man, ga game of the year. Game of the fucking year. Yeah, um, it's actually not bad. I'm I'm gonna be honest, it's actually not terrible. I I pl I definitely played for a few hours yesterday. <laughs> Who's gonna tell him, dude? May have missed it, but I thought about playing Norp for Pixel Thursday if you haven't. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I Norped. I Norped out, bro. I straight up Norped my ass off. All right. I have Norped like nobody has Norped before. I almost beat it. Nova Land's better. Oh, yeah, for sure. Nova Land's better. But there's guilds. So that's cool. So I played that for a little bit yesterday because it was so bad. I decided to play it. It's actually not a bad game. It's actually, overall, not a terrible game. It gives me, uh, it like, it's like definitely gives me like the old school vibes. Like very, very old school vibes. I, I was wondering why it's so dark in here. Kingdom! Kingdom! Play Kingdom Max. Yeah, I mean, Kingdom was on the, on, Kingdom was on the list. But I mean, yeah, I we'll we'll keep on playing whatever games we have until World Six because chat World World Six is right around the corner. You know what I know. We all know it. We're getting close, man. We're getting real close to World Six. Yo, what's up, Thomas? Play World Seven. Yeah, true. Yo, what's up, Veldro? Just woke up. Coffee is go. Hell yeah, nice headphones. Thanks, man. Well, I mean, they're nice headphones, but they're also a pain in the ass because they're part of my trademark. So if I ever try to get new headphones, they have to be orange. But the problem with that is these they don't sell the orange headphones anymore. So these are one and done. What if the third person felon skill is like a mini card battling? See, we already thought it would be a mini card battling, but we're not unnecessarily 100% sure on that. It's definitely not going to be PvP, that's for sure. And you broke them? Yeah, true. What's up, Jeep? No, not too much, man. Not too much. We are, uh, you know, I uh, decide to try with a Steam stream title and uh, looting and cooking. Um, I don't, I don't know what that means. I, I don't know what I was trying to cook for that. Preach, man. Orange is such an underappreciated in peripherals. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, it's, 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 it's different. I you know. You know what I mean? It's less like uh, if you, if you see somebody streaming, and you know, I already look like an NPC, so it's like, you know, I, I look like the default character number number one right so i mean you know i need orange headphones to make me at least look any somewhat different like you basically go into you basically go into town or go into the city there's like 90 percent of the people look like me just a fucking generic looking motherfucker okay so i need i need the orange headphones to make me stand out does pet the ram redeem do nothing anymore redeemed a third time without the poor ram getting pet There. Is that better? I, I didn't need to go. Is that better? I probably just didn't see it. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. By the way, I finally unlocked V-Band. I'm saving up my town points for my speed run. Is there a good threshold for points time for trial? You just have to go for it. Just have to go for it. There, There is there is, there is a, a like uh, good threshold and all that business, but you just gotta, you know, it's, it's a, so it's a lot. True, I saw you yesterday. Yeah, I bet. I bet there's a couple of parts. Yeah, for sure. Tips on V-Man enhancement. I'm now thinking of pausing all the other games to max out that skill, which leads me to my next two prolonged. What's the fastest way to level V-Man increase tab four points? Uh, uh, speed run. You want to do the speed run. Avoid trial speed run is how you get more points. And also booking the top right talent um, in the maestro tab as well. That also helps. That's not petting, that's a beating. It's it's the same, dude. Same thing. It's just a h harder pet, okay? South Park taught us how all Canadians look. <laughs> I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. By the way, weren't you playing a VR stream or did I miss something? I mean, uh, I need to find a game that won't make me terribly nauseous. But I mean, ev eventually. Before I forget, have you seen the stats on Lava's name tag? It's worth looking at the name tag on the Island Wiki. Yeah, it's fucking overpowered. I, I know, I know. Lava's name tag is the most disgusting, most overpowered thing in the world, especially his weapon, also his armor. Clipped a report for... Bro, don't you report shit to PETA, dude? 
Fair enough. Going to do that later today. Hell yeah. 0.25% dupe pet. Only have two divinities. Hell yeah, dude. My dude, Eldritch Fury. Nice, Merc. Eldritch is huge. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, don't you hate it when you're going to like sneeze a third time and then it just stops part way through and then and then it just it just hurts oh 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 uh. <laughs> yeah i thought stream pros yeah i'm really good at it dude. Jesus, one sec. Ow. Oh. Oh. I promise I'm not sick, chat. Uh. Just a little stuffed up. Oh, 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 stuffed up. That's all. Yo, I can smell. That's good. That's great. I like smelling jet. You yeah, cold? No, it's just a random sneeze. They're on their way to throw pain on you right now, dude. That's bullshit. What's some good ways to improve artifact find shits? Uh, shiny pets. Uh, 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 speed. Speed helps because more chests. <sighs> Got a rogue boogie? Do I? No, I don't. Why are you trolling, dude? I don't have a rogue boogie. What the fuck are you talking about? Do I? Do I? Bro, why are you fucking... Do I have a rogue boogie? <laughs> Is that good? Am I good? Chat? Am I good? Did I get it? Here. Did I get it, chat? Uh, is it gone? Uh, 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 I should just, I should just need some trim of those nose hairs. Yeah, probably did. The void did. Yeah, I mean, there's a small nugget in there. Right nostril tendrils coming out. That's that's kind of gross, dude. Is this is this how we're just gonna stream for now on chat? Keep cam like that. Yeah, I kind of ruined the green screen. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I, re I it's kind of breaking the fourth wall right now though, chat. I'm not gonna lie. You want me to do this instead? Want to talk about really breaking the fourth wall, Chet? You want to talk about really breaking the fourth wall? Yeah. 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 Zoom out a lot. That's as much as I could zoom out, bro. All right. Time to shave. Time to shave what? These nuts? Ha! Got him. Want to left a non-existent mustache? I, I don't have a mustache. I shaved it. Show us your crib. Well, this is my green screen. This is my wall. This is my other green screen. This is my foamies. This, this is my thing to make my voice sound better. Foam is new. No, this is new though. This, I haven't, I haven't set it up yet though. I haven't put it on the wall, but this is new. You know, you know what I'm saying? Dude, the goatee would be sick. Dude, I'm not. No, ain't no, ain't no way. No. Ain't no way. Can we? Can we see the? No, that's not. What? Huh? There ain't uh, asylum walls. Actually, is that slab? Yeah, it's plus one slab. Plus one slab, shit. It's plus one slab. Here, let me just. You know, you know, it's fine, chat. Don't, don't worry about it. You know. Here, is that? Will this be better for you? Here, chat. Is this? Is this? Here. Is this bad? It's better. Is this how we're going to do stream for now on? Hey, chat. How's it going? Welcome to day. Today, uh, on, uh, on, on my, on my, on my stream, we are going to, uh, Lava said slab merch. Bro, I should make merch of just the slab, dude. How funny would that be? Just, just a big fucking slab, dude. Look at that pimple. I don't have pimples, all right? I have a beautiful complexion, okay? I have you know. I, I blackheads maybe, but I mean, other than that, we're doing pretty good. 
All right. Besides, my computer, I mean, um, my, my camera's not that fucking good, okay? My camera's not going to be able to, like, enhance that shit to no other end. Uh, I have crippling depression. Look at that mole. Bro. Mully, 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 mully. Bro, that makes me want to watch Austin Powers now, all right? Oh, and then sell magnets to go on the slab? Yo, that's a big brain. Enhance. I don't think I can enhance anymore, let alone want to. Here, I'll enhance a little bit more here. This is better? Hey, Chad, I'm going to eat you. Watch it on stream. There's a booger in the left, Jim. No, there's not. You shut up. You with the face. Shut up. Watch it on stream, dude. Uh, I don't know about that. I wonder if anybody comes in is just actually just literally horrified at the fact that I am this size. Do you know Ah by any circumstances? Who the fuck is Ah? Like, why, why, why would you just say Ah? I, 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 I. Why would you just say Ah? Like, like, hey, have you have you heard of Ah? That's like saying, hey, have you heard of Steve? You know who Steve is? That one guy at Walmart named Steve. Yeah, this is Steve. He's got the giant. I got the giant mob prayer on. We need that ram, bro. Now you look even more like Lava since you're big. Yeah, true. True, dude. First time viewer. What the fuck is that camera angle? It's fucking, you don't understand, bro. It's called meta streaming for a reason. All right? Yo. Worcester. Thanks for the, thanks for the subscriber, bro. Appreciate T1. Thanks, man. Have you heard of Dave the Diver? I fucking love Dave, dude. Dave the Diver's the shit, all right? Look. A marsh to Dave the Diver in the back, the Maglodon. That has nothing to do with Eidolon. Hey, chat, have you noticed how this looks like a thumbnail? Here, look. I'll, hey, chat, look at me. I'm an Asmongol thumbnail. I did it. It was perfect. Fucking perfect. I know Steve, he's the guy by the place who sells things to people at a specific time. Yeah, true, dude. Do you know who LD is? LD these nuts. Got him. You heard of Eidolon? No. Tell me more. Dave the Diver, Eidolon crossover? You know what we need a crossover for? Crossover for Maple Story. Wait, actually, that's kind of a bad take right now because Maple Story just got fucking a huge lawsuit. Because because they they chat, did you guys hear about the Maple Story controversy? Hey yo, yo, what's up, Titanic? Every fishing guy thumbnail from now on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Snowland's good. Uh, I would say it's like a pixel art, but I would say it's more of an automation version of Forger. Yeah, uh, yeah, equip the giant prayer for sure. Maybe I get on this, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you guys, if you guys haven't heard, yeah, I, I don't worry, I won't be so big. If you guys haven't heard yet, guess what happened? So you know how Maple Story has like cubing? So to, to make, to make your stuff like, better better per se for like stat rolling so if you guys don't know if you in maple story you can get gear right and then gear can be upgraded with a thing called a cube well what they didn't do is they didn't tell you what the percent chances were of the said cube and then before back in 2016 before they changed it they made it so you were able to get three of the same stat but then, but then after 2016, they made it so you can't get three of the same stat, and they never told people about it. So people were spending shit tons of money thinking that they could still get that three stat roll, and ending up just pretty much spending too much money about 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 absolutely fucking nothing. So they recently got sued for 8.9 million dollars. 8.9 motherfucking million dollars because. Because you greedy, you greedy son of a bitches. And not to mention, they were also reducing the chances over the years as days go by without telling anybody. Not even, not even telling absolutely anybody whatsoever. And I was like, wow, Nexon, you really know how to take an L ratio, bro. Class action, so I'm in for some monies. I don't know if it's a class action. Imagine the same story with the nothing trophy. Yeah, true, dude. True. Pretty sure EU law says you have to put chances somewhere. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, that's probably NA server, I would assume. Is it Maple Story for mobile? Yeah, it's Maple Story, yeah. Maple Sussy. How do they get caught? I don't know. I have no idea, dude. But I mean, what a classic Nexon move, dude. 
What an absolutely classic Nexon move. Wait, why am I? Oh, okay, I'm fixed now, Chip. Sorry, I'm back. <sighs> How to lose all your money speedrun? Yeah, big true, though. I mean, to be fair, I I kind of expect something like that from, from Nexon. I feel like Nexon kind of takes L's that way, dude, to be honest. But I mean, I think I, you know, I think that's kind of scummy if you're going to do something like that because like in Korea and shit, they have to have the percentages. Like it's a law, just like in EU, but in NA, it's not a law. So you're able to pull that shit. But I mean, that's, that's rough, dude. That's super, super rough. Imagine being one of those people that is expecting to mid max their gear and roll that out for basically a 0% chance. There is no possible way that you will ever be able to get that specific stat, but that's what you're rolling for. Imagine the amount of copium that you would have to go through to be like, oh yeah, I'm for sure gonna get it this time. Casinos does, the, does those things legally though? Yeah, but that's a different. Casino, you can get your money back. Gacha, you're just fucking losing money. Okay, that's there's there that, that's not the same. We can't we can't we can't we can't say that's the same thing. So fucking mega scummy. When I seriously playing MS, I spent hundreds of dollars trying for god rolls. Yeah, and you just got gypped. In NA, it's more profitable to break the law and pay a fraction of the profits as a fine. I think I think you might be right. Doomer backstory. It's like Griffey and his nothing trophy. Speaking of which, Hadix, have you gotten message by the uh, by YouTube with your with your fucking over fifty reviews? Requ request with views so that one schmuck has to watch 50 VODs <laughs> uh, 50 VODs in about 6 hours each that's only about 300 hours of VODs you have to watch through <laughs> probably get some a couple of YouTube staff as fucking viewers uh when was the last time you left the casino in the positive? Uh, last time I went to the casino. YouTuber Twitch trophy win? Yeah, true, dude. Casinos and NAs have a min odd requirement, but it's lower than 50%. Casinos always win for a reason. Fair fix. It's called 50 50 90. That's what, that's, that's, that's what we like to call it in casinos. It's, uh, it's, if everything's 50 50, but there's also a 90% chance because house always wins. And that's the way she goes. And that's the way we love it. Sounds like a nice weekend for me. Absolutely. G, G is not showing mercy, dude. I want to get fucking paid. For, well, I'm saying I want to get paid for VODs, but in reality, I just want to pay out Hadix for the VODs. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Jake? What's going on, shit? So. Oh, I never got an email, but all the limited ones are no longer limited. Wait, wait, wait. So did we get revenue for it? Wait, did we, did we, wait, all of them? Wait, all 50? So, so, we, so we got ad revenue for all 50 of those. Those are going to compound. Those are, that, those are going to compound interest like a mofo, dude. Not sure how you get back revenue for it. If they're limited, they're likely weren't running ads while limited. Um, it, it, so I'm pretty sure they were. A limited, I'm almost positive that limited means they run ads ineligible means they don't run ads. I'm pretty sure. They're all good, but I don't see back ad revenue. It might take a couple days to update. That's fine. Correct? Yeah, so I mean, we, I will, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe, maybe, who knows? Maybe, I mean, all I know is that maybe Hadix just gets a fucking Christmas bonus. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. I just, I just, here's the thing, okay? I have Hadix working my second channel to upload all those vods and i don't I'm, I'm tired of going in the fucking red okay for the second channel pay i'm literally paying him more than what the second channel is making <laughs> okay so i rather i rather fucking at least get some ad revenue back from that fucking thing so i stop spending more money than i'm making for the second goddamn channel I bet Nexon still made a profit, even minus the nine million. I think uh, Nexon made like a, a definitely a couple bill in in their lifespan of NA. At least I'm pretty sure. If I if I'm correct. Also, I had I had a plan for for I had I had I had a plan for the second channel chip. I kind of want to do. I kind of I'm kind of out here wanted to copy like 
Asmongold style. Kind of. But we need to get big, Jet. We need to get bigger, all right? But, like, you know how he posts? Instead of posting VODs, he just posts everything that basically happens in that stream. So, like, say, say if he, like, watches a video or something, he, he posts that. Or if there's, like, a hot take or something, that gets posted. Or something that happens, like, he plays a game, that gets posted. That shit. That shit would be fucking money. Like, five to ten minute clips? Yeah, exactly. So, chump change, so we need probably something like this again? Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, exactly. So, I think, I think, that's, that's, that's going to be the long term. That's the long term goal of what we're eventually going to convert that second channel into. And then the main channel is just going to be whatever the fuck. If I want to do guides or whatever, whatever the, whatever. 20 minute videos are slow talking, dude. Yeah, post full bots, 20, 30 minute talks, 10 minute reacts, one minute short of a hottest take. Exactly. Exactly like that, dude. And I think that would be fucking fantastic. Obviously, we're going to be like doing toolbox reviews and stuff, uh, all that. But like long term goal, like say, say we start like say out of nowhere chat. It's like we've been playing Eidolon for fucking three, four years. And then we're just like, OK, we're done with Eidolon. There's no more content. And then and then we start and then we start converging into like uh, different pixel art games, blah, 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 blah. Beep, bop, beep, beep. And then that way it just gives a more broader spectrum rather than just one thing you know what i mean so that that that's long-term goal long-term goal that's kind of what we're going to be going to be cooking with and i think that will work fantastic hopefully idol on podcast win yeah idol cast be good bro that'd be kind of cool dude have a podcast where where you have like specific games that you talk about for topic so like you do a podcast once a week and you get you get a game that you have to play for a week and then you come back and then after you play that game for a week you and the co-host talk or me and the co-host talk about the fucking idol game and be like is it really that good and then we kind of ban back back and forth of like eh, this mechanic was kind of dog shit this this mechanic was kind of good how long i was not dying i said three to four years how long have we played Claim it now before Dangerously Funny. I don't think Dangerously Funny could ever be part of a podcast, I'm going to be honest. He's not He's not that type of guy. We need a review so everyone can hate on my alchemy. Yeah, true, dude. True. Actually, we're going to be doing that today, chat. We're going to be taking a look at a toolbox. Someone just stole your podcast idea? That's fine. That's fine. It's not the first time one of my ideas got stolen. It's okay. It just means that... Here's the thing, okay? Here's what it really comes down to. Someone steals your idea... That just means you had a good fucking idea. All right? That's just the way she goes. So that means that just means that you just got validated that what you thought of was a banger. Podcast with HD graphics, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I'm talking to a fucking AI? Hello? I'm not no, we're not doing a podcast with HD graphics. What a fucking terrible what a great and terrible idea that is. Holy shit, dude. I would probably have to pay him 35 bucks per podcast, bro. Like, holy shit, man. He probably wouldn't even fucking... He probably doesn't even play the games, dude. I'm actually starting to think that. I, I almost, I'm almost positive he probably has someone else that plays the games. And then he has a script. And then he just says... He says the script. And then that's it. Because, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, the editing isn't even crazy either. The editing is super basic. I could I could literally do a one to one ratio of his of his video quite quickly. It wouldn't be very hard. I I would I would be completely honest. The, the videos that he does is pretty bottom barrel. Pre, pre, pretty bottom barrel. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Jeez, what do you think about this mechanic? HD. It was the best idol on MMO I've ever played. Two thousand twenty four Android iOS best idol. Damn fucking straight. <laughs> every single game. And I'm just gonna be like, okay, well, and every single podcast. Well, that's fucking based. Holy HD graphic. Can you say anything that's not based? This this podcast is best 2024 on Android, iOS, PC, best Steam, Idol, best. Okay, all right, all right. I'm talking to a fucking robot, dude. Okay, dude. Okay. I see how it is. Based on $35. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> based on $35, bro. Fuck, man. Oh, God. But I, the thing is, though, Chet, as much as we meme on HD graphics, I actually... I actually, unironically, really like his YouTube channel. Is it, is it that crazy? Yo, Coyote. Thank you for the follow, dude. Welcome to the Itty Bitty Army. Probably also uses his name to make it look like he's actually playing it. Yeah, true. Trying to run a three hours sleep is not working for me. Bro, I fucking die if I do three hours of sleep, dude. No? Bro, I like it, dude. Yes, that is crazy. Because believe it or not, dude, it's actually like, it's because it's, it's like, I I it, it I th I think I think it's because it's it's like non-intentional satire. That's what I think it is. Yo, Jake with the primer. Yeah, thank you for the primer, dude. Thank thank you, dude. And Spiky OP, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Bay Army. I kind of hate it, but the thing is, is like if you go into it like with no expectation of like actually like good takes on on games. I think it's I think it's really fucking funny. He does well to explain oversell certain aspects and ignores others. Yeah, that's absolutely. That's why I watch it because I call him out on every single one of his bullshit. I think that's what makes it great. I fuck I personally fucking love it, dude. I think I think that shit's hilarious to me. I think it's so fucking good. But maybe maybe that's just me. Yo, what's up, Cred, dude? What's going on, dude? But I mean, to me, I see it as complete and utter satire. I don't, I don't see it as anything else. I'd love to see HG react to your reactions of his content, dude. He'd be like, "This reaction is the best in Android iOS Steam Idol Game 2024 offline online best, dude." <laughs> I watch those vids in a blue moon. Yeah, dude, true. Cause some of them are just wildly exaggerated. Hey man, I'm still on the search to find that one video that he actually has idol on in it, okay? One of those days, dude. Not much playing some maple again. Why the f bro, why are you playing maple? At, at, at all bro, this just goes to show you that there's no such thing as bad publicity, okay? Bro, these guys come out with an $8.9 million lawsuit and fucking motherfuckers are playing Maple again. Like, bro, what are we saying here? Yo, what's up, Dizzle? One day Eidolon will come into the mainstream. Eidolon is in the mainstream. What are you talking about? Eidolon is so mainstream, it's insane. I've never, I've never seen, I've never seen a game so mainstream in my life. Like, even WoW doesn't even hold a light to fucking Eidolon. <laughs> Maple is love, but I'm too far not to see the end of it. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. But imagine imagine trying to see the end of a game that doesn't end. Who are we talking about? Uh, I, I don't know. Sorry, Lava, you right, dude? Bro, what the... Bro, I'm not fucking Lava. You know, here, here here's the something that I noticed, right? You know, you know what? You wouldn't make Lava's game pop off if he fucking did it like Pirate Software did it, dude. You know what I mean? If he would have stuck with it the way that Pirate Software did... That sh his shit, his game would have been popping the fuck off way more by now. Look, people play any game, no matter lawsuit or drama, if they have a lot of progress with rare items in it. You know what? That's that's the most fucking. You know what? They're gaming, fucking based, bro. I I I accept that take. I met the AI dude. Oh yeah, him and PS collab would be fire for real for real. Pirate Software. You guys don't know who Pirate Software is? Oh, Pirate Software is like. He was uh, he was an ex developer for Blizzard. He's uh, he's he made uh, the game Heartbound. It's a really good guy. Really, he's, he's he, chat. Believe it or not, he's he's uh, he's he's just like a just like a. Uh, I don't I don't know how to explain it. I don't, I don't know. I mean, he's popping off on YouTube Shorts. Yeah, his YouTube Shorts are popping right the fuck up, dude. I think the biggest issue with Eidolon is there's too, uh, is much too Eidolon can be too much for new players. I think you're right. He's a dude. Yeah, he's a dude. Yeah, he's, he's a, he's a dude. He's a guy. You know, he's killing it. I, I can understand. I, that's why I usually say that, like, uh, he's, he's one of the dudes of all time. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is usually, like, uh, why I say that paint, uh, when it, when it, when it comes to, Eidolon in general, right? 
It's usually usually what happens is uh blah, 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 blah. if we go like this and then we go like this. So usually how it works is with the when it comes to the player base, is this is what usually what you see. Okay. This is usually how it works. Okay. So this is world one. This is where people play over 50% of the drop off in world two and even more in world three. Okay. That's how this fucking shit works. We all know this. It is what it is. But unfortunately, most people, as soon as you talk about pirate, pull up paint, dude. Yeah. Sussy Baka, dude. But this is, this is very, very true. And I feel like this is the very problem. He's breaking out the graphs, dude. Because most people, here, here's how it works, okay? A world 3 is good. But here's how it works. World 1, obviously it's going to be a, basically 100% because people just start the game in world 1. But they, they, but the biggest, you know where the biggest stopping point is for world 1? Slimes. Slimes is the biggest stopping point for World 1 players. Because as soon as you get to Slimes, that's where that's where accuracy starts to matter. That's where accuracy starts to become an issue. And that's where you actually need to start getting a little bit of damage and a little bit of defense. So this is where most people get to. And then this is where the numbers of the portal start getting a little bit higher. And they don't know how the fuck to progress because they're bad. Not because they're bad, because they're bad, bad. It's because they don't know how to fucking read. So if we get into the next spot, so most people, you know, they quit at slimes. But toward, but, but what really kills it in World 2, you know what kills this in World 2? People not even making it to World 2, okay? They don't even kill Amarok, all right? This is where most of this goes down. Because if anybody that actually makes it to World 2 usually plays till World 3. Believe it or not, they play till World 3. Because this is where you get your new classes. So this is where you get the doping. This is where you get the dopamine, right? This is where you get the huge dopamine from your from your classes. And also, um, you know, you start getting a little bit stronger. So your progression gets in there, right? Nobody, t okay, I don't care who you are. Nobody touches... Nobody touches alchemy in World 2 when they just get there. Nobody at all whatsoever. Are you doing best pirate software? No, because this isn't going to be a short. All right? This isn't a short, so it's not fucking pirate software. So anyways, as I was saying, I touch alchemy instantly. M grand majority of people don't touch alchemy. Now, you know what stops people from getting to World 3? Well, first of all, fucking E-Font. People don't know how to kill E-Font. But what it really becomes is... People don't, people quit in World 3 because too many mechanics. Too much bloat and also. You want to know why another reason? Don't do main quests. This is another huge problem that I get a lot, a lot of comments for. Because they can't progress through World 3 because they haven't done the main fucking quest line yet. So that means they're missing things such as their shrines, which is a huge problem. They're missing things as their 3D prints. They know how to get proper, don't know how to get proper. You gotta freehand that text, dude. No, I'm not gonna freehand that text, bro. We on a rant this evening, enjoyed last night? No, no. Say the best way to do Eidolon is to start with friends and a buddy and constantly discovering cool mechanics to boost progression went crazy the second we discovered DK World 4 Coliseum. Okay, so the other problem is, is Okay, so if you're saying, if you're saying best about Eidolon equals friends. Okay, this is, this is, this is what Jake's saying. Best about Eidolon is friends. 99.9999% of Eidolon players don't have friends. You are the 0.1%, not even the 0.01%, okay? So that's instantly an L ratio. Because I don't know about you, I don't have fucking friends when I started playing Eidolon. 
Parasocial friends do not count. All right? There's a reason why you guys watch me play Eidolon and talk to me because we all know it. You, you don't have friends and I don't have friends. So that's why we play together and coexist with each other. Okay? It's because we play a idol game where we... Here's another thing. Say you do have friends. Oh, hey, dude. Play this game with me. It's called Eidolon. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. So, so then your friends are like, Oh, what is it? And you're like, it's an idol game. And you know what they say? Fuck that shit. I'm not playing. I'm not. Pl they take a look at it. They take a look at the fucking. They take a look at the idol. I'm not. I'm not fucking playing that shit, dude. I'm not playing that fucking dog shit idol game. I'm gonna go play. I'm going back to play League of Legends or Call of Duty, motherfucker. All right. They 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 ain't fucking playing with you, dude. You you maybe you could you could invite twenty friends and maybe one friend will join you. But why would they fucking play that when they could play Minecraft or some shit? They'd be like, this is some idle game bullshit. I don't want to play this fucking shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? They're not playing with you, they're playing at you. Exactly, dude. Exactly. So anybody that says the best thing about Eidolon is getting your friends to play is fucking so wrong. I got an Eidolon through Steam review and another Eidolon game saying, just go play Eidolon instead. Yeah, true. I play League of Legends and Eidolon at the same time. Okay, but Eidolon definitely has one of the more welcoming communities out there. Give it pointers. Everyone is friendly. Okay. First of all, first of all, you're wrong. Okay. I'm just going to, just going to, just going to put that out there. Okay. Eidolon general community. is uh is okay at best iba community friendly as fuck okay let, let let's let's put that into let's put that into consideration the iba community is different than the general community okay because i don't know about you but you know what the iba community is We used to call our Discord the Eidolon Refugees because how many people got fucking bullied out of the general Discord because they asked a question and got shamed for it. Okay? So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about because a lot of us were just like, oh man, I'm only part of the IBA because the other one was a little bit fucked up. I be as toxic because no one will tell me how to get dude. It's because, bro, it's because you're always right. Why would we tell you how to do something when you're always right, GG? Glad I was around when it was the during that time. It's gotten a little bit better. It's it's getting a little bit better. That's why I'm saying it's okay at best. But what it used to be, it used to be way worse. It used to be it used to be ten times worse, bro. You ask about 3D printer and official Discord, they laugh at you. Yes, I've there's been there's been official gen chat it gets really weird yeah i mean well that's what happens when you have over one hundred and thirty thousand members right you know it, it, we have about five thousand members they have one hundred and thirty thousand members so you're uh, you're guaranteed to get shitheads turn off on world 2 was zoning to another area needing to kill three thousand enemies before the next time it was kind of annoying to me i mean yeah i mean basically how about the reddit community well i'm gonna say this without being canceled Reddit community out here kind of brain dead. There's like a few, few good Redditors for the Eidolon, but most of them are just fucking brain dead. There, there's, there's not a thought in between those eyes. Like when you look at them, they just, they're just, they're just staring straight. All right, they're just, it looks like they're looking through you. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there's not a thought in that mind. Like fucking, literally, space is living in there rent free. Okay. No, I'm not. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust. The, I wouldn't trust the fucking Reddit community to tell me how to play Eidolon. Okay. Need more Griffy to answer their questions? Yeah. I mean, at the same time, I'd barely even trust myself for me to answer your Eidolon questions. Okay. Because I'm sure there's going to be somebody that could prove me wrong.
Uh, what dad is this based on, G? Uh, based on source, trust me, bro. I've read enough Reddit posts to know that, uh, to know that that shit is, that shit is, that shit is bad. That shit is, uh, not ideal. Okay. There's some people that are, to be fair, there's a couple of people that I know in there that are like, really, really good at answering questions. Like, I agree with everything that they say, but then there's a lot of people that is just like, they're just, you can just tell they're just trying to get upvotes. There's a difference between the people actually wanting to help and the people that are trying to farm upvotes. Is it possible to get a sample of the third world statues? No. No, there's you cannot get any statues. That 3D prints only base material. Must came at a good time. I asked some Pepega questions in official. It's pretty good, but IBA's faster, more in-depth response is extremely welcoming despite minor stupidity. Well, I mean, I mean, the thing is, is we're we're all minorly stupid. Right. That just that just comes with the territory. We play an idle game as our main game. All of us are fucking stupid to a degree. Okay? You know it, I know it, we all know it. All right? You could have a Q you have a, you could have the IQ of a 140 and you're playing idle on, you're still partly stupid. That's just the way it goes. It's like it's like it's like par for the course, all right? Now I want a Reddit review. What is the first thing I need to do in World 3? Do the fucking quest lines. You see the big fucking yellow Exclamation mark. Do those first. Love your content. Love that you bring community together. That's why you're my 12th favorite streamer. Why the fuck? Why the fuck am I the 12th, dude? Why am I the 12th? You watch me pretty much more than anybody. How the fuck am I still only the 12th? We basically let Elon do math for you, so confirmed we are stupid. Absolutely. It's called a calculator for me. Hey, you're not speaking for yourself. My IQ is single digits. <laughs> Rush to your own degree as fast as possible. Do those quests. Yeah, 11 screens, bro. 12, dude. The only one and only for me, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Let's get it. One day I'll I'll make... See, here's the thing. You know how I'm only Dijin's one and only? is because I refuse to play bird gut. See, if I if I give you what you guys want, then that means you, you feel satisfied and you don't need anything else. That's why I keep on watching HD graphics because I'm waiting until I see Eidolon in one of his videos. So I'll keep on watching each one of his videos until I find Eidolon. And then I'll be like, nah, fuck it. Dream's over. Got 131 on the IQ test a couple days ago. I think it's intentionally dumbed it down so people take the real test. Oh, yeah, it could. Wait, wait, wait. They dumbed it down, Legion? I got a 107. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm an idiot. Oh no, I'm an idiot. What is the shark behind you? It's a Megalodon. Is it worth upgrading old Magma armor to cattle armor? Uh, so, so, how it works for, for Magma armor and cattle crook armor is if it's, uh, if it's a uh, helmet and feet for everybody, except for Bubo, just stay Magma because all stats better. Um, but when, but when it comes to, when, just think about it, if they don't have a respawn mechanic, if they do not have a respawn mechanic, Full cattle. If they have a respawn mechanic, only only head and feet. Did you pass the IQ test? I did. To be honest, Griffey's the only streamer I religiously watch when I'm either in bed or need a second screen content. That's what we love to see, dude. That's what we love to see. I'm pretty sure an actual IQ test involves more than progressively harder nine box pattern matching. Yeah, true. I feel like, yeah, true. What armor do I need to end of world three? Uh, Amarok. He watches you in bed. Yeah, dude. Bro, of course. This is, he needs, needs at least one hand free, dog. You know what I'm saying? Will he make a World 5 guide? Yeah, eventually. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Eventually make a World 5 guide. I got a lot of guides I got to make. I'm, I'm making a ton of guides. I'm a chat. I'm, I'm, I'm cooking on my guides, bro. I don't know about you, but I, I have like 18 guides already ready to post. Yeah, let's 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 pretend that's a thing. Let's pretend like I'm telling the truth. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Poor Ram. <laughs> no, I I I uh, you know we 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 uh, you know we working on stuff here. Speaking of, I better get back to work. Going to lurk, have a good stream, dude. Yo, Lava. Speaking of work, bro. Where the fuck's the next video? Hello. I need I I need my react content, okay? Hello. Time time's ticking. You're on you're on my schedule. 
Just hope that Lava makes new RAR is a useful ability in World 6. Yeah, probably. Got to prepare World 6. Expect to release December 15th, 2024. Yeah, that's probably. Are the build's still good. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're all right. Lama does more than you? Fucking probably. It's because he's, because he's, because he's newer. He's newer to the, to the thing, all right? I have 151 videos, okay? And 80 of them are Eidolon videos, okay? He has, once he starts getting to his 80th Eidolon video, he would fucking understand, okay? It's a lot. It's a lot. Bro, there's a reason. Okay. Yo, what's up, Demos? Chat, there's a reason why I've gone through eight editors, okay? I don't think people understand the absolute prowess and the amount of dedication that you fucking need to make Eidolon videos, okay? Because the amount of knowledge and the backtracking and the fact checking that you need to do is fucking disgusting. I even have, I get, I get wrong. Absolutely, I, even some of my guys are wrong even after fact checking. Okay, so let let just let's let's just let soak in. And I like I do I edited before I made the videos. I said to my editors, bro, they had no idea what the fuck they were doing. They were like they were like, um, uh, can, I don't I uh I don't know where to put what. And it's just like okay, so what's the point of being an editor then if you don't know what to put what? I asked you, I'm like, do you know how to do you know how Eidolon works? And he's like, well, I kind of do. And I was like, okay, well that works, I guess. And okay, here you go. Gave it one guy. They're like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do, bro. And it's like, bro, this is the fucking, there you go, dude. Imagine, imagine. Believe it or not, editors cannot edit Eidolon unless they've played Eidolon. That's just, that's just, that's just it, man. Because you don't know what does what. Like with other, with other game guides, no, I would say there's very little games that are as complicated as Eidolon. Eidolon's complicated as fuck. What should be my 3D print? Green mushroom spores. G my big G da big daddy the ram needs love pet the ram. Okay, sorry. Imagine Windwalker gives drop rate for speed. That'd be disgusting. Easy hire an editor that has worldwide knowledge of Eidolon. True editors play Eidolon while eating. Yeah, right. Right. That's what I'm saying, dude. Or while editing, absolutely, I agree. But um, you know, also believe it or not, chat, I am I am a little bit uh, what's the word, anal about about my editing style. I'm like uh, I I kind of have like a specific style, and I expect the other editors to hit that style. And if they don't hit that style, then I get them to re redo it. Yeah, particular. I have a very per particular style that I prefer. You like what? And it's also harder to do with like uh, green screen and shit like that. How do you increase fishing prints? I'm hard stuck. Uh, get 90% printer sample and get 300% uh, multi fish from your from your alchemy bubble. Toss the ram and then catch it. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, here here's here's what it should be, chat. Whenever you're looking for an editor for uh for Eidolon, here's what you said. This is this is what you need to ask him. What's the most important mechanic in Eidolon? And if they say anything other than other than alchemy. They're instantly fired. Instantly fired. All right. They have to say alchemy. If they say it wrong, they don't get a job. All right. That's how it works. No bubble left behind. No. Well, I mean, technically, that's somewhat true, but that's like that's like getting a half a mark in school, bro. It's like, yeah, that's true, but it's but it, but alchemy is alchemy is the actual true winner. Adams, hot take. Adam Collider is not even close to as important as alchemy is. Because with without alchemy, you wouldn't even get the prints to even get the fucking atoms in the first place. Oh, I'm sorry, Jim. I think Eidolon is are very smart because Eidolon is way too complex. I don't no Eidolon players are not very smart. I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, not really. I mean, some some people are, but I mean, that's the outlier doesn't make the rule. I think I think everybody is. I think even me, everybody has like the IQ of a fucking easy bake oven. All right, everybody, everybody's half cooked. What about cooking? Cooking is important, but it's not as important as alchemy. I mean, it's a dangerous situation. Uh, let's say an island video, have a caption, want to be a harmless feeling, explain the only way I'll release Thomas on harm is invites me to Discord. Would you have me at Discord to save my life or get harmed? Um, well, here's, here's the real thing, Thomas, okay? If you're, if you're captured, how do I know you're the one that's actually messaging me and not the villain that is messaging you to actually let you back in the Discord so you can execute Order 66? 
big brain. Hello? He's not he's not gonna let you message me. What are you fucking what are you stupid? Bro, you think you think I'm gonna fall for something like that? You think you think I'm just you think I'm just in here thinking that the villain is not gonna be Bro, you gotta think about that shit better, dude. Most important feature of Eidolon is clicking, dude. Can't do any skills without clicking. That's true. Have ninja reach out. Yeah. I don't know why, but my DK does more damage than my Bubo. Yeah. I mean Bubo doesn't do a lot of damage. Reading wiki equals smart. I yeah, true. Yeah, but without Ams, you don't have no bubble left behind and hard stuck in alchemy. That's not true. You do have no bubble left behind. You just don't have boron. Right? Because no bubble left behind is actually a lab mechanic. Checkmate. It's too much IQ. Yeah, true. We are the smartest man. Have ninja reach out. What if I knew if it was the villain and you knew it was a real situation? Um, what if... What if... Okay. What if you were actually an imposter and we're actually playing Among Us right now and I voted you and you got vented? What do you what do you what do you think about that? Huh? We're gonna be deep into layers playing TFT while watching the stream and scrolling Instagram reels, dude. Wait, Instagram's still a thing? Instagram's still a thing? Active abilities annoy me because I'm lazy. I I thought I thought Instagram was just a bunch of bots and uh, uh, links to OFs. I thought that I thought I thought that's that's literally all Instagram was about. I mean, I guess that's also kind of Twitter. I mean, that's also I guess that's kind of Twitch as well. I mean, that's also kind of YouTube. I mean, I guess I guess everything nowadays is just a fucking link to try to get into somebody's OF, dude. It's fucking everywhere. TikTok for sure, dude. It's it's actually everywhere, dude. It's it's fucking kind of gross. What class to put in what colored cauldrons? That doesn't really matter. It, 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 you want to put your shamans on whichever ones you're pushing. So basically, don't get yourself in this situation, or it might wind up. I mean, true. I mean, it's yeah. It's like I'm like, bro. This is bro. I ain't gonna be like Liam Neeson and fucking taken. Okay, I, I have not. I have not acquired a lot of skills over the years. I will not find you and I will not kill you in Minecraft, okay? Like this is this is a situation that you, bro, I'm not a fucking hero, okay? I don't I don't know I don't know what kind of what if scenario we're putting in, but I fucking ain't ain't happening, dog. I don't have do you have yeah, well, I mean obviously I'm playing the meta mad. G's location, Canadian Rock, Instagram reels of the nest of in and of clickbaits. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. If you had to choose, are you an un onion or an orange? Um, I'm neither. I am. I am a celestial being that does not does not stand by these stupid questions. I am superior. Celestial being, go. The real question is, what type of onion? Am I? Am I a sweet onion? Am I a purple onion? Am I a white onion? Or what kind of orange? Am I a blood orange? Am I a normal orange? God. You know, it, it, speaking of which, you know what really grinds my gears, chat? When you ask people a question and they answer it with a fucking question, like what I just did right there. It's like, it's like, man, it's like, you know, I would, I would love if you could just shut the fuck up and just answer the question. Okay. It's a yes or no. Don't answer the question with a question. All right. There's no point of asking a question then. It shouldn't even call a question. What if I'm pushing with Shaman? Probably shouldn't. Even the Eidolon Discord is just OF bots getting banned. Yeah, true, dude, true. Facts. Bro's lab and name tag is the best mi miscellaneous bonus ever. Yeah, it, it's, I mean, it's pretty broken. I'm trying to see if there's actually ever a chance to get back in. I mean, there's a chance. It's just, I mean, it's, you're asking me to do it, so I probably won't do it. You know what I'm saying? When, when have I ever done something that chat has asked? How many times has chat said, hey, cool game and cool cool talk, but can we play Eidolon and then I just chat for fucking longer? I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, don't, I, I mean, I, have we learned this net yet? Have, we learned, have, I, have I learned that we're the, I, I'm the captain of this goddamn pirate ship? If I kidnap, the only way to save me is play bird gut. Well, then we're fucked, dude. What color is the hat? Black or blue? It's bl it's sure for sure black. You're red orange. All right. You're clearly like green onion since you're tall and lanky. Hell yeah, best onion, dude. I'll probably be a green onion. Oh no, chat. There's a leak in the boat. 
I will ask a question because I need to buy time to think. I mean, that's fair. What if your question is stupid? Well, then that's fine. Pet the ram, you celestial being. I'm not a celestial being, though. I'm an AI. I'm a computer-generated character. I push with ES because of big things go boom. Have you done molding? Or, or, <laughs> I like, bro, you know I've been too much on the internet when, when he says you have done made, but I instantly, by instantly my brain says molding. Hey, keep streaming. All right, chat, we're ending stream. I'm scared of my dog and my math homework, my science project, ate my dog. That's a fucking rough science project, dude. Chat told you put my life on the line via ball race and marbles and you did it? Yeah, because that was my idea. They suggested it and I thought it was a good idea. So I, so I, I thought to myself and I said, hey, you know what's a good idea? Maybe I should do that. So it was, it was technically my idea. We demand Eidolon? No. Hey, Lab, I mean, Griff, wouldn't it be cool if the Elephant God also gave you Forge progress? No, I think Elephant God is already too fucking OP as it is, bro. Part of the crew of the ship is the Pirates of the Caribbean reference. Hey, chat, all I gotta say is who's gonna carry the boats, all right? Yo, have fun at work, dude. Griffy ain't molding, dude. I suggest you play Nova Lance. No. Okay, so I got I gotta actually see how overpowered is the lava. The lava name tag. Sure, sure, it shouldn't be that strong, right? Hey, chat, Griffy is lava. Have you seen the both at the same time? Yeah. Yeah, we've seen both at the same time, dude. What are you talking about? I even have pictures on Reddit of me and him on the same place. 12 Dreadlio Bow today. When are you going to catch up? Oh, wait. Were, are, were we supposed to do... Were we supposed to do that? Were we supposed to work on sailing? I'm going to start streaming. Do you want to collab for my first stream? I think it actually bump your viewers in second because I'm because of your our dynamic history. I don't think you understand how streaming works. If you think that's that's actually going to be a thing. Okay. Really, really, really don't think, Thomas. All right. It, I mean, I mean, you were Ninja's manager, so I mean, it would bump up my numbers if you got Ninja in. But no, no, absolutely not. Absolutely fucking not, dude. Why do you have to look up your own name tag? Because I forgot what I coded. Duh. When's construction guy G eventually? Oh, you know what's you know what's really funny, Chet. You know what's really, really funny, dude? First of all, pro gamer, I want this so bad. 40% drop chance? Holy fuck, please give me that. Oh my god, give me that 40%. But, uh, 100 weapon power, 200 strength, 200 whiz, 200... You know, you know what's crazy? 20% skill, 50% power of will? Cool reference and all. But this is actually not that strong. This name tag is actually not that not that good anymore. It used to be super OP and like back in World 3, it was disgusting, but now in World 5, it's a fucking big old meh. It's not it's not even, it, I I would almost argue that all stats better. I'd be like, "Man, it's like 2 days of hourly clicking." Yeah, exactly. It's like, "Bro, it's like just just give me fucking all stat. The fucking fuck the skill and power of will, bro." I don't know. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Where where is his uh is his wings in here too? Why does he not have his wings? Lava says buy more gems. Yeah, okay. Where's his helmet? How come I can't see any of his stuff other than his name tag? Name tag is thousand all stat. I mean I mean that'd be good. But I mean, hey, hey man. Pro gamer though? Let's talk about this for a second. This better be in World 6. This better be in World 6, bro. Please. Please, World 6. I need it. I need that 40% drop rate with my... It will match my Jeff Bezos ring. 100 weapon power? 100 weapon power doesn't even scale that good anymore. I don't... I, bro, 100 weapon power will not even scale to what you think it is. You know what's better than 100 weapon power? Fucking 5,000 quick slap. My fish deleted my account, so I ate him, dude. That's fine. In lab, I give golden name tags. Some people in stream. No, it wasn't. It wasn't the golden name tag. It was uh, red hat. He gave a few people the red hat. Um, but uh, yeah, world world six motherfuckers be hitting thirty three times. Oh, for sure. Can't wait for the twenty dollar gem pack to have this tag. You know I'm buying it. You you know you know you know it's happening. When does lava stream? 
<laughs> that's a good question. That's a good that's a good question. Need the red hat? Yeah, true. True, dude. Pro gamer hitting a cheat for the one billion nugget. Yeah, absolutely. Looked into Reddit thread, said people the drop chance name tag are just hackers cheating. Well, yeah, we know that. But it is it is eventually going to be in the game. It says rotating pack. How often is rotating though? Discord Ilon gives you 50 different answers. Rotate well, it, it, so so the thing is, is it rotates depending on um depends on what gem packs have you bought, right? So it will it will rotate into rotation sooner if you've bought more packs. Is usually how that works. So I mean, it, of course you're gonna get 50 different answers because 50 different people have bought bought in different types of t types of packs. There's a very there's a very uh, small amount of people that have actually bought in all the packs. Pay to win rotation, yeah, basically it's a pay to win rotation. Make a 72 hour long idle on guide, yeah, true, dude. That explains that amount exactly. Exactly, dude. I don't know if I'm gonna make a set. I, I I don't even know what I would do for seventeen to seventy-two hour long eidolon guide. What should would I, would I just do the complete eidolon guide and have a just seventy-two hour video? I don't even think I can put a seventy-two hour video on YouTube. Like all except dungeons and beginner bundle. I bought all of them. I notice they pop up more when I log out mobile for a sec. Yeah, explain the coding. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. I can I would never be able to explain that because I could I could literally go to school for coding and I still wouldn't be able to fucking understand what lavas coding is. As long as YouTube video is 524 hours. As long as video is up to 10 hours. I mean, that's not true. I I I've I've had like 20 20 something hour video. I ever reach 100k subs on YouTube? I mean, that's pretty good. But it's your coding, it's not my coding. Chad, do you think I make art like this? YouTube introduced a video time limit up to 256 gigs. Okay, so if I, if I have it at like if I have it at like 140p, I could have it at 72 hours easy. Chat, this better not be sailing 2.0. This better this better not be fucking artifacts, dude. Fuck new island artifacts, bro. Get the fuck out of here with that. All right, don't even don't even 2.0 artifact me, okay? How long should it take to get 20k power if you want to start farming? It should take a hot minute. 20k power, 20k power statues is it takes a little bit. Please know I hate sailing. I love I loved sailing. I just don't want to do it again. Alchemy can be 72 hour. Yeah, true, dude. New tier of artifact? I don't think so. That's a redrawed icon. Oh yeah, from what icon, huh? I don't want to do island anymore. Tab two of sailing. Now it's just how to open up a mechanic a bit. No, that's probably exactly what it is. I make like 5k in a day. For a third time? Yes. Yes. What for a third time? It's like a realm cornucopia fruit stand is redraw right on the Discord spoiler. No, he said it's no no, because he said it's nothing like realm bluff. So that means he'd be lying. That means he'd be lying. I haven't finished normal sailing. I've been on the same island for a month. Just sounds like you need to get better sailing, bro. Same icon as past couple of days ago. Yeah, it is. From the previous pictures. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, of course. It's part of the mechanic, duh. More artists. Sounds like a better than new arty tier. Hey, man, I'd be down. A jade. Oh, we would go from eldritch artifacts to jade artifacts. I'd be down for that. Give us a jade artifacts chat. Give me that shit, dude. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but that wouldn't make any sense. Here's the reason why that wouldn't make any sense that it's a jade artifact, okay? That means you would have to get eldritch artifacts before you could get jade artifacts. So that that would that would cause issues. That would cause big issues. But I I'm you know what? I'm down. I'm a hundred percent down. If he if he if he does uh, if he does artifacts again, but in a different mechanic, maybe only World Six exclusive. Maybe I could be down with that. I would be down for more artifacts. But I mean, you know what's really funny? You know what I find really funny about this whole ordeal, though, Jen, is he, Lava has gotten in this mode where he will just make bonuses for like quality of life shit that already should have been in the game. You know what I mean? 
He's like, oh, this bonus makes it so you can actually check your quick ref for fucking refinery. It's like, okay, dog. It's like, that should have already been a thing, <laughs> okay? But it's like, you need a fucking artifact to check that. All right? Backstory, I forgot to tell you that you're my number one dev. Yeah, you're welcome, bro. Maybe it's a new thing. Maybe we need crafting the artifacts. Yeah, maybe, dude. <sighs> but it's content? <laughs> has to evolve through its skills somehow yeah I mean it's Slime Rancher you know it I know it we all know it it's Slime Rancher Lava's just like he wants easy gains yeah this already lets you claim daily green gems for pet gotcha Shadow if you would have said that in the Ilon discord you would have caused an uproar just from just from spreading that blasphemy you know it because you're Lava, dude. Bro, even Lava doesn't know what the fuck he's making anymore, bro. Lava throws his cake mix into an easy bake oven, and it comes out as a fucking meatloaf, all right? He doesn't even know what the fuck he's rolling on. You know what? The skills are completely trivial from the start. Makes a quick ref a true reward. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. He'd be banned on? Yeah, probably. Most likely. Griffey, how do I get green gems without having to pay real money for them? Oh, that's easy. You don't. You don't. That's what happens. Can you please just play? No. 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 Now now we're now we're just chatting for, for sure two hours now. Absolutely guaranteed. Let's make it let's make it six. It's the neat part you don't, dude. Yeah, that's 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 the super neat part. You, you 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 don't you don't get green gems for free. Nobody gets green gems for free. This is what do you think? What do you think? What do you what do you think? Fucking lava's the Oprah Winfrey of green gems, and you get green gems, and you get green gems. And the audience, look under your seat. What do you get? Green gems. That doesn't fucking happen. No, no. He's like the Jeff Bezos of fucking of fucking green gems. Okay. He's like the Bobby Kodak of green gems, dude. He's like oh. Oh, you want some green gems? Well, let me let me sell you Diablo 4 uh, DLC for $100, okay? How about, how about that? We have to break the old four hour of just chatting record, whole stream of just chatting. Well, I, we, we won't do the whole stream. We need green gems if you get free dude, 200 weeks. Yeah, true. Just get lucky, dude. Let's make a free choice Friday. Every Friday, you play the game chosen by chat. That sounds, that sounds ter terrible. Terrible. Elite hackers get free gems, dude. Elite hackers get Shadow Realm banned, bro. You do that, then you have a, a lot of lot of time. Time you could use to play bird gut. Yeah, true. Could at least give us an option to farm Bitcoin in the background for 10 green gems an hour. But isn't that isn't that relatively the same? That you could just say, like, Lab, I'll give you $10 for some gems. Because I don't know, dude. I don't know. Because either or, if you Bitcoin mine, you're losing $10 worth of value of your graphics card getting trashed from Bitcoin mining. Or you're spending that $10 to get green gems. So you save that GPU. I mean, I don't know about you. Tell Lava, he said he was caught or codicted. You got one free gem a week. You get King Do for a free companion this week. Not even hackers, green gems aren't dependent on your account. I want to even start on Pekka Bay. He's got two dudes, no rift slug. You know what would be cool, chat? When there's when there's a bunch of rotations out, if Lava implemented like free to play pets, so like for this week and this week only, you get you get to like unlock you you get these free pet bonuses, and you get like three free pet bonuses that you don't own. I think that'd be cool. So you get like a week where you get the three legendary pets. True, mining doesn't really kill GPUs unless you have no fans running super hot all day, bro. I wouldn't know. I'm not a crypto farmer. I don't think crypto farming has been worth it since like in what? 2020? Be realistic? Well, I mean, if I'm trying to be realistic, I would spell it with a C. Everyone waits until free to play. Dude to do sampling. Exactly, dude. That 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 would be that would be break brain though. That'd be that'd be the huge brig brain, okay? Why would and then and then you buy it so you have it permanent, right? It's just like all those other gotcha games where they give you free champions and then it rotates every week. Imagine you could actually mine cryptos and mining equinox or so. Oh, don't worry, dude. 
Lava is going to implement a new mechanic in World 6 that you can turn on your GPO to use 80% of it to be able to farm crypto, okay? And then he says every 10, every point zero zero ten of crypto, you get one free green gem. Wait 200 weeks and it's guaranteed, but you don't get to keep the crypto. It goes straight into Lava's bank account, okay? And that's how that one's going to work, all right? But I mean, let's be honest here. Eidolon already uses like 20% of your GPU, 20 to 30 30 percent of your gpu regardless that's why i think we need mods we need custom mod packs so we can literally have a uh a high performance mode to like basically get rid of everything so then we use way less gpus it looks like my last kidney stone i mean some people take 80 percent for island I'm one treat away from level 5 treat. The grind for dupe begins. Good luck, dude. Four years ain't bad for a free dupe. Yeah, chat. People are saying the game isn't really pay to win. At least, at least, you, you'll get a, you got a free dupe in about four years. I can have at least four to five god resets a week if I don't have a dupe. I think two is pretty good. Mods for engine five. Absolutely. That's not a bad exchange. On my 3080 Ti, I think it's like one, day, one dollar a day at the moment. That's not worth it. For the graphics card destruction... Whose Eidolon is taking 20% off their GPU? My Eidolon takes off 20% of my GPU. I hop on ES, it instantly goes to 90. Oh, the max I do is 40%. Yeah, Eidolon takes 40% max. So I start right, my first companion's dude, that is good. The mummy pet thing, that's huge. Yes. Yes, that's that's pretty massive. Upgrade your load from Eidolon, dude. Well, some people have run, you know, lower end rigs. How big would you compare the get all divinity from King Dude upgrade to mid game players to late game players? Um, it's like a uh, forty percent, forty percent difference. I would say in progression. Yeah, if not higher, yeah, about forty percent. The difference between people that don't have Dude, depending on people that do have Dude, it's about a forty percent difference. It's a pretty, it's a pretty substantial difference. Because there's things like skill XP, AFK gains, um, uh, AFK procs, uh, two times kills, um, damage. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess uh, not really damage. I mean, you get the blessings anyways. But I mean, I mean, pretty, pretty juiced. Lab, uh, yeah, also lab, lab as well. But you, but the thing is, is you still, you still need to level up lab first, right? You can't just have do and then lab will just level it up. You can't you can't have that. You actually because because uh goat god and bear god conflict with each other. So you still have to be in lab in order to level up divinity and lab at the same time. Should I be farming beginner recipes in world one? Probably not where you're at right now. You should be farming Bobby make sure to do Bobby Yaga every hour on the hour so you get the um serrated Rex Rex recipes. That's why the college funds get touched. Yeah, that's fair. And Grivy does the feasty statue golden food or just normal food? It's just normal food, bud. So that's like speed pots, damage pots, HP pots, health food. Uh, golden food effect is it's a whole different entity. How long would it take for me to get world four with shaman? Too fucking long. You have to go to task manager name to call him a GPU engine, which isn't a default thing. What does it reduce it? You also need level two in divinity, right? Correct. You need level two. You need level two divinity in order to get the bonuses. What armor should I have in World Four? Amrock. I never have Rex. I never did Baba ever again because it doesn't give extra gems and candies. Yeah, but it gives cards. I will have free rolls on pseudo dupe pets. Just like give me snake hair pet, and I could deal with the dupe list. Well, I mean, you. Do, I mean, you get free rolls. I think I personally think what would fix a lot of issues is that there were certain tasks or chores you could do throughout the week to give yourselves extra free rolls per per week. Get, be like if you do X amount of GP or X amount of tasks for for the week, you get an extra two free rolls. So you get f three free rolls a week. Easy, easy fix. People are way more happy. That takes that takes one year. That takes one year worth of grinding to. Or four years worth of grinding to one year worth of grinding. You know? I mean, I mean, I, I feel like I feel like that would make sense, right? I mean, do the work, but then again, it's like at least that'd be a little bit better. Like it's still not changing the fact that you if you want dude off pity, you have to pay for it. But you know, it gets you it gets you closer to those street tiers, right? It gives you it gives you a higher chance on getting it. 
But I mean, that, that's what I would say. By the way, I made second Barbarian Squire and to use it for mining. That's good. That's good. You want, you want extra mining. Because now you're good for World 3. For your first six characters just starting out, you want one of each class. Of course, it makes, uh, it makes sense. Stupid 200 weeks for free to play is dumb. What was Lava Mine implementing this BS? Um, first take on gacha mechanics, right? Like, uh, like actually, actually trying to implement a gacha mechanic because all, like you, you could say arcades gacha, but I would consider that soft gacha. But I mean, I'm, but that's also with blue gems, right? So I would definitely say it's more soft gacha. But I think, I think what it was was uh, his attempt at trying to do par for the course, which is in a free to play game, uh, usually with an MMORPG, is some sort of gacha system. So he tried to implement a gacha with with his knowledge and what he thought was to make a good gacha, and I think he just imp implemented it slightly wrong because he just didn't understand the concept of the basic fundamentals of what makes a good gacha. That's all. It's really not that into it. I that, I would just I would just see that's just uneducated when it comes to the basic fundamentals of a gacha. Morocco two BM since I got my eighth character. Oh, God, nice dude. Miss Click now I have four warriors. You know. Well, I mean, four warriors is okay. Two blood berserkers, two DKs, then you're then you're fucking cooking. But my shaman is eighty three. My barb is level fifty six. I'm gonna be honest with you, levels don't really mean that much. Levels don't give you more damage. So they don't really matter. But I mean, I would I would say that's that's you know that that's I don't know about you, chat, but I, I like gotcha. I love gotcha. I think gotcha is fantastic. Does it make you spend money? Yeah. Does it make you feel? Does it does it, does it make you feel afterwards that the amount of money that you spend? Um, make it better uh no not really i love in-game purchases yeah i'm a sucker for microtransactions i really am it's it's bad it's really bad but i i, I like it life's family tab of obols yeah exactly dude. and call him and tell him to change it yeah here let me let me let me let me let me get let me get lava on discord here let me give him let me give him a phone call imagine if i actually called lava and he actually answered dude that would be so fucking funny dude if I could call him, he'd be like, hello? <laughs> be like, La Lava? <laughs> Do it, try it? I'm not going to fucking call Lava, dude. No, shut up, Chad. It's not happening. Do it? No. Me and, me and him aren't cool like that, okay? All right? I'm literally a, an annoying little content creator that takes his content to make it my own content, okay? Do it. Hard to call him without setting up AI on the other end. Yeah, true. Do it, puss. How about you do it, killer? You do it. You do it. No, don't distract him from working on World 6. No balls? It's okay. I will. No balls. G can't call himself, though. I don't know him. That sounds like a fucking L ratio then, bro. Yo, Fu, thank you for the follow, dude. Welcome to the ADBA Army. Welcome on in. No balls? I will. I will okay with no balls, dude. I don't think that... You can't know he won't answer if you don't try. I'm not even going to bother trying. Okay, I'm calling him. Go for it. Wait, right click GPU? Okay. I guess I kind of think. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Spesh, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, I understand that concept. Okay. He picked up. Oh yeah, what did you say? That's how we actually see your GPU usage. Then what's the other thing that it shows? I see in-game purchases as if I like the game, I don't mind supporting them by buying buying stuff. That's exactly what I see as well. What? Uh you you sent me the message. Like, you know, when you go into task manager and you see GPU and it's not and then and then it's not set up to the other GPU. Like I World 6 is coming after GTA 6. You mean Florida Simulator? But I, 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 but stand up, I see, I see my, uh, I see in game purchases the exact same way. Like if I, if I, if I've spent 14,000 hours in a game, obviously I'm going to probably spend money in the game just because, um, obviously I've gotten more than my time out of the game. It doesn't break down by what? Under the performance tab, entire GPU's usage. Oh. That's that's oh, okay. All right. It's cool until adding RNG factors or getting what you want. I disagree. I strong disagree. Hot take. I like the RNG factor. 
I do. I'm a big fan. I am I am fucking based when it comes to this, dude. I love RNG factor. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's if it's a free to play mechanic, if it's just an in-game mechanic, or if it's a paid mechanic, dude. I fucking love gotcha. Because bro, when you get that bonus 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 and you get that character that you've been hunting, Bro, the fucking dopamine coming out of your body, bro. You're hopping up. You're like, woo, let's go, baby. That's what I'm fucking talking about. And then you're just fucking, bro, it's, it, bro, my neurons fucking light at light speed at that point, bro. I'm just binging off the fucking walls, bro. There's nothing more, there's nothing more than gets the rocker going than a fucking goddamn perfect roll on a gotcha, okay? So I, I dis, I fucking hard disagree. Oh, so big tax write-off? What the fuck are not talking about Island? I don't know about you, dude. I was just talking about I was just talking about gotcha games in general. I can't write off every fucking game, bro. What if they added auto loot upgrades? What to the pets? I mean that'd be fun. Hi, and I hate RNG. RNG Jesus hates me, dude. It's because it's because here's the thing, alright? 99% of gacha players quit before they hit big. I have to wait till tomorrow morning for my next- I mean, you'll get it, bro. This man edges to gacha, dude. I really do. You can't just stream it? Yeah, true, dude. Should need to stream the game once, then write off? Maybe that's why I should start doing shit. Maybe I'll just play the stream tile. Have to play this game to write it off. Feel really good getting that Ancient Fury Relic out of 13 options on first try? There you go, dude. No, I mean to auto loot. I mean auto loot should be paid. I don't- I don't- I don't think auto loot should be free. To be fair. So I think- I think if auto loot is free, um, then it's kind of pointless to all those people that bought auto loot because then it's kind of just a slap in the face. Too many people have bought an auto loot for you to just make auto loot free, personally. I think at least. Not everything's a write off, the maximum isn't that much. I mean, if, if he started off with not a lot of payments, then yeah, sure, make, make auto loot just part of the game. But I mean, so many people have already bought in the $5 pack. Still trying to get all artifacts since World 5 release, though. Even if RNG just hates me, I hate him back, dude. That's fair. I mean, you can buy more upgrades. Oh, yeah, true. If it makes it free, you better give me 1 million gems. Auto loot is so worth it. I would say it's arguably uh, needed to play the game. I bought it, and I think it's okay. Early adopters have gotten a lot of use from it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it literally... I, I, would, I would say that without... Like, auto loot changed the game completely. I would personally say that auto loot itself, auto loot and loot filter changed how the game played mechanically completely. It made it so it was actually possible for you to play 24 seven. Without it, you can't play 24 seven. Because you don't, because because you don't, you you can't you can't auto loot. So all the so you'll you'll run it like two FPS from all the things on the ground. Sure, you can loot filter everything, but you'll fill up with coins. Right there, there's there's no way to get around it. Purchase for a game you can get free with a hundred hours of content is completely fair. Yeah. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Five pound purchase for a game you could can for free with a hundred hours of content. Yeah. I only gave me a way to pay for lava for making a cool game. Yeah, exactly. It's ba it's basically no different than like like a Twitch sub, right? It's like you paid for you paid for a Twitch sub for lava. That's basically relatively what it is. Or you bought him a coffee from Kofi or Lofi or whatever the fuck it's called. But be, but but Willie's right. Basically, what auto loot is 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 the equivalent of a free to play mobile game with the no ad feature, right? You know what I mean? So it's like you buying auto loot is like is like having no ads, right? Because uh, but but even then it's cheaper because I, speaking of which, have you, I got I got I got a, I got a problem, okay? I got I got a huge problem nowadays with mobile games. Why the fuck is it like twenty dollars to remove ads nowadays? It used to be like a dollar, two dollars remove ads. Now it's like anywhere from ten to fifteen to twenty fucking dollars. What 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 is with that? Why why why? Why? No, the game isn't even worth twenty fucking bucks. The game isn't worth twenty fucking bucks. So why why in the God's name do you have fucking no? Can't 
We can't just say inflation. Why, why, do, why does it always go to just, oh, that's because inflation. We can't blame everything on inflation. Corporate greed, I'd rather take that. Pay for it, they make you still watch the ads. That's true, dude, that's true. Actually, a lot of things as well is, is even when you pay for the ad packs, there's still stuff that you have to watch ads for. It's just like, what the fuck? Corporate moves, dude, it's, it's, it, yeah, it is corpo moves, absolutely. But it's like, I don't think it should be that expensive. I really don't. I don't think that you should have to pay 10, 15 to $20 for a fucking game that is, that it's like not even that much. And not only that, they, they charge 10, 15, $20, but the ads are super fucking intrusive. It's like every three rounds, you get a 30 second ad. It's like, that's fucked up. That, that's messed up. It's just like, at that point, you might as well just put at the price at fucking $15. It's no feel for money yet, true. Watch ad to speed up building progress for five minutes. Yeah, exactly. You think that you think it's bad for you? One dollar is equal to five bucks in my coin to remove ads and sub games. You literally need to pay 80 bucks. That's fucking nuts, dude. That's fucking crazy. Wait, five bucks in coin to remove? One dollar. Bro. What are you fuck? Are you in fucking Venezuela, dude? Boss? Fuck. Jesus. Worst part of the ads is the BS ones that make fun of most, dude. Yeah. Hate the S-backs the most. Or they charge $4.99 for a monthly ad removal pack. That's fucked up, dude. Most time is playing, is watching ads. And I think that's the worst part about mobile gaming. Worst ads are the ones that cut you off in the middle of the game. True, dude. Or or the worst one is when you're is when you're doing the high score one and you die, instant ad plays. And then and then you can and then you can use one ad to to get a new life. I fucking hate that shit. I think that shit's so dumb. I I, I can't I can't fucking stand it, dude. It's 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 just it gives you time to think of it on installing. Yeah, ad, it's like I don't understand why they think that that's a good idea. Also, it gets worse. Remember, there's like five second ads now. There's forty five second mid ads sometimes. Yeah, and the and the worst part is is the ads aren't even good. Like the ads are just like some mobile fucking garbage that has a ad that has nothing to do with the game. That's why Eidolon is the best, dude. I mean, Eidolon's pretty good. Black Mirror level shit, dude. And the best part is when you pay yourself sometimes because ad pause for every three to five minutes, dude. Yeah, what's up, Candyman Criminal? What's going on, dude? So all mobile games got advertised by Lovely Bobby. Don't know what that is, dude. Exactly, bro. I I don't know, man. Like I would I would I would love mobile games so much if they weren't just just so so fucking bad that way. Right? I would have so much more love for them. I would be playing honestly, I'd be playing a lot more mobile games if that was the case, but there's just it's just hollowest it's just hollowless, passionless gaming. There's like there's no there's no passion into it. I mean, to be fair, there's some games that I like, bro. Like this game, like like Epic Seven. I'll I'll give it that. Epic Seven, honestly, has passion. Okay, it's it's a fuck. It, it's it's a gacha game, but it's a good game. It's it's a it's a solid gacha game. It's one of the better guy. It's one of the best gacha games. I I would argue. Games not even if they don't have anything about the game, but aren't the same game. Yeah, it's like fucking Hero Wars, dude. Yeah, that shit, dude. To test the ones that open the app store and stop the timer. Oh, fucking true, dude. Like, you try to click the little X and it takes you to the app store because it tricks you. Got my last Onyx statue. Yo, grats, dude. That's huge. One million buttons. Yeah, exactly. Best mobile game? I would say the best mobile game is probably uh, Raid Shadow Legends. That was a joke, by the way. I was just kidding. I wasn't being serious. Apple Free Games back in 2012, five minute gameplay, at least no ads. Personally, like AFK Arena for the gacha mechanics. I mean, AFK Arena is good too. I would say probably like a really good game would be uh, probably the best mobile game, I would say. Would, uh... I mean, I, I would say Epic Seven is pretty fucking good, man. Definitely, definitely up there is one of the best. Well, it depends on what genre we're looking at. Eidolon, Eidolon, uh, Pokemon Go is pretty good. I would say, yeah. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't, I would barely consider Eidolon a mobile game. 
I would say the games that were released on mobile first, right? Because Eidolon wasn't released on mobile first, right? It was it was released on PC first, so I wouldn't necessarily cause call it a mobile game. I would say it's, it has a mobile port. XUNICO is talking about adding ads to the COD after a certain amount of bullets were used. That's fucked up. That's 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 fucked up, dude. Pretty good mobile called Sci-Fi recently. Raid Shadow Legends today sponsor. Use code Delana seven 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 for a hundred free draws. Get yours today. Flappy Bird was dope. Yeah, but Flappy Bird ruined people. Summoner Wars. Summoner Wars is okay. Candy Crush that. Yeah. Those times I saw the ads for Horizon Assassin's Creed, some sort of puzzle simulator. Yeah, true. What? Okay. Chad, are you guys trolling me? We got we got a new image, chat. We got a new image. We got a new image. Hold the phone, chat. Hold the phone. Ah. Ah. Ow. Owie. Chat, what does it mean? Chat, what does it mean? What does it mean, chat? I don't know what it means. What does it mean? Yeah, I, I, I low key, uh, I, I, you know, we were, we were talking about talking about it. It's agility for RuneScape. Yo, fucking talk about best fucking mobile game, RuneScape, baby. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you. If I streamed RuneScape, I'd play the fuck out of RuneScape. Almost like, almost like, looks like Realm, dude. It's not Realm. Call Lavada Ass, dude. It means gem purchases. It's a YouTube play button. It's got a question mark on it. It's a new player help stone. Well, I, th I, I think you're going a little too deep into it, dude. That's not a question mark, dog. It's, it's backwards. That's Realm 100%. It's not, it's not Realm, dude. It's not Realm. It looks like a YouTube play button. I'll give it that. I don't know crossover RuneScape when. Chat. I figured it out. I know what it is. It's a new PvP mechanic. It's rock, paper, scissors. You have to unlock rock, paper, scissors in order to do it. We all figured it out. It's the final piece to Exodia. Plus sea of Thieves or some other stuff as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I eventually play different games here and there. I think that's a pillar. Ladies and gentlemen. Bessie's a fucking genius. IQ of 285. Fucking pillar. Well done. No fucking shit. <laughs> well, I like to see if these would damn the game so shallow and no pun intended. It's fun for the PvP, but I'm not huge into PvP. You only get rock, paper, scissors from the arcade balls? Yeah, true. I look at the pedestal with a buff item on it, similar to Realm with another one next to it. Third, not built. Smartest man alive. Love to see you play OSRSG. It would probably be more like uh, OSRS would probably be like, I don't know, kind of just Eidolon kind of deal. Yeah, because there's the green stuff around it. The background? You mean the grass? Are we talking about the grass or the fucking, or the, 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 the background? Pillar building skill, that's why there's different heights. They're better, bro, it's splunking. It's, it's splunking shit. But not only a pillar, they have a stone over it, feel smart. Griffey, you don't vape on anymore? No, I don't vape anymore, dude. I quit that shit. Maybe the height of the pillar is like the level of the artifact? Yeah, I could see that as a potential possibility. <clears throat> what is grass? Oh, sorry, chat. Okay. I, I I I I forgot about that. New Year, New Me. I I I quit before New Year's. But I mean but uh but I mean chat, if you if you take a look at it, if you guys don't know, in the wild, okay, chat. There's a there is a a a organism called grass. It is a plant-based typed Pokemon that only active people can know. In real life, grass touchers is what we like to call them. I know it may be hard to believe. It's almost like saying that dinosaurs were real in the in real life. I know, chat. I know. It's terrible. That thing on top of Bulbasaur, that's that's not fucking grass, bro. It's a fucking bulb for a plant. It's not grass. Are you saying dinosaurs aren't real? 
dinosaurs aren't real dude they're th no those are pokemon okay you i you know what i know we all know it the dinosaurs were actually pokemon okay they discovered t-rex nah bitch that was a charizard all right don't you fucking come at me it's like no it's like bro it's a fucking steelix okay don't you don't you be acting like that's some kind of thing that it isn't all right this guy talking about grass like i don't have a plot next to me with the grass in it then bro bro all right so i know you guys don't understand what grass is okay all right man's just chatting rotting his brain dude t-rex is like ramp <laughs> rampardos dude yeah true so so grass okay grass is something that photosynthesizes okay i know big word i know chat i know and it also makes the world green crazy and we need the big rainbow gift this is the more you know but if you roll in it okay if you roll in it it makes you itchy photo some fantasy fantasies dude <laughs> no that's the wrong website so focus colorblind people yeah if you're colorblind this shit's fucking gray all right or red to some people depends on what level of colorblind you are make the world green for everybody stop being colorist against colorblind people's match bro <laughs> stop stop trying to push your agenda lena legion you corpo motherfucker did some next level explanation of grass you roll green dude oh uh, yeah of course of course dude I touch a different type of grass, okay? There's there's a difference. But I mean, for, for the people that truly don't understand, chat, you can only find this outside. All right? And we can tell Lava is truly an artsman of his craft. You know why? Because he knows what grass looks like. He's a grass toucher, chat. He's a non-believer. He's, he's blasphemous, okay? He needs to, he needs retribution for his, for his wrongdoing of touching the fucking grass. Lies, I can see more, some growing on my walls. That's not grass, that's mold. If you explain grass right now, it's like when a teacher asks to write a 10 page essay on the most mundane thing, dude. A real life human? Fuck that guy, dude. Yo, Yuri, thank you for the follow. Fuck the DB army. You just find grass at the pharmacy for the right price? I don't know what pharmacy you're cooking at. I mean, I, I can buy it from my pharmacist, you know what I'm saying? I also know what grass looks like. It's blue. Uh, that's real. Lava touches grass. What? Toby. T Toby. What? It, are you? Are you? What are you? Are you trying? Are you trying to be? Are you trying? To, what? What the? What? It, what are you? Why are you swinging for the fences like that? Wait, what? Even, even, do you even like? Okay, question, question, Toby. Do you ever be like, hey, maybe I should think about the things I say before they come out of my mouth, or are you kind of just like a, like a fucking, hey, I'm gonna think and write as I do it at the same time. I'm just gonna shit out of my mouth, and whatever comes out is what we roll with. Is that is that is that is that how you live your life? So I mean, I mean, I don't know about you, but that is some of the most brain rot, dumbest shit I've ever fucking heard in my life. I write in old caps as well, dude. Like I actually lost like at least three to four brain cells from that fucking from that message. And I don't, I I only have five brain cells left. So like you just you just literally gave my last brain cell a fucking lone wolf buff, okay? Because well, fuck, I get twenty percent increased damage now. Thanks, bro. Thanks. I really, I really, really appreciate it. I was going to be explained who's he from the third person perspective, dude. Bro, I always find it weird, weird when people talk to themselves in the third, third person perspective. Pillars have two different colors. Maybe it's different upgrade modes, bonuses, statues in World One could be a potential possibility. Headbutt the key keyboard and see what comes out. Only touch snow on mountains, so I touch it in game. You have yellow snow is tasty though, right? Went down to thirty points from that. <laughs> 30 points for Griffin, no? Huh? I only heard off grass and legendary mythical stories, dude. I mean, I don't know about you, but I only heard about grass types from Pokemon. And I was wondering what it was. Like, when you compare it for the pick from yesterday? Yeah, true. You make me, you made him rethink life now, dude. Yeah, he's like, oh, maybe I was wrong. I always tell my friends outside I am the blunder hero. I, I, 
I, I tell my friends that too, but I, I say I'm the Blumpkin hero, so it's a little bit different. But I mean, Blender hero, Blumpkin hero, it's the same thing, right? You know, it just depends on which way you look at it. That's how I feel when you talk about Lava. I'm like, why is this man talking to third person so much? Yikes, dude. The real question is, you have friends? Because my story, I lied. I don't have friends. I completely lied this whole entire time. Said earlier you don't have friends? Yeah, I mean, true. The stone on the pedestal clearly unlocks platforming, which adds a whole new dimension to the game. That's what we need. We need we need platformers. All right. We need we need we need the special puzzles. Why the pillar change color in the two picks? I think what I actually think is happening is I think Lava's cooking up what what he wants the pillars to look like. I think that's it. I think there's I think there's no more than just that. Oh my god, chat! Oh my god! I just realized, chat. We're getting agility. We're getting agility in Eidolon. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's happening. We're gonna have agility courses. Oh baby. Let's get it. A triple. It's gonna be so good, chat. It's gonna be so good. What's agility? Oh. <laughs> if you guys if you, okay, so if you guys don't know, agility is a thing in RuneScape. Where you can click on like walking, like walking through tight ropes, or like, uh, you know, like climbing on monkey bars and shit, and like it's it's called agility, and you get XP every time you do that. It was it was basically what I, I was making a reference to, but anyways, I mean, I, I'm surp I'm surprised. But there's so many RuneScape mechanics taken and put into Eidolon that we we're not all very inside with with RuneScape. Show chat. I'm not gonna show chat what a fucking agility is. It's already a thing. You know, Archer main stat? Yeah, I guess. No, no. Different agility. Rooftop courses. Here we go. Hell yeah, dude. I'm ready. I think that was brought to us already. What What? What was agility, huh? Where was our agility course? I, I would be so fucking down for agility course. Are you kidding me? I would play it for at least 15 minutes. At least. Maybe even potentially more. Maybe less. Probably less. But I mean, I would guarantee... Parkour mechanic... Parkour hardcore. But the thing with parkour is you have to be outside. I'll give you a free house, Griffy. In Minecraft. I don't want a free house. I don't want anything free. You know why? Because they're string attached. And I thought catching a mining minigame is agile as it can get. Yeah, true, dude. True. I was so pumped to unlock Pong in gaming that I realized lag to shit. Oh yeah, and the AI is like the equivalent of a fucking supercomputer. Feel it feels like whenever I'm playing Pong, I'm playing against fucking chat GPT, dude. For some reason the AI is just super hardcore. It's funny, it's stupid. But it's on the house. No, I don't believe you. It doesn't matter what you get in life, if it's free, there's strings attached. Always. Always, dude. Even like on those game shows, like, congratulations, you've win a million dollars. And then you get taxed out of the asshole for it. Strings attached. That's why there's asterisks next to everything. All right. Here, you want a free house? You just have to give me your firstborn son. Asterisks. Nothing's ever free. Yeah, I get smarter after each game. and It really does, dude. Even when you get gifted a sub for free, that's different. Gifted subs are different. Because I did, that's already strings attached. I gave you content. I give you content, you sub. That's how it works. That's already a string attached. If I didn't do content, I wouldn't get the sub. Right? Easy. Big brain. I get the recipe from Baba Yaga. But I got, I got depression for free. No, you didn't. Nope. Nope. No, you didn't. What a pain today. Absolutely. Gifted substring is Amazon's cut. Yeah, yeah, true. True. Amazon, a Amazon's holding the scissors, okay? Amazon's like, hey, you know, it's fine. I'll just cut the string whenever I feel like it. But I mean, that's a cool thing. I mean, I do, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, uh, chat. It was a rock, okay? It, it was, that. that's all it was. It was, it was a rock. Oh, oh, ah, ah, cool rock. Sick rock, bro. Like my rock, man. Hey, chat, take a look. It's a rock. Oh, now we are lava? Well, I mean, technically, yes. Uh, because, because chat is just a figment of my imagination.
because all of this is a fever dream. I've been in a coma for the past four years. This, this, this me doing this whole thing where I wake up every day and stream to you guys, you guys watch. Um, actually, uh, it's just I'm in a coma, and um, and you guys are calling me lava, so that means technically you guys are lava. So I mean, the real question is, lava is the friends we made along the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just having a schizo moment. Don't worry about it. Imagine the rock gives times two damage overall. Well, that's disgusting. Reminds me of TOS that I saw someone read, I think it's inside a game, and talked about giving up your first, second, and third born child by accepting the terms and being hunted down if you refused. Well, that's kind of wild, Night Fox. Imagine waking up, big AFK gains. <laughs> yeah, true. Imagine waking up and Eilon is not real. Uh, actually, believe it or not, Schmegs, if I woke up and Eidolon wasn't real, and all of this was just a coma, I would make Eidolon. I would 100% make Eidolon. Instantly. No, no, no fucking... I, w I would just start working on it. I would start learning instantly. I'd be like, guys, I just had a dream. I had a dream of a fucking insane pixel art game that I am going to make. And then I'd make the whole fucking thing. But I mean, but I mean, obviously, obviously, when I wake up from the coma, Eidolon is still going to be real. If you're not in a coma, you're dead, and this is your afterlife. Bro. Bro, talk about a depressing afterlife. <laughs> talk about a fucking depressing afterlife, dude. My afterlife is I'm playing a fucking pixel art idol game for the rest of eternity. Fuck me. God, at least you could give me something a little bit better. I dream about the greatest game. I mean, I dream about the game of all time. I'm actually making a pixel art like game myself, dude. I feel like everybody at this point is making a pixel art game. It's good, man. Pixel art games are the future. Pixel art games are the future. All right? Especially indie games. Your dream was talking about Lava Flame making Eilon. Now you're making it. Naming yourself Lava Flame 2. More like Griffy Lame 2. You know what I'm saying? That's what I... That's, that would be my new name, bro. That would be my new name. My new name. Now, Afterlife is you and WoW, but... No other players to queue up with raid with, bro. That no, that's not that's not the afterlife. That's called fucking purgatory, okay? That's good. You know what that no, that you know what that is? That's called being a DPS, okay? <laughs> that's what that's what really what it comes down to, all right? Y'all fucking out here with the 50 50 fucking raid shit. Oh, by the way, chat. For new for for going forward, you know how I said I was always a healer main in games? I, I tried out Mana Soul yesterday, and when you start the game, you have to answer a bunch of questions to say what element you are to depend on what class you are. Guess what Guess what element I got? Just guess what element I got. Bard. That's not a- that's not a fucking element. Why is Bard- are Bards not an ele- SUPPORT'S NOT AN ELEMENT! That's right. I got Earth. And you know what Earth is, chat? You know what Earth is? That's a tank class. That's a tank class, baby. So now, now, whenever I play an MMORPG, I'm tanking. I'm fucking tanking. Just rolled free dudes and I have one to give when training comes out. Hell yeah, Blue Brew. An Earth bar, pay to win, best element, dude. Yeah, true. A gacha element. I thought I was playing Captain Panic rules, so I'm going to say heart, dude. No. So for now on, any new MMORPG we play, I'm rolling fucking tank. I'm rolling fucking tank. Earth is element where beans grow. Healers can be tankers, to be honest. No, they can't. No, they can't, dude. I mean, sure, if you're a paladin. But I mean, when Druid be considered Earth type, that's nature type. Nature is different from Earth, silly. Just made it to world two? Yo, grats, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Gaming. Absolutely gaming. So, that's where, that's where we're going, chat. Just build HP and self-heal? Yeah, true. What's that, stoop? That's stupid? No, it's not. Earth doesn't mean that there's grass. Earth means that there's dirt and rock. Okay? And maybe sometimes vines. But I mean, it does, it does, nature is the grass, the flowers, the fucking trees, bro. It's like, oh, it's like, what, what is, what is the druid gonna throw sand at you and be like, oh, you healed, uh, 
here's here's sand of healing. Oh fuck my eyes. <laughs> Just to know what MMO you're gonna want to tank a month before we all quit, dude. Uh probably Taurus Land. Probably tanking Taurus Land, dude. Hardcore suck an island progression for a month now since World 5. Hell yeah. What is this di dissection thing? Dissection thing? Huh? What about mud? I would say mud is considered earth. Versus since I saw debuffs and how strong they can be, I always take a class at RPGs with debuff enemies. Yeah, because you're a good support class. Also, Pakistan. There's a rock and stone. I needed to say that. Yeah, true. My druid always keeps a bag of sand on hand, dude. How do you give Siegebreaker big damage? Movement speed. Big dickest movement speed, bro. Griff, you still didn't pet the ram yet? Here, just so everybody can see here. Just so everybody knows. Just so everybody can see it. Is that what you want, chat? Is that what you want? Just make you happy. Just make your just make your dopamine receptors go off. Don't worry, chat. One day we'll have an idol game called Pet the Ram, Ram Idol, where this is literally all you do. And this is it will be a mobile game, and there will be no ads, chat. There will be no fucking ads, and all you have to do is incrementally pet the Ram better, and then you can get hats for special bonuses. Wait, I actually want a game like that. Yeah, don't worry, I'll make a game. I'll make that game. Just imagine a couple of years poor Ramsey will have a bald spot from all that petting, then he, then he and Griffey will match. <laughs> Legion, fuck you. <laughs> Hello? Spotify? Hello? What the fuck is this song? Hello? Cookie Glitter be like, dude, it'd be an auto merge pet, the Ram game, dude. Pet Ram, dude. That, I mean, you tell me that you guys wouldn't play that. You tell me that you guys, if you guys saw Ramsey in a game that you guys wouldn't play. Is that is that what you're telling me? And I mean, uh, bro, I, I think I think I think that would be, I think you guys would play the shit out of that, actually. Ram Idol, dude. I think that'd be I think that'd be a, a game beyond games, okay? That would be that'd be that'd be literally cookie clicker 2.0, man. That'd actually be really ironic. That would actually be really ironic. Getting known for an by playing an idle game ends up baking an idle game. Five dollars for double clicks, dude. You know I'd you 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 know I would I don't know if I'd even microtransaction it. I don't know, but maybe, possibly. I don't know. Maybe I'll just make a free game, chat. Maybe I'll just make a free game that makes no fucking money. How about that? How about that? How would you like it if everything was free? Free, chat. Free. Just kidding, I'd probably monetize it. When player Ramsey has no right to be that thick. Yeah, true. When play it, Griffey already have a life idol on wait me free stuff chat. That'd probably not be free. Let's be honest here. I, I would I would be like yeah let's do it and then I'd realize how much it costs to keep the game up and I'd be like oh shit I have to make money I can't just pay this for free what the fuck and then that's when I become the new Danny and I tell you guys to 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 subscribe to my Patreon. You do it like Oprah. You get free stuff sub only chat but you do free chat giveaways. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Like, be like, hey, if you, here, I'll give, send you a code. Hey, Chad, who wants to win a free code? Free code for auto loot. Fully free game, but uh, to get a pet roll, you have to watch a hundred of mobile ads, and they're all the same ad. Where we got go go foot videos. Don't need more. Don't need Patreon. We definitely need eventually need Patreon. Hundred percent, we're eventually gonna get Patreon. My favorite part about Alon is the waiting. Your favorite? I I'm, I would argue that's the worst part about Alon is the fucking waiting. I would, I would 100% argue the fact that the worst part is fucking waiting. I hate fucking hate waiting. Here, let's see. What is the top 10 mobile games of 2023? Let's see what we got here, chat. Let's, let's see. It's a wide bottle. Thanks, man. Ko-Fi is better than Patreon in terms of cost. You have a Patreon cooler. We have Genshin Impact, Pokemon Go, Warzone Mobile, Minecraft. What are these fucking images? 
Roblox. Final Fantasy Ever Crisis. Wait. Is this good? Ever Crisis is a role-playing game developed by Applebot, Square Enix, who publish Android, iOS, and Windows, a form paid completion. Is this actually good? That was ironic, but your opinion makes sense. Absolutely. Cross 1 billion minimum damage by tunes this week? Hell yeah. Call himself out. This is waiting. It's the worst part. Yeah, we're all waiting for gameplay. True. Where's Honkai Star Rail? I mean, load 15 more. Okay. Low key, dude. Subway Surfers? Fucking huge meme. Like, okay. Okay, what are the what are these? Wait, what the fuck is Coin Master? Coin Master. Uh, po with visual appealing graphics, diverse time adventure. Wait, 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 wait. Coin Master? Hello? Excuse me? Fireball Wizard? Okay, I have not heard any of these games. There's Honkai Star Rail. Vampire, Vampire Survivors is on mobile. Why are you so fucking bad? Best mobile? Pocket car, jockey, ride on. That actually kind of sounds, looks sick. Resident Evil Village. Best mobile games of 2023. Oh, yes, chat. I love, I love, my favorite mobile game to play is Resident Evil Village. What a fucking fantastic mobile game. Oh, my God. Game of the year. I love Lady Demetrius, dude. So good in that mobile port. What the fuck, dude? Does anybody proofread their shit anymore? GameSpot, you're doing us wrong, bro. And you were having a phone would pay off, and people say a phone isn't basically a computer. Wait, well, Re Resident Evil Village isn't the first AAA title to come to mobile? Wait, 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 is this actually a thing? Is a Resident Evil Village on mobile? <laughs> Bro, you can actually play on mobile. Wait, what? Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Resident Evil Village can now be played on iPhone, iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Max, and iPads equipped with either the M1 or M2 processor, dude. Wait. Wait, so what you're saying is you, uh, you, you, you say you just need a fucking hyper, the best fucking processor on a phone to only play. For those amongst who are understandably skeptical about this high production game running on mobile device, you can currently play a trial version for free on the Apple Store. And guess what, chat? You get to play for 15 minutes because that's how long your battery life is gonna last. So much for, does anyone proofread this, dude? Uh, I disagree because it's a fucking trial version. You can't call it the best game of 2023 if it's a fucking trial version. It's among the first, not simply a port, has been tweaked to run on the phone. This is the same bill as Capcom developed macOS just for iPhone. Playing a game on iPhone lacks the scale and fidelity to compare the console experience on TV to make up portability convenience. All is without needed stable internet connection to stream it. And you need a controller with controller grip. No, and no, no, you can't say it's the best. It's dog shit. It's a, it's going to be a dog shit port. Don't even act like it's fucking good. Yo, Hello Kitty Island Adventures. Chat, remember how much of a meme this was? Do we remember the level of fucking memes? Remember, remember Make Love Not Warcraft chat? The old, good old South Park episode of all South Park episodes. And Bubbles was like, I would rather play Island, Hello Kitty Island Adventures. Bro. It's real. It's fucking real now, dude. It's fucking real. I fucking hell yeah, dude. I'm I'm down. I'm down. Hawkeye Star Rail? I wonder why. Puzmo. First of all, sussy name. Second of all, you can tell this is fucking boomer game, okay? I don't know about you, but this is like something like your grandparents will fucking play. Okay? They have to put on their fucking reading set of glasses in order to fucking play this shit, dude. But this is 100%. I don't know about you, but this is definitely not our demographic. Okay? I'm sorry. I need at least some sort of movement. Oh, that's it? Oh, that, that's all we get? We get we get fucking best mobile games of 2023. Puzmo, which is fucking not even that good. Hawkeye Star Rail. I, I mean, I agree with that. No shit. 
Hello Kitty Island Adventure, okay. A fucking Resident Evil Village, that's a trial game. And fucking Pocket Jockey Ride On, which is basically the essential of just gambling. GameSpot. GameSpot's hitting like HD graphics right now, bro. I'm not gonna be completely honest. This is, this is fucking, this, these guys, I would say HD graphics more on point than these dumb fucks, okay? Just, just putting that straight out there. I'm, I'm, HD graphics is now spitting facts compared to fucking GameSpot. Like, holy shit, you guys. Let's fucking get it together here. All right, all right, all right, all right. But the cutscenes too soon. I mean, I mean, it's waifu simulator. The only reason you pay it is because you want to see you want to, you want to have your favorite waifu. That's the only reason why Honkai Star Rail is good. May the website be six hundred games. Best upcoming mobile games. Okay, you ready? Okay, so so chat. Obviously, Pokemon Go is really good. Call of Duty Mobile, EA Sports. Don't care. Clash Royale, actually good game. League of Legends, Wild Rift. Nobody's gonna fucking play that. Pokemon Unite, nobody cares. Genshin Impact, nobody cares. Honkai Star Rail is better. Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, cool. Obviously, Asphalt 9 Legends. I think Asphalt has always been the winner of mobile games. They've been good since the fucking iPhone 3. Best gotcha games. Cookie, I heard, I heard that fucking actually Cookie, uh, Cookie Run Kingdom is actually really good. Azura Lane. Yeah, I don't know about that one, dog. Hatsu Hatsune Miku. Colorful stage. Probably not. Honkai Star Rail. Well, I don't know. Um, probably because it's got, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I, I I might be thrown out left field, but anime titties. Arc Knights. I've heard good things about Arc Knights. Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. Fuck, that looks terrible. Dragon Balls Legends. Fire Emblem Heroes. Man. Is it just me? Or it's like, Considered good games or like really just like bottom of the barrel type shit. The best gaming phone for Hawkeye Star Rail, Asus ROG Phone 7. Why does this look like a fucking computer? Glass Royale's been shit for years, to be honest. Cookie Run King is actually kind of good. Yeah, I enjoyed Cookie Run for quite some time. Red Magic 8 Pro, dude. I was like, why, why, why don't, why do people just like get like, why don't like people just like buy like blue stacks or something? Or like just have a PC and just, I don't know, just, I don't know, play, play it on fucking PC. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's just because it's mobile. Maybe, maybe I'm just bad taking this. I think it's a bad take, considering we had this whole uh, conversation the other day about how the mobile market's taking over. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just bad at my takes, you know? Maybe, I, maybe I'm just washed up, Jet, because chair. Yeah, true, true, because you have to, I mean, accessibility is everywhere, dude. It's okay, one of these days, Chat, we'll find the mobile game of all time. Imagine buying a phone just to flawlessly play Genshin. I think the problem is, is the battery. I miss the days when I play Pokemon Go on Bluestacks. Here's the thing, dude. Aw, aw, you GPS spoofed, bro. So I, I think I think what the problem is, is like the bulkiness of the phone. I feel like they need to increase the bulkiness of the phone, and I feel like it'd be a lot better. Cats is a pretty fun mobile game. Cats, you know what's also good? Uh, Battle Cats. Battle Cats is fucking great. Battle Cats, great game. Fantastic game, if you will. The, the worst part is, is there's been really good games. There's been a fantastic amount of games. But the problem is, is there... It's just not, it's just not the... I don't know, there's just too much bullshit. Just download Village on iPad, 1.6 gigabyte download to begin with, then it launches, says now download 7.4 gigs or this will close. What about Clash of Clans? Eh, Clash of Clans is okay. I was personally more of a Boom Beach enjoyer over Clash of Clans. I, 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 I liked, I prefer, I prefer uh, Boom Beach over Clash of Clans personally, but that's just me. I played a lot. I, I used to, I used, back when I was roofing, I used to play Boom Beach with my, uh, um with with my boss that was pretty fun so like when we went out for a smoke break we'd both pull out our boom beach and we'd start doing fucking we'd start we'd start correlating with each other to what to attack where it was actually kind of comical we ended up we ended up going for a smoke break and we had we ended up wasting like 30 minutes <laughs> 
if it was slow we'd waste like 30 minutes playing boom beach dude it was fucking hilarious dude i loved it it was fun it's a good time dude that's that's the good shit or like uh that's where I was been playing since, or like uh, when I was playing when I was in Domino's and I was a manager, bro. I would bring I would bring the Wii U. I'd bring my Wii U to to work, and I would uh, I would put the put the Wii U in the bathroom, and I'd take the Wii Pad out into the manager's office, and we'd play like Mario Kart Eight and like Super Smash Bros and shit, dude. Boss would come in and be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I'd be like, "Oh, we're playing some Smash." He's just like, is everything done? I was like, yeah. He's like, all right. And then he'd fucking grab a controller and then he'd play Smash with us. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty, it was pretty fucked up. Not gonna lie. It's pretty good though. It's pretty good. Definitely, definitely had a couple of sick jobs. Boo Beach had so much potential. Yeah, it did. Best boss, dude. Well, I mean, okay. So to be fair, you know, what's the funniest thing about that boss working at Domino's. You know, you know when we finally like became really close is he came in and he had a fucking alliance pin on his shirt. And then I walked up to him and I said, alliance or horde. And that's when we became best friends. All right. That sometimes when you know that you ask that specific question that you know that you are both friendless and maidenless so you are by far the most relatable people within that establishment are you still friends fuck no i don't i told you i don't have friends what's up Clandros? what's going on i play eidolon so the in order to play the most optimal level of eidolon is you have to have little to no friends and you also have to watch twitch.tv slash griffybit. But other than that, you have chat? Yeah, I mean, I said I said friends, not a parasocial relationship. There's difference. I guess no one chat has ever played Ingress, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know what Ingress is. What is Ingress? What do you mean? I'm your friend? I've never seen you. I've never seen anybody's face. Where's Ingress? Ingress Prime. The resistance is seek battle. The forces that attempt to use exotic matter to enslave humanity join the resistance. What the fuck? Play Nikki today? Bro, I will never play Nikki, dude. I'm sorry. You know, I'm all I'm always I'm always down for be like, oh yeah, dude. Hey, yo, you you know, let's be relatable. You like enemy titties? Yeah, I like enemy titties. But I'm not going to sit there and be a fucking degenerate and play a game that, that, and, and farm a game that's consistently just ass. All right? No, thanks. But if I really want that time, I'll just go watch an episode of MXR and everything's fine. Best answer is weep, dude. Not much. Just finished my shift. Huge. Let's meet up in the valley behind your house. That requires me to go outside. That's your first mistake. I don't go outside, okay? It was Pokemon Go's predecessor. Oh, there was that, what was that one game that was like that? It was pixel art. Um, it was, uh, fuck. Uh, pixel art like Pokemon Go. What was that game called? What was, what is that fucking game called? It was actually kind of interesting. Um, uh, pixel art game like Pokemon Go. Where was it? Where is 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 it? Is there a game similar to Pokemon Go? Every other Pokemon game? I thought some toolbox testing is your plan today? Yeah, it is. Yo, Merc Sniper, thank you for the follow, dude. Actually, speaking of which, uh, let's do that. Let's uh, let's get started on that, chat. Why don't you go outside if, it, if there's World 6 outside your window? I mean, that the grass can stay outside. I'll stay inside, it stays outside. Koga? Coming in with the T1. What the fuck are you doing, Kogi? What the fuck, where you come from? What's going on, man? What is happening, brother? What's new? All right. So, chat, send me your Eidolon Toolbox link. And I will pick somebody's Eidolon Toolbox link to, to look over for testing purposes. We're doing it as a testing scenario. Start playing Alan, binging your tutorials. Hell yeah, Merc. Thank you, brother. 
Bing chilling. Oh no. I gotta I gotta see how I can do this. Freeza. All right. No, no. I love toolbox. Toolbox. All right. I forgot. You guys can't post links. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> Give me your first character's name for a toolbox if you up if you've uploaded your fucking toolbox. Just give the name of the profile. Give me the name of the profile. And I'll just pick someone at random. All right, I found one. Let's do Star Slayer. We're gonna do Cleaver 133. Okay, so we're gonna take a look. So what we're doing right now, Chad, if you don't understand, is I'm planning on doing toolbox reviews here pretty soon, but I don't know necessarily how I'm going to attempt it, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at I'm gonna I'm gonna look at people's accounts and seeing how I'm going to like do do the uh do do everything. I don't know how we could have a public profile now. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can, believe it or not. I haven't updated in months. So this is this right now, this would be. So probably what I would do is the F11 this. And then obviously I would have the little. Hmm. We'd have a little thing up top that would say. Um, uh, would say Star Slayer account and then what would you want to work on star slayer let's just we're just we're just going through a trial period what would you, what would you want to work on what is, what is your goal right now we work together and chat helps you yeah we're kind of just running it through idle on probably no like what specific mechanic like what what are you slacking on is like is you need damage I need to get prints up, so you need to figure out ways to get prints. Okay, so we're so we're so we're, uh, so we'll do like uh, uh, higher prints. Okay, and then that's how we did it before. Alignment center that shit. Give me that center alignment there. There we go. So then we'd have it like this. Boop, boop. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a nice, cool little graphic there as well. Nice little, nice little, cool graphic. You get a life. Yeah, absolutely. So. Obviously, if we're looking, oh nice, working on your statues. Yeah, it looks like you're currently working on your Onyx statues, which is nice. Not too bad. Wait, are all your characters named Cleaver? Cleaver 133, Cleaver 133, Cleaver 1... Oh my god, they're all fucking Cleaver, dude. Stuck behind sandcastles. Yeah, right. Pull is the right help with the gauge overall progress. Absolute psycho name convention. And that one Reddit guy was complaining how he couldn't get a fucking... 10 of uh, an extra name imagined it okay so obviously we'd probably look at your character stats i would assume right well let's put this at 100 one way of needing me cr be creative yeah exactly so we'd go to account we would obviously since you're working on prints we'd be instantly going to your alchemy and we'd be taking a look at your alchemy so let's go down here. Let's take a look. What are we looking for? We are looking for to see, okay, level 75, level 1. Okay, level 92. Your sploosh sploosh is 211%. So are you getting 300%? I, I would assume that you're getting 300%, right? That would be a reasonable guess on fishing. Specifically fishing. Everything else, not so much. Wyoming blood, guaranteed 302%. So, I mean, on the rest as well, I think. Let's take a look here. Bug. Your multi-bug. Your multi-bug isn't at 
that one that one is not 300 that is 200 below so then probably what i would end up doing is hey chat what's i got a question for you guys what's a better program than notepad like like you know that uh one program where people have like uh it almost looks like a coding page but it's not it's like to write notepad word notepad plus google text pad Is it, it wait? It, so it's like what was that? What is that one with like the the? It was like the it's the black the black one instead of starts off with the white. You know, is it is that is that is that is that Notepad, or is that Code? Is it is it called Studio Code Command Prompt? I don't think it's Command Prompt. Is that Notes? Because that I like the look of that one. That one's cool. It is, is, is it notepad plus plus? Okay, well, we'll work on it. But it, it. Okay, so that one's called... Okay, hold up. Hold up here. Sounds like Apple Notes. Notes, I think. Yeah, hold up. Um, what is it? Verse, uh, Visual Studio Code? Visual Studio co Code. Um, kind of like that. Not really. Notepad on Windows 11 sounds like Apple Notes. OneNote would probably work quite well. OneNote. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's okay as well. I'm kind of just like looking for that one from Cisco. Is it Cisco? So basically, when I see people like writing notes, right, it almost looks like they're using like a command prompt. You know, it's it's got like that kind of that gray background and it's got the it's got the is it Notepad++? Ah, it is Notepad++. Yes. This is what I was looking for. It is Notepad++. Yes, this right here. This right here. With the one, two, three, four, stuff like that. Yes, yes. This is Notepad++. Okay, so I need Notepad++. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So that's what we're looking for. Okay. Notepad++. Pog. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'll, I'll make sure to download Notepad++ for when we do it. So we, we got that going. So basically, how did I do it before? Here, I, I need, I need, I'm gonna be honest with you, I need to go into YouTube. I need to, I need to go to YouTube. I need to take a look at one of our uh, previous, uh, previous IE reviews so I understand like what I went over before. So I can kind of get an understand of what I was doing again. New limited time shop, Riffy Bit TV. We'll do Snafu. So we're taking. Hmm. 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 Is World Six waiting room? So what? What do I start here? Let's let's just do let's just do two times here. Uh, two times. You'll look at Snafu's account. He needs help on building damage. He just currently arrived at World 4, so he wants to build that up a little bit more. So, of course, as always, let's take a look at the player. We have a 94 okay. Barbarian, a 74 Wizard. We have a 75 Bowman, 63 Squire, a 68 Shaman, 71 Beginner, 74 Hunter, and then we have a 54 Barbarian. For what reason did I go over... Why Why did Why did I go over character stats? Is it, is it for real? Maybe use IE Auto Review 2 to head start pinpoint the issues if that's developed far enough, though. Speedy Griff? Yeah. So we, so then, so then we're talking now, about it. Would probably, if I would assume, you would want to be working at dedicated ramps. Good leveling spot is dedicated ramps for all your characters. Okay, start leveling characters. Okay, dedicated ramps. I mean, that wouldn't really work very much characters, anymore. This will be very, very huge. Up to about a level 100. I like, I like how chat, I like how this was five months ago and there's literally no fucking difference between the two. I literally look the exact same as I did before. Reviewing review, dude. Definitely good for XP. Next, let's take a quick look. Dedicated rams up to level 100, okay. Taking a look at equipment. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty same, 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 same. New hat, though. Yeah, it's not I mean, I already have that hat still. Bigger skulls, better person, talent dungeons. Okay, so I'm basically... So, is it... I feel like it's all the same, man. Okay, this this makes sense. Man, I, I really, I really fucking wish Toolbox was was like this. 
I think personally, if Toolbox was like this, this would make so much, this would make so much more sense. Why do we need iron tools on everyone? It's a stat stick. Um, that is because, because you're getting, you're, when you're in early game, you want as many stats as, as possible. You know what, you know what substat gives you? Accuracy. So if you're making iron tools and you're getting accuracy for it, you're fucking cooking. Creatures of habit, we like, we like consistency, yeah. Yeah, I take a look at vials, I take a look at alchemy, I take a look, okay, unlocking that. I like, I like how, I like how I used to start off with the dead aid ram chat. I have the dead aid ram running across the screen, now I have our own Ramsey running across the screen. Better. Build your, build most of your DPS from each one of your characters when you're starting World War. Obviously try to go for- So I'm just going through damage on your characters, get maestro, unlock more star signs, work on Zao's, Barb Zao, Shaman's files, wizard stamps, archer smithing, movement speed, and squires, refinery rank. Okay, well that, I mean- so it just, it just kind of depends. Why did you switch from IE to Toolbox? Because Toolbox is overall just better. Uh, it's more consistent. And uh, it's, it's more updated. Uh, Eidolon Efficiency kind of just like stopped updating. So the fact that Eidolon Efficiency kind of just stopped updating. We're, we're, it's, it's the, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's, it's time to convert over, I guess. You know, it's like converting from Google Chrome to Opera GX. It's like, although Google Chrome looks better, Opera GX is just way more fucking optimized. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So how I would do it about this is I would be... You need, UI needs a lot of work? Yeah, the UI... UI needs a fuck ton of work here. So obviously, if we're talking about, you know, higher prints, uh, so... If I, if I go back from what I was before, we'd go to character. See, this is a fucking huge issue. This is, this is it. So, I mean, I guess we could just pull it like this. And then I'll perhaps some shady business practices. Fucking everything has shady business practices. Like, literally everything in the history of ever has shady business practices, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. So it'd be like 337, 428, 419, 397, 462. You can start one by one. Okay. Yo, Merc. Thank you for the primer, dude. What do you mean you can sort it one by one? Oh, 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 like, oh, like per character. Yeah, sort, sort it by one. Only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Okay, so obviously we'd start off by going by, you know, uh, 403, blah, blah, blah. I don't really know if we need to see inventory. We could do something like that, probably. Start off with, start off with that, I guess. But I mean, ah, oh man, he, they need to fix the UI, bro. The UI is just, oh, it's just not hitting right, you know, compared to IE. You know, IE was just, just so much more, uh, what was the term? Uh, uh, fucking... Uh, just, uh, just eye pleasing, I guess. This is just oh, like fucking look at this, dude. Like this is fucking brutal, bro. Yeah, it was clean. Th this has a lot of stuff that you need, but it's just like I, I. So let, let let's see how it looks per character page. Let's see, let's see how this. Yeah, this is just a whole lot of fucky. More uniform than the island layouts. Yeah, this is just super, super fucky. This is all over the place. Streamlined? Yeah, it's really, really streamlined. So, like, we take away stats, uh, take away the activity, take away bags. We don't need bags. Uh, obols will keep. Obol stats we can take out. Uh, I'm just trying to basically streamline the shit of what we want to keep and what we don't want to keep. Uh, prayers, I guess, kind of matter. Talents kind of matter. Equipment does matter. I would say we don't really need anything in the fucking inventory. Africa stills cool down. Equip bubbles or inventory takeout. Anvil details, no one fucking cares. Post office, I think we kind of care about. Something like that, maybe? I think that looks a little bit better. Probably. I guess graphic design isn't the developer's passion. Yeah, probably not. Like, what are the what are the key things that we actually need to keep? Like, do we just do we get rid of prayers? I mean, prayers. I mean, without the prayers, that looks all right. Not too bad, I would say. Not horrible. I mean, do we even need chips? Uh, I mean, we need the chips because the chips just make everything look fucked. 
So a lot of info on the screen. Yeah. But I mean, if we're going through per character, it's not its not too bad. I mean, we can make it work, right? In the end, that's the, all that matters. As long as we can make it work. But I think this is more of a better streamlined situation. Because as soon as you go like this, this is where everything gets fucked. Actually, that looks pretty good. Never mind. It's fucked. I would say check one at a time. I do, Well, yeah, we're going to check one character at a time. One character at a time to check. Absolutely. If we if we start if we start checking every character, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fucking nightmare. So I'd be like, okay, for instance, when we we start off, it'd be like he has a three thirty seven, uh, blood berserker, four twenty eight es, four nineteen siege breaker, blah 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 cleaver, go on go on so forth. Just go over, and he wants to work on prints. Obviously, first thing you want to work on is going to be obels. Get those going, of course. Moving on to account. Okay, miscellaneous. And we can check stuff like I mean, I don't think slab really matters, but I think I think the most I think the most problem is the character page. I think I think the character page. And you line and then cut to the next one. Uh the thing with the thing with uh, the the reviews is we don't do a lot of cutting. It's usually a one take sort of scenario. So we don't we don't want to try to do that. So then we'd be going through, there should be just, personally, there should just be a baseline for, okay, so there's Anvil Forge. I mean, this looks nice. I like this. This looks cool. This looks, this looks way nicer, personally. Uh, bribes. Yeah, okay. Stamps. I mean, this isn't too bad either. It tells you what you're dropping, obviously. So we're going to skills here. You want to get more mining efficiency. This is actually pretty low, the 135. Not enough capacity. Okay. All right. Don't have those unlocked. Obviously, because they're unattainable. I mean, that right there, your multi-tool stamp is definitely something that wants to go up big time. Holy shit, you want to get that going. Just so that's less stuff on the screen. Yeah, exactly. I almost think, to be honest with you, I have to I have to make it like this. If if I was going if I was going to do this uh properly so so it doesn't cut anything else, since it's not like IE. It's nothing like IE. I'm going to have to have it like this. And then I'm going to have to put myself like right here. And then, and then that's how it's going to have to be. And then I'm going to have to put something in the background in order for this to, in order for this to work out, I would say. Because there, there's too much important stuff being cut off otherwise. I mean, I can make something easy for the background, like no problem. But yeah, this is definitely... Definitely something that I'm going to have to do. So, I mean, so then it would probably have to be something like this. Something like this. Get that going. Might be time for an overlay for the reviews. Yeah, I might have to, I might mock up an overlay for the reviews. Shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. I could, I could even do something like, uh, uh, for instance, I could probably be like, what's, what's idle on here? So idle on two. What is our, this is game capture three, right? Game capture three. Okay. Uh, we go to display capture. Uh, we should probably just do like this. There we go. Um, we need to, we're going to need to add another duplicate here. And just seeing if we can make this work. Okay. Display capture two. We're going to rename this and call it IE re or toolbox reviews. Hey, what's up, Giggle? Uh, we're getting things. We're getting things set up for. Uh, oh, it's up. Crit. We're getting stuff set up for the for. TV reviews, but I'm trying to like figure out like how I'm going to tackle it because it's a it's a different program, right? Shouldn't be too bad though. I think we're figuring it out. Getting slowly. Uh, game capture three. Okay, we got that. Perfect. So what I can do is I can do this. Do this. Ever since yesterday, left tab open. Hell yeah. And then we'll go like this. Pull this all the way down. Boom. And then we'll take the display capture here. We'll go like this. Put it like, probably something like that. Probably move this like that. And then put Star Slayer down here. Put it like this. Okay. 
And then what we do is we take the source mirror behind and we're going to throw a blur on it. So it's probably, probably something like that would have to be, that could suffice. And then we'll just take chat here. Uh, where's chat? Chat can move. Oh, shit. Where's my there's shadow chat? Looks good. Yeah, it's getting there. Okay, take that, take that. It could be, oh, oops, it could be something like this. A little bit more room here. Then we can do display capture, have it something like this here. Have it something like this. And then we could always zoom in like this. That looks all right. What do you think about this, chat? Commonly used tur tuberculosis, just saying. Yeah, but that, you know, that helps get into the algorithm, right? I got tuberculosis going on. That helps uh, helps the algorithm. Something like that. Boom, boom. So that's that's my that might what have to, we have to do for uh, for toolbox reviews. I would think. I would assume because now we can see everything, and now we can go through. And I mean, since there's no cutting, the anime background doesn't really matter. It's not too in the way, I would say. I would probably put the RAM in front, though. Because, I mean, the, ra the RAM's more important than the text, to be honest. Alright, chat, what, what do we think about this for kind of a an overlay, per se? I think, I, th I think, I think this could, I think this could cook. And then we have our little ram still at the bottom, still doing his little shindig. Hopefully it's not too overtaking, I would say. I just don't like how it's like super small, but I mean, it kind of gets the point across. I mean, Eidolon's going in the background. And the nice part is, is uh, if we, you know, if we go to Eidolon here, obviously, because it's display capture and we go to like World 4, let's say. Let's say if we're going to Floms at World 4. And then we go back to this. It's a different, it's a different graphic, right? Question being, will you want the, to clip shorts from within a review too? No. Play with the zoom if needed. Yeah, true. You can definitely fuck around with the zoom. And I mean, that uh, that also works quite a bit. I mean, we could also, based on where they at as well, like for instance, if we're doing IE reviews and say if, uh, you know, we're doing account review based in World 3, we can sh I can be like, hey chat, what map do you want? Everyone's going to be like, I, I want, I want, I want day to day ramps. So then we can give them we can give them fucking dead day rams and then we can we can do the review at dead day rams you know what i'm saying so that, that would work out pretty good as well you need a 1440p monitor my dude i don't know about that one chief i don't know about that one so the real question is the the, the real question is would you guys like, like saying, seeing this on a YouTube video, would, would you guys be okay with that, with this overlay? Looks like the resolution my half blind dad would use. I could probably, or like, does this like feel like too, um, what's the term too, uh, just gotta do the intro. It's killer. Does it look too like low quality kind of deal? Like, looks like just like a not really like a curated YouTube video. Or is the back too like, is 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 the back just like too too much motion? Or is it right enough motion that it just makes your that it just makes your brain go good or what? It's a little blurry, but that's fine for me. It's supposed to be blurry, right? As long as this isn't blurry, that's all that matters. And then I can do full zoom ins and shit as well on stuff that I need to focus on. Like for instance, if we need to focus on, you know, water, make sure to get the water up and then we can zoom out. 
I'm pretty good at the zoom in. Can you try a solid color for the background that matches the IT background? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, let me try that. Uh, color source. There's that. I mean that. You use this something like Epic Pen, you can use work then pack into an info screen. Oh, Epic Pen. I feel like Epic Pen would get a little bit out of control. Flashbang the shit out of us. Yes, yeah, sorry, chat. But I mean this is this is to be fair. That's I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. That's pretty fucking clean. So what I could do, okay, hear me out. That looks good. That's nice. I feel like this is this is more curated for YouTube. I I think it's I think it's not so much taking up your eyeballs, and I feel like it's uh, I feel like it's a lot cleaner because it, it it looks like it's all part of the same thing. But what I could do, okay, is um. In, in I could I could make a background that would use this color chat window a tad like what make it make it go down more who talking about like this oh I guess chat can't go any higher than that what I could do also empty space above your head well I mean the empty space above my head doesn't really matter all that much I would say can make myself a little bit bigger to counteract that i i chat what are we are we here let me let me do a quick poll here um uh back uh gameplay background or solid color Can you give us a world three checklist? I already have a video about that, bud. All right, pulls up chat. Really clean, more focus on the info, which is nice. And then when if I zoom in, it doesn't seem so. It doesn't seem so. It, it doesn't seem so. Uh, we need to keep our minds entertained. I don't think people are watching IE reviews to get their minds entertained. I think they're wondering of what the fuck to do. Personally. I think every I think I I think I think everybody's in the idea that this is this is fucking clean. The harsh lines of browser in the front, the blurred background look cheap. See, special that's kind of what I was thinking as well. It kind of looked a little cheap. This kind of looks like it's this looks like it's part of the page, you know? IE review like my account so I can do the do that re to research yeah yeah I, I think this is solid color looks good but the cut off the bottom is bugging me oh this cut off well I mean some places you won't even see it but yeah I can understand what you're saying I don't know how we're gonna counteract that though I don't know how we'll resolve that issue the only way I could think about resolving said issue would be stretching it like that. But then that looks fucked. That looks stupid as shit. So how would how would we counteract that, chat? Copy color or fade. Fade effect, bottom bar. Go down like the U idle on UI. I think that's too much. Can you weird question? But does ZK Orb stack through different zones? For example, pre stack it before and get yeah, you can dance. You make a full height, make IT description small above your head under chat. Yeah, but then chat's gonna cut off part of the shit here. So you're talking about like this.
So you're talking about like something like this then? We could probably end up cutting off this. But now that's cutting off too much. So we put it down like this maybe. But it still has the cutoff issue, but it's more centered, which is nice. You don't need to scale diagonally. It seems like everybody likes solid color better. Okay, we'll stick with the solid color then. I mean, realistically, what we could do as well is we could just go like this. I think before was better. Yeah, probably. All right, let's... Like that. And what we could do is because it's idle on reviews or toolbox or whatever, uh, we could do... We can put it right here, actually. This won't be in the way, I don't think. Will it? Oh, it kind of will. Never mind. It just disappears after a while. May want to leave a space for the notepad as well. Ooh, that's a good fucking point. Where are we going to put the notepad? So I guess a little bit smaller might be better for the notepad, actually. I mean, the notepad can go in, like, the bottom right. Right? And I, I will I will show it sometimes. Yeah, we're all in agreements that, that fucking solid colors the tits. So, I mean, I, I feel like this looks a lot... Yeah, this, this looks cleaner, dude. So, I, I don't even, I think the title here is fine. We can put the title back where it was before. It's just... It's just... It, this is curated for YouTube. So, since it's curated for YouTube, I want to make sure that everything's looking good. Um, the title at the bottom is just so huge. Well, it can be smaller, right? It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be massive. It can be smaller. Just comes on the screen every now and then, to be honest. Yeah, it really does. You can use the whole space to cut off would be for the notepad, maybe. Well, what I could do... Okay, hear me out. Okay, let me, let, me, let me cook for a second here. Bigger pointer and smaller phase cam? No, I don't want a small... Uh, no, I don't want a smaller phase cam. So if we do... Here, window capture. Okay. Window capture, and then we do notepad. Does that does that count? It does. Okay, so so since this is gonna kind of be like more black and white and gray or whatever, we can actually just do this instead. We can do something like this. Get this like this. Put it like this. Yeah, I don't have dark mode at the moment. All right. Uh, and then we do uh, things. Why don't you run Windows in dark mode for the love of God? I don't know if I can. I don't. We're going to get the new one anyways. I don't know. View. I don't think we can. Post notes, maybe? No, it's going to be... Uh, Color code too, the new one. Yeah, when I get Notepad plus plus, it'll be it'll be different. Okay. That's uh, that's kind of over chat, I guess. Do we just need do we need chat when we do IE reviews? Or or what we could do? Okay, hear me out. The system for dark mode. No. Here's what I'll here's what I'll do. Okay. No, we don't need chat. All right. So I mean, we can we can write things like this. Do you not run Windows in dark mode? No. Uh, so we can do something like uh, uh, bubbles. So we can do something like that, and that would work out. So like the notepad on the side of the corner here of things to work on so people can look at what to work on at the same time as going, you know what I mean? Shadow is advertiser friendly. It's my second channel, it doesn't really matter to be honest. So it could be something like that, right? So when we're going like this and we're going through people things to work on. 
That seems all right. That's that, that. I mean, with Notepad Plus, that seems like it would work out a little bit better, right? But it all depends on how fucking small the font is, which is going to be an issue. So, I mean, we would have to realistically make this fucking like this big. We would have to. We could make it like. Probably like this, maybe. Would we have it like this or like this? Wait, question. You can change the font size. Yeah, yeah, I know. Question, though. Question for you guys. With Notepad++, am I allowed to change the background color? Can I change the background color to whatever I want? I think so. Perfect. Then I'll take Notepad++ and I will... And I will change it to the color. I'll change it to the same color as IE. So so it'll look like it's part of part of what what we're doing. And it'll work out like that. And then I, mean, I can type out whatever I want and it'll be it'll all be the same. I think that'll work out. I think that'll look good. Personally. And then then and then people can see what to work on as we go through it. You didn't show notepad unless you were adding stuff there, and I think that's also fine. Yeah, but at the same time, I think it's, I think it's, since we're doing a new thing, I think it's time to, like, update it to make it more streamlined, because what we're figuring out right now is how to streamline this shit. You know what I mean? And then with chat, we could realistically also just go like this. Chat can just go right here. There you go. There's chat. There's a little chitty chat right there, bro. And then, but then this kind of needs to be centered. Uh, what we could do is, since it's going to be same color anyways, under settings, style, configure. Okay, that's perfect. So that's what that's what we want. So then we can go to text, and then we can go like this. And then we can put it up here. Or do something like this. And then I can have a little, I can have, I can just have it drop down a little bit. Then it's all going to be the same color. And then I can have it just like that. So when I'm, when I'm doing my typing, uh, it'll probably look more like this. So it'll look, it'll look, it'll look, it's kind of, remove the word account. Oh, uh, remove the word account. Yeah, probably. Wrong. All wrong. I think this looks pretty good, to be honest. Obviously, Notepad Pad Plus is going to change this. Use an Excel sheet? No. Star Slayer? Higher prints. Something like this, then. Something like that, then? Think of uh, this is EVE Online? Yeah, true, dude. What is this? Yeah, fucking EVE Online. Uh, so then now I can have as much as I want to, as big as I want to be, and don't have to worry about it. And then obviously have this a little bit more like that. Okay, cool. And then I can have this all the same color regardless. And I mean, I think this looks all right. I think this looks okay. It's on the fly, quicker content. I will, I will, so the thing is, is like, I will obviously be like redoing everything, right? It's not like uh, this is, uh, this notepad needs to be shrinked. Like this is, this isn't the finished product, right? I'm not, I'm not saying like this is the, this is the one right here. But I'm saying I'm kind of getting like a, like a broad, a broad idea of what I want. With obviously chat's help. And just trying to trying to streamline it, so it all just all works together. There's a checkbox for stamp condensed. Is there condensed view? Oh, that's so much fucking better, dude. Holy shit, that's ten times better. Is this getting cut off? So what we need to do is we need to stay in the same view, okay? So we need, yeah, this is 100% a prototype. 
So we need to stay in the same view. We need to cut this bitch off completely. Okay. And then we need to go like this. This is what we really need here. Those notes are changing my life. Oh my god, dude. So something like that, actually. So no matter what I go to, it will show everything that needs to be. This, is, this might be fucking cooking. This might be fucking cooking. We might, we might, we might be on to something, shit. We might be on to something here. So have force in the same. Well, I want to keep. That's not cooking. That's anvil. Okay, dude. All right, all right, all right. Cooking with gas now, and then we take a look at like divinity and stuff. So it shows, bro. Tad bit. It's cut off a tad. Yeah, it is like, cut off a little bit. But I mean, this is this is probably what we want to roll here. So we do this. Yo, thank you, brother. Thank you, my dude. Make yourself a bit smaller too. Yeah, I'll make myself a tad bit smaller. So something like this. So that it's more, more centered. And then I'll make myself a smidge smaller here. Something like this, and we might, you know what, I'm just gonna fucking yeet chat. Chat's gone. Now the question is, do we keep the RAM? That's the question that we all been wondering here. I think we keep Ramsey, but we just make him slightly smaller. That's for, bro, I think, I think, uh, what, what do we think about this? So we go to bubbles here, we check out all the bubbles. Go down the list. Cauldrons got this, bro. This is, this is, this is fucking beautiful. This is perfect. This is exactly what we need. Obviously, once I change the notepad color and everything, bubbles, condensed view, quick view, bro. Look, bro, look at this shit. There it is, baby. There it is. I think that I think this is it, chat. I think this is how this is how we do our new uh, new our fucking TB reviews, bro. I think this is kind of like the the quote unquote overlay. It's uh, nothing's really cut off. Everything's kind of where it should be. We're we even reviewing at the moment. You can see at the fucking top. It's where it's supposed to be. So once I get Notepad plus plus, this will make things much much easier. Because then, obviously, I'm not doing display capture. I'm going to be doing window capture. But then I'll just be like, uh, you know, uh, yo mama, uh, you want definitely get 300% uh, uh, multi, multi or, you know, you want to, but obviously that's going to, all of that's going to change. And then, you know, something, something, something. Imagine not running Windows in dark mode. Bro, don't, don't you fucking at me. So, and then it's going to be like that. So then I can keep on writing all the way down. And then I, I, then I can go over it. And then everything's already in one page. And you don't... And, because here's the problem. The, 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 the issue that I was coming into is uh, uh, we, were, we were constantly doing alt-tabbing, which was slowing us down. So now since I don't have to alt-tab as much, this is just going to be overall better. So I, I think I think this overlay right here, obviously with the new Notepad plus plus afterwards, I think this is the fucking money. I think I think I think we found it, chat. I think we found it. I I think I think. Uh, so let's take a look at characters here. It's gonna be real nice. I mean, even the characters look alright. Aren't you wanting to learn to code? Yeah, eventually. Go the extra step and get Visual Studio Code instead of Notepad. You can do the same thing. Yeah, I'm 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 just gonna do Notepad plus plus eventually. But I think I think this is I think this is where we're I think this is the f 
this is this is the this is the mock-up and then i'll make the final product on my own time because i have to i have to go through and i have to add some stuff so just go certify and code them don't let them play you dude yeah true so i mean just make sure everything really kind of just works out yeah everything everything looks great everything bro every it's it's pretty much centered as well too it's perfect i love it it's 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 great this is this is this is way better than what we previous had on ie this is just this is gonna this is gonna change this is gonna change account reviews for the best because it's still it, it, if anything it's bigger so it's better if i stop hourly clicking stat bubbles once i hit 5k or so or should i just keep going um no it's up to you so it has to be 150 percent chat everything's zoomed in at 150 percent remember that 150 percent for the window a day after he'll never admit he knows coding yeah true true and real but yeah this is this is all perfect dude because you guys don't need do you guys really need to see the other the tab over here i don't think you guys really need to see it right you don't need to see oh i'm looking at i'm just i'm just gonna be like okay well let's look at death note let's look at worship let's look at traps yeah, that's basically all there is to it right it doesn't look like anything's getting cut off is it perfectly centered no I mean, some of it is. Some of it's perfectly centered. Some of it isn't, so it's kind of throwing me off. Wait, you wait. There's a cog optimizer in 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 freaking toolbox. I'm confused why I don't actually just adjust the width of the window and because I still need to see. Spesh. I'm fucking blind, bro. I, I need I need to be able to have full screen. So I can see what the fuck's going on. You know what I mean? Sorry, updated shit for World 6. Nothing here yet. Nothing here yet. Fake glasses, dude. Yeah, well, just because I can just because I have 2020 vision doesn't mean fucking that if, if I'm working fast, I need to see fucking full pages. But yeah, this is great, dude. This is fucking awesome. This is Thanks, chat. Thanks for your help. I appreciate this. I appreciate it a lot. Definitely, definitely helps out a lot to get this done. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad we figured it out. Remember when he wore contacts? I never fucking wore contacts. <sighs> never, never even close. So just, uh, just, uh, just to give you guys an, uh, pretty much of how it used to look like. So here, just, just, uh, lots of other tools people made. For example, chip repository forecast. Yeah, true. I think the other way we were going for was a little cheesy. So we're going having used Notepad plus plus since like 2015. Yeah, I bet. So we so we go we're going we're going from fucking this chat. This this is our this is our old display capture. Okay. This is our old one for IE reviews. Kinda kind of kind of fucking all over the place. To to, to the fucking to the toolbox reviews, bro. way fucking cleaner way fucking cleaner bro obviously different color on the notepad plus plus but way fucking cleaner remember when you wear eyeglass without lessons i never did that dude eye candy nice improvement i think it's i think it's a i think it's a it's an improvement without changing things we will see the notepad when you're typing into it if so do we need it in the top left too yeah, yeah, you'll you'll completely see the notepad when I'm, when I'm typing into it the complete the whole time, so you'll see what's going on. Because some people like to see what what I'm going through and as I'm typing shit, right? So and then as the shit gets too big, I'll just I'll just keep on I'll just go like this, zoom out a little bit, so it's so it's less, and then the more it gets, the less I'll zoom out on it. So if you have a big page of shit that you have to do, then you have a big page of shit you have to do, you know? Or I can just go down like this and I can just scroll down. Anything will work. We'll make it work. So, um, the thing is, too, is you see how it's see how you can see it here. This is because I'm using display capture. If I was using window capture, this would disappear, right? All, all you would you wouldn't see this when I was. You would just only see on my overlay that I'm using the the left side there. So once I once I convert this to window capture, you won't see any of this. 
or you won't see the you won't see me pulling up fucking uh, Spotify or anything like that. This is only specifically for display capture. So that will get fixed. So thank you, chat. I appreciate your guys' help with this. I'll be able to finalize it uh, and then we can we can get that going. So I appreciate big appreciation. Glad to get that done. But chat, my food is here. My food is here. I have to eat. Now it's eating time, chat. And you know what that means, baby? You know what that fucking means? MXR? No, not MXR. Not fucking MXR. HD graphics. Quick quick look at IT as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll probably do a more... Obviously, I'll do a more, more impressive one when that time comes. Mr. Beast, dude. Star Slayer, I don't know how to increase your prints. <laughs> yes, to this day, Star Slayer still is enough. Arsenal. Oh my god, that's times two speed. Holy shit, can we not? There we go. Happy Friday. Yo, happy Friday, dude. All right. So chat, well, before we get started here, if you guys want to know what I'm eating, let's uh, let's do a quick showcase of what I got here for food. Pryo Q, so I appreciate picking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a delicious uh, chicken and some delicious, uh, you know, delicious uh, chow mein deliciousness almond chicken chow mein gotta love that soon yum yum so good give me some dude food yeah so i'll eat this shit and then we'll uh get into some idle on content sound good yo nora nora converting a tier two into a tier three yo thank you so much thank you Nora. fucking so kind of you dude and actually if, if you if you didn't know nora i fucking i get 70 30 split compared to a 50 50 split for a tier two so thank you even more for that chicken looks amazing hell yeah dude fucking pog champ let's go that's what i'm talking about dude thank you so much what about nova lance man fuck your nova lance gotta love that Looking 70 for mmorpg yeah. games that are playable on a low end spec that Yo, doesn't chief. need any specific requirements so loud, which are playable on any devices this kind of MMORPG usually has MMORPGs, chat. Let's go, baby. We need a lot of features to make the player keep playing on it. That's so not true. So on this video, hopefully, my subscriber get the best MMO games for killing their times. Please support this. This shit looks like Wildstar. This video by giving 200 likes. Thanks. Top 10 best MMORPG games follow an Android iOS. Two minute gamba chat. Will Eidolon be in this video? Best 2024. Best MMORPG games mobile 2024. Small size. You can support this channel. Secretly, Australia eats food for lunchtime, dude. Yeah, true. Eater Spire. Eater Spire. Seriously, I'm happy this game finally released. Game of the locally. fucking year, baby. This is one of the best no auto play MMORPG games on mobile. The main quest, the combat mechanism, is no auto MMORPG. Holy shit, that looks good. The gameplay is we need to try what to What a dog the shit fucking enemy game that looks like. We'll oh my fucking god. Items every 10 levels. But you need to upgrade the weapon and armor first to do it by using the soul fragments that you can obtain by grinding to the monster. Act but we have like supercomputers in our hands right now and motherfuckers out here making this shit. Actually, we can see many of the players look looks like a fucking flash game because we can do some special features like upgrade the sword and rune of the equipment but need a specific material seriously i'm really in love to see the character appearance especially Nobby. the way of the exclusive wings but also the aura on it makes your characters look better and so powerful no wonder every player competes in themselves. Bro, this shit looks pay to win as fuck, dude. Look at that shiny teams. armor. Anyway, you can you don't get, get that shit for free. Help you in combat. He will boost our strength significantly in many aspects of attribute status. 
The main goal of playing at the Spire MMORPG is to complete as many quests as you can to gain EXP and level up your hero. Wow, thank you. You, just, you literally just gave the definition of an RPG. Thanks, Chief. Lumitera. I'm pretty sure this game will become the best MMORPG in 2024 or even become the most play MMORPG. I love this look. I actually, we saw this last time. I love the way this looked. MMORPG in 2024. There is some reason why I can't say it because this is the new MMORPG no autoplay games. The combat and also the main quest should be done manually. We also can get real money by playing this MMORPG through an FT system or play to earn MM. You did not just fucking say an NFT system. What the fuck? Why? Why? I play games to not make money. Why the fuck are you doing an NFT system? NFTs were totally like 2022. It's fucking two years old. Fucking stop with the NFT bullshit. Everything got bankrupt. I don't want to farm the game for a fucking NFT that's going to worth be worth less than four cents. M.O. I really love the graphic, looking so unique and empty mainstream. Probably this game is the only one that was made by 2D and has an open world and multiplayer mode. We will totally get a new experience while playing it. The gameplay is we need Can't to, wait to take a picture of my character to make it like an NFT or collect some Fuck, items. Stupid. But seriously, the monster durability is really tough. We need to use a better sword to kill one monster. This game is a good hack and slash games for a newbie actually because the monster will stay in one spot and will dumb. not moving so we can easily lock them up best MMORPG games for low end Android 2024 iOS Ragnarok begins Ragnarok begins this game is actually not released on global yet but you can play it freely by getting the game on Google we have seen so many Ragnarok MMORPG titles on Play Store and App Store, but seriously, this game is right. really good. In uh, I played like, uh, what was it? Uh, Trickster, Tales of Pirates, um, Bliff, Fiesta, uh, fucking few more during the Ragnarok era. Silk Road. Yo, Tales of Paris, dude. Yo, Dragon Saga as well. Yeah, Dragon Saga was that one. Prison Tale? Can't say Prison Tale. Dude, I there's only there I've only met one other person that's actually played fucking Tales of Pirates. Fliff? Yeah, I played Fliff. You on law during that era? Robbie. Even the game is way smaller in size if we compare with the other Ragnarok games. This game is more simple because we can level like faster Ragnarok at games. the base level and skill level. I think it's because the game has a smaller world map. We will play in a side-scrolling perspective. So, adjusting the point of view by zooming out and zooming in is the only way we can get a different angle. The combat mechanism is a hack and slash game. We need to increase the attack speed to faster dealing more damage to the enemy. Unleasing the skill Hack is slash. available, but if oh, yeah. you consume OG will mana, forever be the best. you can prevent the incoming attack by dodge and jump while in combat. Make sure you upgrade the weapon slot, armor slot, and accessory slot to improve your combat power. Best MMORPG games follow and pwn 2024 Android and iOS. Orcus Online Orcus Online. This is the best MMORPG games on mobile, even if Wow. Hey, chat. That's kind of crazy. You know, I'm going to be honest with you, that little sprout next to the person's name kind of reminds me of something. Can't put my finger on it. But I specifically remember that exact icon somewhere else. You know why they're all mid? If it I don't know. Exists for more than Probably because it's not by the same developer, I assume. The active players is getting Did bigger they sell and bigger. their license? Just look at how many active players on this game while we are in the city. No matter what time we are playing it, it's always looking so busy and become the most played MMORPG games for 2024. Wally, my brain just fucking exploded, dude. My fucking brain, bro, you just, you just changed my mind. 
for mobile. I am pretty sure of it. The gameplay doesn't change at all, even the graphics are not enhanced yet. But the reason why this game keeps making a loyal players is because the game size is only 240 megabyte. This is the really small size for an MMORPG. Molek, I got a really good 2D MMORPG for you. Have you heard of a game called Eidolon? Where's the best MMORPG in 2024? <laughs> with a huge open world and rich of features like blacksmith Except and Eidolon. system, <laughs> weapon and equipment. Even we can make the weapon or armor look more shining. Just to let you know, this game was made by an Asobimo company who made Toram Online as a no pay to win MMORPG 2024 for mobile. Doesn't matter if it's the pay to win or not, it's dog shit, really it's dog shit. To control and I really love how the enemy is not too strong. So Ever we can change the level the loyal player base. Oracles Online is the best MMORPG. Or RPG low and pawn. There's a small download size. Yeah, okay. 2024. Define W. Define W perfect Wonderland. Whoa! As the game name, we can. Sticks out for Harambe. Uh oh. Language barrier, I guess. Notice it easier if this game probably got a huge inspiring by Perfect World. Look at the game's title. The character mechanism allows us to do double yeah, jumps look at that, like and those player mechanisms, like eh, chat? butterfly. This MMORPG has released so many. I can think servers, of two reasons so why it's got good player you don't mechanism. Use any cats even if the game has a VIP system to determine how strong your character. Look at that chat. First stop up, get first stop off within 30 minutes to get an advantage in the new server. How about some top ups, benefits, or even top ups? You know, they top up so much that they have two fucking top ups. There's three top ups in the map. There's four top ups. Bro. Ugh. Fuck, I feel like top up is like the new fucking buzzword, bro. Oh, hey, you like top ups? Let me let, top up, how about more like top off? You know what I'm saying? VIP top ups too. Yeah, if you top up at least eighteen hundred times, eighteen hundred dollars will get you VIP six. You know what that will do? That will give you plus one worker. There is the gameplay is totally looks like a Chinese team on. Say it's not pay to win. Say it's not pay to win. Selections which they have eleven heroes jobs. It's do it, bitch, too you much won't. anyway. While we are fighting with the boss, there was a certain boss that would joining us. See, honest and list, like an I think those would be he hilarious to watch. The hero to deal so what you're saying is I need to be the review guy that just rips into these fucking games. Is that what you're saying? Is that what I need to do? I need to I need to review a game where I just beat the piss out of it. A slightly damage actually. The skill will put these fucking auto put these developers in their goddamn place. The gameplay is we don't need to touch anything. Some random troll on the internet. The path directly and also with the combat battle. Best MMORPG mobile oh! games. Oh, what was that game? There was a really good fucking game that I used to play the shit out of where you had to where you had a little tiny pet and you had to grow it up into a mount. Was it I think it was was it Mew Online? Was it fuck it? Was that what it was called? Mew Online? I think so. Was it was it Mew Online? Um No, it wasn't Mew. No, no. Was it was it Woo Online? It might have been Woo Online. No, that's Western United. Oh, Zoo! That's what? Zoo Online. Yes, dude. Bro, I played the fuck out of this game. This game was like one of my all-time favorite MMORPGs. Like, the art style was fucking so good, bro. Oh, man. I wish it was still alive today, bro. I played the shit out of this fucking game. God damn, this game was good. I love the art style. It was like Borderlands, bro. It was crazy. It was good. It was good shit. Good shit. Loved it. Fucking great. <gasps> Excuse me. Our necessaries have high cooking meals levels to get one billion prints lock. Uh, it's uh, it, it's decently high. A fan of God Legend. Well, it's not like huge, but yeah, it's pretty decent. A fan of God Legend. Another Chinese game MMORPG yeah, on mobile. As usual, this kind of game will become a Chinese theme at all. The musical instrument will easily take you into yeah, different exactly, cultures brother. anyway. We will start with selecting four different jobs and everything has mail. I don't know, chap. I don't know. But something kind of tells me that this game might be pay to win. I don't know what it is exactly. 
but it almost feels like something is spitting in my face and telling me that it's pay to win. I don't know, maybe it's the giant fucking title on the top of your head that says VIP 10. Maybe. Just fucking maybe, that's what it is. Couldn't? Maybe? I could be wrong. It is where the top up is right in the fucking middle. Yeah, dude, that's fucking, bro, like, shameless. Shameless, shameless, shameless. Instrument will easily take you into a different cultures anyway. We will start with selecting four different jobs and everything has male and female characters. This game is only available in a certain... Bots. All of these are fucking bots. Every single one of those are bots. Except for that one guy. Look at that. Watch this. And everything has male and female characters. These Look how they all move exactly the same. And Look at that. Straight line, no movement, no change in movement whatsoever. ever. Those were all bots. Change the language at all. It would just adjust it directly based Game on of the, the fucking year, dude. You are playing wow, in. look at all those fucking duplicates. Just to let you know, this game will give every Basic player VIP for free or something like VIP plus 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 plus. Minutes. Same with like the notepad, notepad, notepad totally plus plus. Done automatically. I can leave the game in a flash, then the level will increase in a flash. I have there are so many players on the screen, but I doubt they are just a bot because the way of the world chatting is quite unnatural. The gameplay mechanism dude even fucking hd graphics is like this is this is bots this is unnatural even hd graphics can't even avoid the fact that he can say that there's bots in the game that's when you know he's really fucking coping Use the player to fly and hit massive enemies with your skill in area of that effect. clipping though best graphics small size game mmor fucking game of the year android ios 2024 this shit's so sad Skylor. Sky lore. I'm impressed how this game really takes. Oh, holy fuck! Is this fucking Hero Wars? Is this is what Hero Wars gameplay is actually supposed to be. Seriously, on creating a good vibes of. Bro, this is how we look at these Habo Hotel looking motherfuckers. Hey, chat. The pool's fucking closed, dude. Like, what the fuck? Community. No wonder the game now is becoming one of the most play MMORPGs in- Oh, look at this Awakened guy. Celestial, how fucking hardcore pay to win does this fucking guy look, dude? I bet this guy's paid at least $25 to get that fucking gear. 2024 mobile. Look at how many active players are online. The number is really massive at bro, all. Bro, this straight up just looks like a bad advertisement, bro. Holy shit. One features that makes this game interesting is it has a PvP which is player versus player in a specific location. Oh, PvP? In that arena. sounds fun. So, we must build up our own character by upgrading the equipment and talent's ability. Learning a skill is really important as well. So, we need to focus on those features before knowing... I don't know about you, chat. But I'm so excited to play this game. To have a fucking 45 minute PvP queue. And just just be filled up with pay to win bots. That's what I'm excited for. That's what I, that's what I, that's what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> Fuck you guys. I'm going back to adventure quest. PVP more like <laughs> wallet versus wallet, dude. Yeah, actually, facts. Holy. Golly G, Mr. Wilson. How strong our character are in PvP level. If I ever make a game, I'm not making it an MMO. We just need to tap the enemy once and let the I would say, basic I would personally say an MMO is a great thing to to make, but at the same time, I would not. I mean, your first game should not be a fucking MMO, and I feel like a lot of these people, their first game is an MMO. You're right. It's a near a near impossible genre to master. Because it's already been so overly done so many times. Attack continuously, but we need to tap the skill and drag it to aim to the target. Actually, we will start oh, picking one sec, many Jack, blow my nose. of races and class selections. But the characters Just know is that bottle, holy crap. Yeah, dude, it's my chug only. jug. This is MMORPG not pay to win for mobile 2024.
Dragon Hunters. Did he just say non-pay to win when somebody had a VIP 12? Are you fucking shut the fuck up, dude? You don't know. You don't know that you you f you dirty dirty rat you bro. You can't come in here and be like I have VIP 12 and then say it's not fucking pay to win, bro. Lick the underside of my scrotum in Minecraft. You are some lying shit right there, bro. I fucking swear, dude. Like I said, if I start building walls 10 years from now, I wouldn't have enough walls to fucking put you through from that type of response, all right? Yeah, $35 for me to sponsor your game, an extra $5 for me to say not pay to win. What a fucking deal. But wait, cat, down more. Fucking hell, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Dragon Let's just say it's L ratio Legends. language barrier. This game really gets my attention a lot in character appearance. Looks so good in many ways. The developer actually keeps updating the game, making a new character's job selections. If you want to get a casual and simple MMORPG that's playable just by one hand, then this game would become the best option because it has a portrait and vertical gameplay. We'll play the whole gameplay in auto mode. The skill showcase is really attractive with a lot of flashy colors. We can adjust the- Yo, this is out here looking like Dragon's Nest, alright? Actually, the game doesn't look half bad, and you only need one hand. All right. Can we play with one hand? Does, is there some cosmetics that will want me to play the game with one hand? That's the real question. The camera to make us enjoy the attention to detail about the area around us. But honestly, I prefer to play this MMO More like you, Lala. Yeah, true. Mode. And it really matched by the perspective. Actually, I like. I like how it's like you can play portrait mode or landscape mode. Yet landscape looks like fucking dog shit, dude. Look at this fucking quest log, man. Like, what the fuck are we saying here, bro? Are you. Huh? Huh? Oh, what does that say? I I can't see it. I don't know what that means. Uh, I have to. Uh, it's a miracle. Whoa. The fuck, man? If you're gonna do landscape mode, at least make the UI a little bit fucking bigger. Come on. MMORPG can't see my fucking abilities. One million players and Got Look at how small the size is. Only 586 megabytes. Oh, look at that. I love when I fucking slay. <laughs> Dude, true schmegs. Look at that fucking mini map. What is this? A UI for ants? Look at the fucking size of that minimap, dude. What the fuck? More minimap? Yeah, exactly. Minimap? More like micro map. What the fuck? I can't see shit. Oh, VIP not available. Oh, shucks. Then you will have the best graphic games MMORPG for mobile. Toram Online. What a great game. Game game of all time. Toram Online. I will never get bored explaining about these MMORPG. I know you'll never get bored of explaining this game. You've explained it, fuck, what, how many times now? Eight times we've been on this fucking game? Because this game is the best MMORPG you can play on mobile with PC quality graphic in anime. PC quality graphics, eh? On what? <laughs> on Windows XP? On, win <laughs> on Windows 95? <laughs> like, when, when was this good PC quality? Uh, hello? You didn't say what year? Yeah, you didn't say what PC, bro? Yeah, true. It's oh, Seriously, fuck. Seriously, the game has so many varieties of equipment, even when you are in the city. Oh, chat, so many varieties of equipment. Let me guess. Sword and board, two-handed sword, staff, bow, and maybe another two-handed weapon. Fucking variety out the ass. You will never find any players that has the same costume as PlayStation yours. PlayStation emulator Windows so many 95, players dude. Become appearance oriented by hunting the huge boss monster and get a rare material through by the Hey, have you have you noticed how it's like? Hey, hey, look look how many look how many weapons you can use. It's okay. All you have is the attack button. Looting items that makes this game become. Don't Star Slayer. Don't you fucking dare bring Dark Cloud into this. You fucking shut your mouth. Dark Cloud was a goddamn masterpiece. Dark Cloud one to be specific. Dark Cloud two wasn't that great. Dark Cloud one was a fucking masterpiece. How dare you compare it to this?
MMORPG. No pay to win at all. Oh, okay, there I'm sorry. There, there is a, there is a, there's a spell list. Monster. That's what I'm saying. But be aware when you try I would fucking replay Dark Cloud, to be honest. A huge gap between the boss power and the Seems like monster. we Resident so Evil. Chat, you know, this look, this is about the equivalent of Resident Evil Village, you know? I would say they're, they're equivalents in graphics. We are making a team up to save our Looks like PS2 and graphics. The winning chance. The whole gameplay is no autoplay MMORPG. You know what it looks like? I figured out what it looks like. GameCube Legend, uh, GameCube, uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting GameCube Crystal Chronicle vibes. That's what it looks like. How do you, how do you want the big numbers? Yes at all, even on the quest path and combat mechanism. Best MMORPG for low end pawns for mobile 2024. Monster Saga Evolution. This should be the game of the year. Monster Saga Evolution. This is hmm, who I going to choose? Male A, female A, or female B? Well, I mean, I, I don't know, it's anime gay. It could be fem, femboy A, but I mean, we, we don't know. This is a new MMORPG game that is playable on a low end pawn. No wonder it's made by the AO Games developer. Bro, which they always make a Redhead for sure. RPG for low and spec pun. That's why that Tales of Symphonia. Okay, again, if we're going to relate a good game to a dog shit fucking mobile game, bro, Tales of Symphonia was another masterpiece. Can we stop naming bangers comparative to a fucking dog shit mobile game, dude? Please. Please, man. I'm fucking begging you. Come on. Relate it to something shit like Monster Rancher or something. Or fucking, not fucking goddamn Tales of Symphonia, dude. Don't do Lloyd dirty like that. What the fuck are we saying? Just clear they were trying to rip off his all. Yeah, true. RPG. The fans will directly do <laughs> no, and fuck enjoy Monster Rancher, dude. For me, this series is the best from any titles they have. Monster Dark Souls. Monster yeah, it's about the same. Evolution same thing. New brand of anime it's got mouse chat. RPG style. We can pick three selections of heroes. Hot take. Okay. Hot take. I hate when Asian MMOs do this. Like specifically, like Asian MMOs in general, is when they give you a fucking goofy ass costume in the pay to win shop. I fucking, I, I hate it so much. I fucking can't stand it. They got like this goofy ass panda costume or this goofy ass fucking uh, stupid looking pink dragon looking motherfucker, dude. Bro, it ruins my immersion completely, okay? it's it just It just completely destroys all immersion that you ever had because some goofy ass mofo decided that it'd be a funny meme to pay $30 to look like a fucking pink dragon, all right? And it's not even a good looking pink dragon. It's obviously that you're in a suit and you're just like, you're like, ooh, look at me, I'm quirky. And it's just like, man, fuck off, bro. Just just give me some badass glowing fucking armor and we'll call everything a day, okay? We don't need the fucking, we don't need the funny ha-ha fucking shit. Stop. It's our Legend Online? Yeah. And Archer. Every class will determine how the combat mechanism and combat style are like. Looks like Eidolon. Or long range combat. Okay. Eidolon's a little bit different. You can have little goofy haha -ha shit because Eidolon's never taken itself seriously. To be fair. Not even once. Actually, it has a smaller open world that makes the player finish the mission with And if it's an event, that's fine. Very quickly. Make sure you keep on track this guy's was cash up item. Main mission, then you but like, at least, at least with something like a Baku Goblin, it kind of looks cool, right? It doesn't ruin the immersion because it's still like it matches, but like... When you have an outfit that looks completely different from anything else in the game and literally just makes you basically look like a pimple on a donkey's ass, it just it just doesn't it just doesn't hit, bro. Just it just doesn't hit. I'm sure there is some goofy stuff that I like, like for instance, uh that that um the the Makoko costume from Lost Ark, right? The one where you got the Makoko surfboard and you got the Makoko suit. Like that one was fine. I didn't have a I didn't I didn't have a big like that one wasn't a big deal. That's 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 totally cool, you know. Like or like the bikini costume, whatever. That one's fine as well for two reasons. But when it comes to like, I am going to be a neon Leoplurodon that has nothing to do with the game's art style whatsoever. That's a fucking problem. All right, that's a fucking issue. I want to know what G knows what a pimple on a donkey ass looks like. I was born and raised on a farm. I know what a lot of things look like.
What's your take on Monster Hunter costumes then? I think they're stupid. Banana and Fortnite, best skin in the game, personally. Well, that's but 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 Fortnite. I'm talking about. Okay, so the thing is, is like if you if Fortnite, you're not immersed in Fortnite. There's no fucking immersion when it comes to Fortnite. This is specifically a take for MMORPGs because MMORPGs' most important factor is immersion. So I mean, I don't know about you, but I've never been immersed playing fucking Fortnite, fucking trying to ninety fucking no scope, freaking. 14 year olds or 12 year olds hopped up on G Fuel. Okay? It's never been a thing. I'm never going to be immersed in something like that. What do you mean? I'm immersed that Cardi B is right there with me, dude? Yeah, it's like, it's like, oh yeah, I'm so immersed in Fortnite because Eminem did a fucking concert. What the fuck are we saying here? Daily Quest for what takes six hours to finish? Only save the world, not Battle Royale? Yeah, that one doesn't exist. Travis Scott, yeah, Travis Scott well, concert. Well, totally save your time a lot. The combat I mean, we're, mechanism we're not, we're not, the, we're not saying that it wasn't fire. That we learned but like, reaching a certain level, best MMORPG lore. Talk about MMORPGs. Android, iOS, 2024. And I, and I wouldn't even say that Save the World was a fucking borderline an RPG, okay? That's like saying Orcs Must Die was an MMORPG, okay? Orcs Must Die was a t fucking basically a tower defense. So is basically so was fucking save the world. Before bonus hardwood online. Fuck you! Bonus Don't you rub salt in the wound? Shh, fuck you! Take Heartwood out of here! Nobody loves you, Heartwood. You're a garbage game. You don't deserve any love. Your game should be- why is your game still alive? Fuck this game, dude. This game was fun for about 20 hours, and then I-, I Bro, to be honest, this is why the wound's so much worse, is because I wanted to love it. I wanted to be like, Heartwood was good. I wanted to be sitting here and be like, Heartwood was a good game. You know what? The thing is, is it has the fundamentals to be good. You know what it didn't? Execute those fundamentals. Okay? It was boring, it took too long to level, and it was a fucking unnecessary grind sesh. And you know what Endgame was? Killing the same boss over and over again for hours on end. Okay? That's not fun. Gameplay loop has to be important. If we're gonna, I, I, it's, it's different. Like, uh, you could say, well, uh, Griffey, and I love, all you do is spend the last uh, 16 years killing Tremor Worms. Yeah, but I do those with 10 players. Okay? I don't do it, I, and I could also do other shit. Their skilling in this game, dog shit. Skilling was the most boring thing ever. I lost not in the video. Shocker. Yeah, we lost this one. Shit, this was this was a no go. But I mean, Online. it had a, it had a lot of potential. Underestimate the pixel graphic, especially when you have a. Com wow! Holy shit! Finally, HD graphic with an actually good take. Never underestimate the pixel graphic. Finally, a W for our boy. Finally. It was good. It was absolutely no goal. It took too long. Yeah, there's no goal. Complete quests quests were lost. In this art style that will make tons of players keep playing the game. Just imagine... But I'm going to be honest with you. I will never forget how we broke the servers. How we, how we fucking got everybody into our guild. Not only did we break the guilds, but we also broke the server. All right? I will, I will never ever forget that the IBA's triumph on a fucking small indie developed game and we fucking absolutely demolished it. It was so good. What a good day that was, chat. What a fucking day. The developer create a lot of gameplay on this game like MMORPG that has a Imagine naming system. yourself Lord so God. To gather the material and also we need to keep crafting some weapon and armor to level up the talent skill. <laughs> now I can't now now that you guys kept on saying weeping, I can't forget about it. Did Ethereum hold up? No, Ethereum's dead as fuck. It's pretty important to get a rare material because we'll be able to Yeah, a, a fair, a th Ethereum online's big dead dead. Um, I, I think, uh, the problem is, is like what they, what they, I think what they did wrong here. I want to watch one more. Right now, every game seems like I love having a every game's a gotcha game, but no, Ethereum, Ethereum died really bad for the sole fact of, uh, it didn't have many guns. It was too PVP oriented and, uh, death was so easy to happen. Like if somebody walked up with you and tapped you with a fucking shotgun, yeah, you were dead. Be funny, I've seen an IBA guy in this clip. Yeah, absolutely. 
Well, I mean, I don't think I don't think Eidolon's a gotcha game, chat. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't think it is. So um Gacha beats out of the game, so the player should collect a new hero through Gacha or summon a new hero with a God better damn, great I quality love and stronger power. God I damn, I love Gacha games. In 2024, more best Gacha RPG games will come out because. Don't come any closer. Don't tell me what to fucking do. do whatever I want. We'll get a huge advantage by creating. Yikes! This genre. All right, I won't. But the please, buffer. The flopper. Nice helmet. Thing on the player goal to. I don't. I, give me a second, chat. I need a thumbnail. I need, a, I, need a, I need a thumbnail so people click on the stream. Just give it a second. Just let it cook for a minute. So how are you, chat? How's the day going? Hope everything's good. Hope everything's real, real nice here. Hope everything's good. here. Wait, hold up. Let me uh, let me fix this for a sec here. So anyways, uh, as I was saying, um, just give it a couple of minutes. We just need to get the thumbnail. Everything will be good. Everything will be glorious. Uh, this is how you farm. This is how you farm Twitch. This is the meta of Twitch. <clears throat> I can't do this by myself because I'm, I'm in fact, um, don't have two, two sellable assets. So I have to use anime women to do it for me. Finally, some good content. <laughs> okay, that should be enough. That should be enough to get the thumbnail going get a no pay to win gacha game rpg for mobile 2024 damn that looks like a good game please help this video get 200 likes thanks top 10 best new you know what i would like your videos if your videos were actually not just straight up bullshit gacha game rpg for back into this iOS that's how we get them see From proof gacha is in the pudding 2024 mobile you can support this channel and send thanks. us a special thanks resonance saltis resonance saltis Resonant Solstice. Game of the this year. This game has a top tier graphic for gacha Damn, that's good. RPG game. I'm pretty sure a lot of fans who love to play gacha game would fall in love easily with this game visual. Especially the character Where, Crescent has a TV the... design and also the gameplay mechanism is easy there it is. to understand. That's what we're learn. looking for. Just to let you know. You know what? They missed out on a perfect opportunity to have special abilities just show a shit ton of fucking jiggle physics. The full character is a female and also will get a free SR characters by wow. the first free time. Wow! Free SR? Resonance Souls this is an active turn based wow. game RPG that allows the player. I feel like gacha games are literally just like for coomers. I'm 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 about to actually just like just completely positive that I'm pretty sure if anyone says I'm a gacha enjoyer, it just means they like anime tits and they're just a coomer. About the red bed wars, more players than Minecraft bed wars? Probably it's Roblox. To manage the skill when it's ready by costing some energy to unleash. Game five gig place on my phone. Better be a good game for five gigs. Every character says the gacha enjoyer. The I like gotchas, except I, I guess I guess I'm somewhat of a coomer, I guess. But I mean, I don't. I'm not a big fan of the anime gotchas. I'm. I believe it or not, I'm not a huge anime gotcha player, even though I liked Epic Seven, which is kind of anime. But I mean, I was like, you know, Idol Heroes was like my shit. The ultimate skill by recharging which was not, until it's reached not 100 first. Our character will not attack the automatically it's by different. their basic attack, different. and we only need to focus on the skill. I love the how game, cute the character- the, the gacha game is good when I can see each individual pixel, okay? You know what I'm saying? That good old pixel art, that pixel art gacha? Mm. I want to count those pixels. I want to see dollar for dollar ratio. If I have to pay $50 for this specific gacha, I better see at least, at least 50 pixels, okay? Better Pokemon game of Roblox is reloaded every two weeks because Roblox takes it down. Probably. State of Survival Enjoyer before. State of Survival is not too bad. 2D Clash Royale. Absolutely. Character's love voice it. is, it's really enjoyable to listen to as well. Remember to upgrade your hero just before the combat starts. Actually, yeah. the hero's appearance remind me of the Blue Archive Gacha. Resonance Souls Thieves is yeah. the best upcoming Gacha RPG game 2024 for Android iOS. Oh shit, you got a train! Oh, baby, there's a train. Upcoming gacha RPG game Such a good game, bro. When you, when you out here with a fucking train, baby, going Mach 2, that's what I call a good fucking game. Locomotive simulator. Choo -choo. Can I be the caboose? For Android iOS. Tessia is a Kai. Wait, is it this fucking game? Tessia is a Game of the fucking year. Game of the fucking year, bro. Kai World RPG game gacha does not pay to win actually. Game of the fucking year, bro. 
God damn. Look at this. I got three SSR characters whose name is Patrick's. Oh, it was going so good. And then it just went dog shit. Oh, God. Man, I was so down for the art style. Gotcha, not pay to win. And bro, that's like, that's, that's like a contradiction in itself. And you know, you could... So chat with any gacha game, if you want to tell if shit's generic or not, actually, that's kind of cool. It's got a card-based system. Oh, dude, it's got a... Actually, it's got a card-based system. That's kind of interesting for a gacha. But here's how you tell if something's very generic, chat, okay? I'll give you... This is how you tell if it's a generic gacha. So you see in the top corner here, all right? You see, you, you see, you see this little, this little indicator right here? How nature beats water, water beats fire, fire beats nature, and then you have light and dark. This is literally every single one of those games, and the pay-to-win ones are always the light and the dark characters. And those are always the best characters. And so that's how you tell, chat. To overpower for me, especially on the early stage. That's how you know. His damage is way too strong. Even I okay. don't need to okay. the level anymore. Wait. Which developer really did a great job on giving the player a high grade character to. Yo, actually, yo, this game's kind of gas, dude. Start the game. Tetsuya Isekai World is a new best gacha game with a unique gameplay, which we need to adjust the character skill deck based on the card elements type and color. Yo, type. yo, go off, queen? Wait, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, you see that action camera? Etching. So we really need to understand how the combat mechanism works to create a power damage yo. by picking the right God skill damn. and combining it it's into a higher power. Oh, get it out of the kitchen, this man is cooking. Image. This oh, what the, bro, this fucking game's popping the fuck up, bro, what is with this action, bro? Whoa, RPG game chill! Graphic visuals, Holy! Right. Seriously, it's super good and satisfying. Oh, look at these shaders, dude! These shaders are fucking off the chain! Seriously, it's... Look at that shader right there, bro! Look at the god rays! Holy fuck, this is... Bro, I actually might play this fucking game! I actually... Unironically, might try out this game. This game actually looks fucking gas. Super good and satisfying to play as well. Tessia Isekai World is one of the best gacha games for Android <laughs> iOS. You know what? You might be right. What a fucking good take. Just less than what a fucking gigabyte. good take, finally. Dr. Stone Battlecraft. Yo, Dr. Stone? Dr. Stone Battlecraft. What the fuck is this? In before pre rendered trailer. Yeah, $10 for HD graphics. Yeah, true. What the fuck is this, dude? Yo, old man Jenkins should definitely be an SS. That's how you know it's actually fun and super good, not the best. Yeah, true. This is a new gacha true RPG and real, game, bro. not pay to win, which we will get. Chad, how much you want to bet this is pay to win? How much you want to bet he just lied to us yet again? Freely as SR characters and also as our great, just to do the first gacha. Wait, is Dr. Stone a game? Or a fucking anime? Is it any good? Gacha. The gameplay is quite... It's fucking Battle Cats. It's fucking Dr. Stone Battle Cats. What the- what the fuck, bro? What are we doing here, dog? What's with the bobblehead looking motherfucker, bro? We know who it is. We don't need that big head cheat activated, bro. What is it? What are we playing? Fucking Goldeneye, dude? Let's calm down, okay? Take off the cheats, bro. Jesus Christ, dude. Big head mode, man. What the fuck? Simple but needs some strategy to win the combat. The gameplay is RPG games with tower defense, so we need to. Oh, tower defense? What gave that away, champ? Mega mind looking ass. When the energy or resources level Let's see the SSR champion. The you know, what I find funny, Jet. If you take a look at this here, all the dog shit characters cost like 120 and 100 plus. The one SSR OP character costs 50. Wait, Griffey, can you actually play Battle Cats on one of the streams, dude? Energy will recharge <laughs> go, and should I just go hard on Battle Cats? As well as the ultimate skill should of we become a Battle Cats streamer? Which will deal a lot of damage to all of the opponents. So we only need two minutes there to There he is, right dude. Oh, he's a buffer, that's why. At least they didn't stuck with the style. I gave Wolf a big head, too. Can't figure out why the Wolf is zoom in the head like that. Oh, yeah, true, dude. I, I didn't fucking see that, dog. I didn't even see that his fucking Wolf's... Look at the size of the Wolf's head, bro. Look at this, dude. Look at the size of his fucking head, man! Hey yo! Hey yo! 
That wolf looking kind of sussy, dog. Yo, why is the head like that? God damn. Yo, I'm fucking butchered this game, bro. To defend our base. In this game, we should level up our base because it's really an fucking important bobblehead simulator. That's for unlocking the exploration <laughs> point. It's top and heavy chat. Vision. It's not big bone, he's top heavy. To expand an exploration Deal 70 damage to all opponents. Why do you have to tell us that this every single time? This RPG game Gacha has a small size too, just less than one gigabyte. And of course, Ooh, it less than one gigabyte. low-end pawns and mid-range. <laughs> Chad, it was, it was less, than a, less than a gigabyte. 950 megabytes were from the size of those fucking pixels in that head. You know what I'm saying, dude? Fuck me, pawns. dude. Even though we cannot change the graphic yeah, Battle Cat streamer, that's what I've always Gacha wanted. Pay to win Gacha that ain't RPG happened, Dog. Games 2024 for Android iOS. I ain't it, Dog. Black Clover Mobile. This better be good. Don't do Black Clover bad like Black this. Black Clover Mobile. I really recommend for every game's developer to see Such a how perfect game. this anime game is ported Oof, into mobile game. games. I love this kind of Gacha RPG with a high graphic visual. Bro, I feel my phone heating up just thinking about this game, okay? Like... Like, actually, my phone feels like it's gonna fucking combust with the fucking graphics that are on this motherfucker right now, dude. Well, especially with the you want to play some black is... chat? You want to play some black clover mobile? It's okay. You can play it for ten minutes on a full charge. Really insane. When you unleash the ultimate skill, you will realize how the creator put everything into. Actually, play the story's fully the animated, top notch. Effect. I better be. The skill effect, black notch. The voiceover Ooh. are blended perfectly on the skill visual. At the first ten summons, will get free SSR. Here's the thing, chat. All right. I will play any gotcha game, but by God, I will not play a gotcha game on stream if there's no guilds. I will put my foot down. There needs to be guilds. There needs to be some sort of group activity. That's what those part of those gotchas are important to me. This may as well be a PC game with graphics. Yeah, true. Our characters throughout the tutorial. The gameplay mechanism is pretty easy to learn, which has the same mechanism, just like the yeah, other. Yeah, because if I'm playing chores simulator, I'm doing chores together. System. Seriously, this is the only gacha RPG game that has an open world concept and is really worth playing. Only gotcha with open world. Tower of Fantasy. Genshin Impact. Honkai Star Rail. All three of those are open world. Are they not? And I, I I'm gonna be honest with you, I think he I think he's confusing the difference between a theme park and an open world. Because I guarantee you Black Clover is an open world. It's theme parked. Garen fucking tea it. I bet you there is invisible walls everywhere. It's not a pay to win gacha game if you are only focused on the storyline. We can Bro, you could say that with literally any game. Game isn't pay to win if you're not focusing on winning. It's like bro, What are we saying here? What are, what are we What are we saying here, dude? Enjoy the actual storyline, the same as the actual anime. The best gacha yeah. game mobile to toss I'll pay away as long as you're in menus, dude. Yeah, right. The day of promise. I bet, how much you want to bet this is a this is a fucking failed promise? Was it had club map, lots of invisible walls? Yeah, I bet Black Clover is the exact same way. The day of promise. Love to see the character design at all. It has a normal size, actually, not the. I'm gonna be honest with you. This game's filled with flashbangs. Uh, hot take. If I'm playing a game and I'm constantly getting flashbanged every two fucking seconds, not a big fan. TV style anymore. But I, I, I like this game. I can't say why, but I'm a, I'm a fan. The gameplay is we need to deploy the hero in combat one by one. It's depend on how much energy you have to. That's a good game. I feel like each game pulls a randomized script out of a hat. Oh, absolutely. Waited there for the thumbnail. Yeah, I mean, this is this isn't a video chat. This is just my wallpaper. Be able to place the hero. The Cookie Rush Kingdom, yeah, probably. Let the enemy come closer to your. Oh, what is this like Xenogen so bullshit? A special skill. I like how they spend so much time on like making good artwork, and then they show the animations, and the animations are just so fucking dog shit. It's just like they spend all their budget on making sure the portraits are as clickable and viable as possible, but the mechanics themselves and the animations are just fucking dog water when it's fully recharged actually i tried to summon some new hero but i only get one as it's like here's the question why would i play this when i could go play adventure quest worlds 
You know what I'm saying? Like, this, if I want relatively like the Our same hero. animation style. When you have the same hero, then it will become a sword piece. This sword piece will be so useful. Oh, we got the maid in the there. Can't forget about the maid. Your characters. Yeah, fuck him up with that mop, bro. The hero's level significantly. Yeah, give him that mop. Yeah. Power yeah. Is the key to yeah, mop, mop. The game. Before we start the game, we will get a sword storyline that we can skip it all. Give it a give it a clack clack five thousand, bro. Into the combat. Best game gotcha yeah, I don't know about Android, that one, Chief. IOS 2024. I don't think this game's really my thing. Boomer game. 100%. This game's gonna be fucking fire. 99. Reverse 1999. One of the best gacha game of Never mind. Never mind. I take back. This looks like fucking Balenciaga tried to make a fucking game. I've, uh, bro, this game looks too pricey. This 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 is the type of game that would have like fucking hundred dollar, hundred and twenty dollar fucking gacha packs that is considered the lower end. RPG Mobile of the year, and our team still has a high expectation. It will become the best RPG gacha Android 2024. Oh wait, never mind. This game's fire. I, re I never mind. This game's good. Never mind. I I've heard really good things about this game. Look at how aesthetic the visual is. Even the game's story is really anti-mainstream. This, game, no this game's actually this supposed to be fucking story sick. Driven, it's about Still looks too expensive for me. A different era. This game is really good in skill effect. Especially when shit, we dude. launch the ultimate skill one. It's really amazing. This game is the most played RPG of the gacha game. All players keep playing it because the developer is freely giving a high grade of hero when we just started the game. The com Hot take? hot take i don't like when developers give you free shit for just downloading the game because here's the thing okay here's what i don't like about it it won't teach you how to play the game if you can steamroll the first three chapters with one five star character because now you've steamrolled to a point where now it's so fucking hard that you can't literally you don't know how to progress I think I think they I think you should there should be some sort of like something that you that you have to complete a certain part of the storyline in order to get it. So at least at least at least it teaches you how to get to that point before it just showers you with fucking rewards. Really love how he says because yeah, true. It's like he has a reason for it. We need to combine a specific star and understand the enemy's weakness to deal a massive damage. Just massive damage? The store, it's downloaded like by mage rewards? Yeah, that's fine. And still has an insane score with 4.8 stars. Surely the best gacha game 2024. Best gacha game, bro. Atelier Wrestler Rihanna. I can't even pronounce that. Atelier Wrestler Rihanna. This game is truly magnificent. I really love... Hmm. Can't put my finger on it, chat, but something Atelier about it. Rihanna. This game is truly magnificent. Something about it looks really, really familiar. Hmm. 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 Almost like it's an art style. I really love how the developer no, I wasn't thinking Genshin. An atelier game I lied. I was thinking Genshin. Which are for mobile, Android, iOS, and Yo, PC. what is Final Fantasy so looking at? Whoa, there's a, a fucking... Wait, do, wait, were you spawning Kirby's? Android, iOS, and PC. Oh, it's a rabbit. I'm like, motherfuckers? It's like, why is motherfuckers summon all of Dream World? What do you mean? You're fucking Kirby looking ass fucking stars, bro. I thought that was a lawsuit waiting to happen, dog. I was like, oh shit, here we go again. So the player will have a bigger chance of playing this new yeah, series. Yeah, really big Atelier. chance, eh? The gameplay is a turn-based game. We should play manually and be able to cause some skill through. I hate how this game looks good. I fucking hate it. I hate how I would actually play this. Items, but also we can do a basic attack and ultimate skill of each character that we own. We will get free three star heroes. Bro, freely. this is like this is like straight up like mobile Final Fantasy, dude. This is straight Final Fantasy. Which Actually, is the games on PC. In this game, I really love how the developer really focus on delivering the storyline by showing so many cutscenes full of voiceover. Most of you will ask for any male or female characters. The it is literally is Honkai. Yes. I don't really like Honkai. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a huge fan of Honkai. I don't know.
just not not really my thing we are able to collect male characters as well as the female the character's design is totally anime style with a grpg no series, appearance yeah. we can create actually games came out console items to yeah it goes hard bro hero strength and power best rpg you know what we need you know what we need we need a game just like this except dragon quest characters give us a dragon quest gotcha i'll be happy with that dragon quest gotcha i'm down Earlier games for Android iOS 2024. Mythic, some cock. Huh? Fuck did you just say to me? 2024. Mythic, some cock. <laughs> I think there was a mix of translation there. Well, <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> I think there was a Dragon Quest gotcha, we'll probably... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. I don't think that's how it's pronounced. I'm gonna be honest. Can you translate? I don't think it's- I don't think it's called Mythic Samcock. I don't know about you, though, but I don't think it's Mythic Samcock. Mythic Samcock. Seriously, this kind of gacha game keeps releasing and continuously. I think it's because it has its own market. Who I think I think because it keeps releasing because they keep on trying to make it relevant, but it keeps on dying. I really love to play an auto RPG with a gacha based game and also has a Chinese theme at all. Look at hot take. I don't think MMO RPG and gacha really mix with each other. How the character design, character name, is it same the cock? Same, uh, is probably. Totally Chinese. The gameplay is really easy to navigate, especially the whole gameplay is. Is it really an M? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Is it term based though? I mean, uh, it's not really MMORPG. It should be. It should be its own genre. Personally. in auto mode and can it is be an RPG, but into three times the. good game chat it's a good fucking game i'm in i'm sold M mmorpgs could be gachas download it now i'm i'm in hacker man the game speed so it will save our time a lot while 10 in out of 10 even when we are following the mission it's full of automatic don't drive me with a good time if you would like to play manually then you can do it and it will grant your winning chance higher because you can arrange the strategy to unleash the skill anytime you want i'm all in dude love an but you don't get lost RPG, i'm lost in the sauce i'm already fucking head. lost in the sauce this is why i only play pixel art games this is why i only play pixel art games jazz because i always get too lost in the sauce Ether gazer Ether Gazer. 12 fucking gigs, chat. 12 gigs. 12 fucking gigs. Fucking Coomer, man. Hey, man. I don't have any of these games downloaded on my phone. Just don't look at my Steam library. Global. This game is Just truly kidding. magnificent it's my second for a account. gacha game. I will recommend this game for you. Do the best action RPG hack and slash with a gacha based game that no pay to win RPG games. God, I fucking love leather clothing. How much storage does a phone have? Not enough. Seriously, this game is the best in this genre. No one can stand against it on the combat mechanism. Not enough. And how fast the gameplay is. I got two of S tier heroes, which are the highest grade on it. Even though I didn't spend any money. Please note, you need a high spec phone to run it, or you. You need a high spec phone to chat. Chat, you need a high spec phone to run it. I wonder why. It on the I wonder why mechanism. you need a high spec phone to run it. How fast the gameplay is? I got two of S tier heroes. Yeah, high spec phone to run this shit, chat. One second, ain't another thumbnail. <clears throat> Rerolling that I think I hit S rank unit, dude. Bro, I, I'll be honest. I think I think you get the characters right at the get go is probably not gonna be pretty good for us. And see, chat, this is the this is the sole reason why ninety nine percent of my viewers are men. Because the one percent that of women that come to watch the stream see shit like this, and they're like, disgusting, absolutely disgusting. It is what it is, man.
Investing into this game right now. I've already given my life life's insurance into this game, dude. It's fine. Don't worry which about are it. the highest grade on it. Even though I didn't spend any money. Please note, you need a high spec phone to run it, or you need a lot of need, it, it need that ace what is that? ACES ROG 8 or whatever the fuck it's called. Piece of memory. Just abolish to equalize it. it. Yeah, you're right. Actually, the game storyline is just common, but I'm pretty sure that Who's the really takes it seriously on creating the best combat. Gusta. That's why I prefer enjoying the combat gameplay rather than and the story but overall <laughs> even even hd graphics likes the gameplay rather than the story this rpg is priceless i will keep playing it even in 2024 oh yeah that you will an rpg game gotcha 2024 obviously best mobile. character in the game soul slayer idol rpg Soul Slayer, Idol RPG. What a okay, good game. this game is the most casual gameplay if you would like to play the best gacha game in Idol He's mode. He's there for the plot. So I'm there for the plot. It was like Lost Ark Mobile is meant to be played on PC via emulator, implemented keyboard support to mobile games. Everything this um, game will I disagree. automatically. No matter what. The skill, Survival the Adventure gacha, dude. On aiming the enemy, it will take by Bro, itself. Zero in Suit Samus is way fucking Our better than this is bullshit. Only building up the character's strength into a higher level, so we can leave the game. This is out here looking like the fucking mom that goes to fucking does Pilates and yoga every fucking Thursday. All right, this ain't looking like anything. Like, yeah, maybe a fucking Zero Suit Samus from Wish.com. All right. I am fucking close, bro. And let the game work by itself, even when we are doing. Was so that coming to PC? Blue stacks it. It's ready the right RPG now. It's made by Mobilix, which is well known Blue as five, the most baby. active game developer that consistently makes an idle gacha game. So it will be. I love be this idle gacha it. game. The best Holy best shit! Game those those. Are. How much you want to bet, chat? I I I will put actual money on this that they just RPG bought an asset mobile, pack for this. Oh. All of this looks like an asset pack. Twenty four. Bonus, Soul Art Teleport. Oh, you're giving us a bonus? Why don't you just... Okay, why, why don't... You don't even do a top 10. Bonus, Soul Art Teleport. It's... Pre this game's sus. This game's so sus, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that i want a big very big like okay in what context were you in what context you want it big and very big okay there's no context with normalization that this is anything other than the unnecessarities a gold nugget moly ice cream dude i mean it could be a gold nugget i mean yeah i, I already said it pretty insane how possible the developer You, you gotta be shitting me, bro. Bonus. You gotta be shitting so me. You can't just say, I want it big, very big, it's and then afterwards, give us offer. something like this. Bro, you're trolling. You're actually fucking trolling. You can't be real. It can't be, I don't believe it. I don't believe that it's real. This can't be real. What the fuck? Let's the player guarantee of SSR character. I bet I can hit that with my eyes closed. It's time we do a 10 summon gacha. You. It's really beyond you. the other games Next. in the same genre. You yeah, good sport. You must try this game right now, no matter what, because it's playable on any different. This game, where, where are the male characters? Hello, my immersion. Excuse me. I would like to spend money on some male characters too, please. Faces and really good in combat. My immersion. Visual. Even the graphic they set as the standard. Yo, this is some epic seven looking with shit, bro. Level. The combat battle is a turn base. Every time we hit the enemy with our basic attack, then the energy will regenerate one. I've already the downloaded it. Skill will consume more energy rather I've than already the downloaded regular it. Skill, but also it will deal it's already with downloaded. Damage. All I'm already level 50. On soul or teleport or I beat the with game. Nice dress and color. Collect it to make sure. Well, look, look, look at this. Look at this fucking maid, bro. Look, look at this, look at this fucking maid with her fucking Dyson vacuum. What a what a, what a fucking good character design, bro. What a fa what a fantastic character design. 
Let's just put a random maid with a bonnet with a fucking Dyson. That, that's what I'm talking about. That's what you need. But a good character could appeal to everybody, male or female, dude. Is that Griffy maid, bro? Yeah, it is. You're right. It is. I bet, I bet that vacuum does wind damage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Will this trend ever die out? <laughs> what trend? The Dyson vacuum trend? Or the fucking, or the anime titty fucking uh, anime games? <laughs> the vacuum does suck damage. Is it, what, what, are we, what are we talking about here? I mean, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done with these for now. I, I I still gotta do my idol on stuff, Jet. We've been fucking around for way too long. Anime gotcha pixel games, yeah. I mean, we we need we need more pixel art ones. We need both trends to thrive, to be honest. True. Fun times, G. Yeah, absolutely. I just realized that I've been fucking around and I've been fighting crystal mobs uh, in World Three. What about Nova Lands? What do you mean? What about Nova? Chat. It's only been four hours since we started playing idol on. I forgot we're an Eidolon streamer. Chad, I don't know about you guys, but I uh, I didn't, I forgot that, you know, we we streamed Eidolon. Crazy, right? All right, chat, our first gamble is up. We have nine attempts to one nothing trophy. Here we go. Pixar games are some big assets too, so I'd search for the best of both worlds. You're absolutely right. Could not agree more. We definitely need all of it. All of it. What's the best prep for World 6? Lab? I would say, yeah, definitely get your Divinity and Lab grind done before World 6. Absolutely. 100%. One sec, chat. I'm back. All right. I'm statue grind right now. Might finish Divinity later. It's important to do, definitely. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, is if you if you get all the way to having everything with Divinity, then you're then you're good, right? That's basically all you need. Just make sure you have all the gods and everything, because you do realize that the power of the gods is going to be even stronger for World Six when it releases, right? It's gonna be it's gonna be big, big, big juice. Found out that I can level up kitchens after pumping through a 160 day recipe unlocked with ladles. Hell yeah. I'm only missing world three statues, 100k on everyone. Pog. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like that. All right, here we go, chat. You ready? This is the one. This is the one right here. Okay, well that was that was that was a nothing trophy right there. We're getting close. Sorry, like a week ago? That's pretty good, man. We got one more day, and then our mage's best is done. We have to get it to 950. So once we get that done, we're fucking cooking. Might as well do our clicks while we're here. My uh, once-in-a-while clicking that I do oh so much. But man, I'm so... I'm, I'm so pumped for World 6. I, I feel like... I feel like it's... You know what I feel like? I feel like one of those one of those people that were waiting for a a fucking like uh Remember remember when people were playing retail WoW and they were wishing classic WoW was a thing? That's what I feel like. Uh, that that's what I feel like. I want I want I want that new world, you know? I want that want that world. I'm waiting, bro. I'm cooking. Give it to me. I'm ready for World 6. I just got my stamps up to 5,100. Huge. Grats. You know, that's that's what we really need in our life. Okay, once that's done, World 6 is going to be done in a week. We happy. So I don't speedrun World 6. I won't try to speedrun World 6, but it doesn't mean that speedrunning World 6 isn't going to happen. What's up, Squiddy? Welcome back. Right? 
It's just, it's just going to happen whether we like it or not. Rank 173. We're doing good. Nice. I don't think I'll go as hard as I did when I with World 5. Because I did go pretty, pretty nutty hard in World 5. Um, like, obviously, I'm going to get a gear and stuff, like, pretty fast. Nice 3D printer. But I think I'm definitely going to, you know, take my time more. A little bit. I won't be, because what I, what I did for World 5 is I'd play a shit ton at night. I mean, I'd shit ton during stream, and then I'd get off stream, and I'd continue to play more. Which is a problem. Have you got the nothing trophy yet? No. No, I'm still grinding it, grinding it out, dude. I would love to have the nothing trophy. I only want one for slab. I'm officially convinced that I'm not going for 10 nothing trophies. I don't even want 10 nothing trophies at this point. What do you think the best way to get everyone to level 500? Just tons of active crystals on everyone? Yes. Crystal spawn chance and XP is your go-to. A buy a long shot. Uh, still no nothing trophy. Oh, God. What did, I'm, I, bro, I hate this game, dude. I hate this game. It's a crystal chance. Mine? I think it's like 126 or something. Somewhere around there. And go nutty on world six when it comes out gonna try to get those previous world gains from the new world stuff hell yeah oh bar speaking of which bro i tried mana soul yesterday even though we memed on it i actually gave it a try it's actually not bad it's actually not terrible i'd give it like a solid five it's average just like this level 21 snail Fuck. Told ya? Well, I mean, getting over the fact that it still looks like tarantula dog shit doesn't make it even better. I mean, a polished turd doesn't mean that it's still not a turd, you know? Bam, 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 bam. Alright, we got that. So we didn't win shit. There was no win there. Unfortunately. Next is we have to do our... A daily. 3D prints. That's one. We're gonna have to hop onto the boobo here as well. To do our... Hourly clicking. I guess. The game had a new set of paint. It could be pretty nice. I would say if he updated the animations a little bit to make the animations, I don't know, a little bit, a little bit less dog shit, they would have something cooking. I think it's just trying to do a game like that, like an old school sort of game style like that at this day and age, is just not going to cut it anymore. You know, because it doesn't, it doesn't show that you're trying for a specific art style. It shows that you're, you're, you're an amateur. That's some big fucking procs, bro. So, I mean, what it, for what it is right now, it's fine, but it, needs, it definitely needs some time to cook. It's not quite cooking, but, you know, I decided to give it a try after reading the reviews that there was, like, uh, what was it? There was one person that spent over 300 hours on the game. If you're going to spend over 300 hours on the game, it can't be that bad, you know? I, I was getting pretty nostalgic vibes from it. But nothing, I don't think, will keep me going with it. Alright, let's hop over to the boobo for a sec. Oops, wrong character. Yikes! It's your minimum bubble level? Mine? Um. Yeah, let me check. I think I checked that on Toolbox, right? No, it's way less than 1k. Uh, I won't count my multi or bubbles just for everything to make sense. I think it's like 170 or something. 
Probably somewhere around there, I would say. Maybe 200. Uh... Actually, yeah, I mean, we could just use this for anything, to be honest. What, what is it? It is, uh, looks like, I think, 287, 287? 288, 287, 294, yeah, I think 287. Or 263. My lowest bubble is 263. 262. 262 is the lowest I can find. 262. Tells you above? Yeah, it's still 262. The old 262. It's not too bad. A bigger average than I thought, to be honest. I know the average was uh, much, much lower than that, but apparently not. Apparently, I'm cooking. I mean, we could probably get it much higher than that as well, but... Oh, shit. I actually used up all my green spore caps. Do I have a print for green spore caps? Am I printing green spore caps? Yeah, I am. Like the shiny pet odd bubble is wrong. Your cooking speed. Um, my cooking speed is passive card man doesn't be equipped. Yes, exactly. My cooking speed is. 8.28 E... No, no, no. Oh, total speed. 1.24 E41. That's my, that's my cooking speed, chat. Yeah, 1.24 E41. That's my speed. And we have a cooked... We have a hundred... 1.26 E45. In, uh, in, in turkeys. Lend some? Yeah, I got you. Pretty sure if I even lent you an E, you'd be able to pop off. Ludicrous speed. It will get faster. Faster and further beyond. We just need a we just need a, we just need world six to pop out. And then our speed will probably triple. Triple or if not quadruple. And then it's gonna go so fucking fast that it's gonna break the game. And then we can never turn on Eidolon ever again because the numbers overflow to a point that it just it's causing memory leaks. And then I and then I have to spend a week of just reacting to videos until they fix the uh until they fix the problem. Lava fixes the problem. Because by God, we wouldn't want that, eh, chat? We don't want me to turn into a React Andy. That would be horrible. Nobody would want that. It says 20, it gives shiny pet odds, but actually new pet odds too. Does it? It's kind of cool. I like that. A little bit of both. Can't complain about that. Can't complain about hidden mechanics. Another mechanic that Lava doesn't tell us about. And that's why I still have a job. Boo -doo. I love when you do alchemy like this, these the procs get freaking nuts, dude. I mean we might as well upgrade the, you know, we might as well just keep on upgrading this. So it's it's since we're since we're doing it this way. Like it'd be stupid for us not to. We're getting one billion regardless. I hope that world six our our talent levels get to four hundred plus. You know why? Four second tentacle Four second tentacle will break the game. And I want to see that happen. 
Yeah, that was probably smart. Push a convert bet, leveled up that bubble, new pet chance went from 1 in 5 to 14%. Well, that's pretty good then. Give me more Brax, baby. And more cranium cooking. Absolutely, dude. Apps are freaking lootly. More cranium cooking. I think cranium cooking is already out of control as it is, though. But it, but if that if that was the case, it would actually get to a point where cranium cooking would just end up being permanent. Imagine getting to a point of permanent cranium cooking. That's the juice. That's the fucking juice, dude. These procs, man. These procs, dude. This is this is welcome to daily simulator chat. This is what you do daily when you're when you're later game. You click the circles. CC has about a fifty percent uptime. Really, I, I would say it's a little bit more, wouldn't you say? Or to max out four star cards on different skills than other. Is it easy to max out mining but struggling already won seven hours on fairies? Uh, so world four is a little buggy. Uh, especially with like chopping and alien logs, uh, but I mean, the higher up, higher up in tiers you go, the higher it is to get get a get it going, right? Thirty two k seconds, right? I would say you are about around that. Os idle. It's basically os idle. You're absolutely right, dude. Anyone's going to get there? Probably be you, G. I would. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Skeg. Appreciate the appreciate the mode of confidence. 16, 18 K seconds. Yeah, I would say so. I would say so. That, that sounds about right. Sounds like we cook with those numbers. We're almost at 2K with that one bubble there. I'm almost part of the 2K gang. I like how I'm just hitting 2K on these bubbles. Yep, yeah, some people are like 8,000. It's fine. We need to level up this bubble. This luck bubble needs to go up. Because you know what that means, chat? You know what more luck means? More drop rate. You know what more drop rate means? Speaking of which, uh, do we know how much we get drop rate per 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 luck? Do we get 0.01% per thousand luck? Uh, should I focus their combination look more? So, early game? Comma. Uh, if you're still hunting for artifacts, boat speed for 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 both stats, and then after after you're done all that, loot value. And you want double loot value. So first off, start double boat speed. Second, double loot value, and then you, basically you can just avoid everything else. Cloud is meh. Speed will just end up being better. How many do you kill a, an hour active? Mobs? Um, I don't know. I haven't really calculated, I would say. I don't really know how, how many I kill per hour, to be honest. For, for what character specifically? Is there a specific character that you're wondering? Bubo? Um, a lot. So much that I, I make millions and millions of dollars. Does I mean like Oh you know it's gonna be super super dopamine inducing though chat 10k probably more to be honest it was you know it'd be even more dopamine inducing chat when you get into world six and you're fighting mobs all of them are god shards all god shards are dropping from mobs the whole entire time I'm running through World 6 on my Bubo, it's just going to be God Shards upon God Shards dropping. The pure dopamine. And it's going to be more than the Trevor Worms no matter what. That's crack. It might not be right away, but it will. It will eventually. But that'll be absolutely just straight, straight crack. And then there's also the new coin tier as well. The new coin tier is going to go buried. dude.
count how many mobs in the map and multiply it number of seconds in one hour. And would that actually work, though? La Lava needs to do something to reduce lag of World 6. Well, you gotta remember, right, last year, he did 20, what was it, 23 updates? So that was like every 16-day period, he did, a bunch, he did an update. So, I mean, going forward, he's, I mean, one of those must be a fucking, I bet you anything, one of them's gonna be like a bug-fixing update. Oh, check the guild task for one hour. Oh yeah, true. Love Kerning City, be best best song in the game. They all mobs die around every second, so I think it should be a good estimate. Yeah, it should be about right. I want more Dragonic Cauldrons. I just want my chocolate milk cauldron. That's what I want. Give me my chocolate milk cauldron. Where is it? That one right there. That one says not existent. Give me that. Give me that toxic HG, more like toxic CM. Give me that shit, bro. I want, I want it in my, in my belly. I think that'd be, that'd be pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Most quality of life improvements Lava could do is add search bar to the storage system. I mean, yeah, true, I guess. Or just have an auto sort system. That would also be, also be probably advantageous as well. How many hours we got? 25k? Oh god, this nothing trophy has been the biggest fucking grind! My god! Wow, I just hit my whole desk. I think liquid should be more ev evenly distributed? Are you talking about between the bubbles? No, I don't think so. High numbers and we would be good also. Uh, just, just, add, just, let, just let this game be moddable. UI scaling for full screen, tiny icons, one big storage UI. Yeah, I mean, what you could do is, uh, you know, it, it, like the thing is though, Chad, if like somebody gets the ability to uh, be able to mod the game, they could make a window UI. So like you could scale the UI and then you can move it around your screen while you're farming. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that shit would be pretty fire. Like imagine, imagine having a, imagine having a tiny like cog board or something while you're, while you're farming, you know? Pretty good. And yes, I realized I just opened up my fucking construction with a Beastmaster. Please don't yell at me. Per cauldron, two liquid has five. Uh, I mean, yeah, true. But it's not, I don't think it's that huge of a deal. Shrines go over level 100? They sure do. Maybe it's hard to allow mobs without interfering on the game, like drop rates and stuff. Well, I mean, there are certain ways that you can set it up, right? So, like, you can make it so um, it only only allows you to use certain game mechanics. So, if you do, like, strictly UI, that means you can't change, like, values and stuff. So, it might make it a little bit better. Is there a count level? Um, 5,089. Five thousand eighty-nine. Getting there. Getting there. Slow and steady wins the race. Been playing this game for a hot minute though, man. Been playing this game for almost two years now. Am I proud of myself? I don't know. Man, locking blobs is a grind. You get the same XP an hour. It says if it gives in that island. I think so. I believe so. Most of World 4? Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Get in there, brother. I gotta do, uh, I gotta do my, uh, prince, or not my prince. I have to do trapping. How many hours of steam do you have on an island? Um, 13,763. Almost hitting to that 14k, man. What was that? The old 14k Arunskis. 
So I've been playing for a little bit. I also run this game actively 24-7, right? Like, my computer never turns off. The only time I ever turn off my computer is when I reset it in the morning for before I start stream. 18 months? Here, let me see. My first achievement that I ever got was... What would be the first achievement, I guess? What would that be? That would be... Real 2, probably, maybe? Do I farm World Twine? Flom, Beige, and World 4, my dude. Uh, July 18th, 2021. Wait, how long ago is it? Wait, oh wait, July 12th. July 12th, 2021. July 10th, 2021. July 9th, July, July 7th. June... Oh, wait, shit. Okay. My first... I started playing June 28th. June 28th is when I started. At 4.14 a.m. 4.14 in the morning. So how long ago is that? There's no way that's two. Have I really been playing this game for two and a half years? Have I really invested two and a half years of my life into this game? Sweet Jesus. Oh, God. You know what's even the worst part? Like thirteen out, uh, thirteen thousand hours in two and a half years, bro. I don't even think I, I don't even think I even put fucking thirteen thousand hours in fucking ten years of WoW, dude. Like that's a, that's a disgusting, disgusting. What'd you do for two and a half years? Oh, I play an idle game. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, bro. Pretty good, real nice. Five k hours Black Desert online. Okay, it's not that bad. That's bad. Late life crisis, you mean? Yeah, true. True that. I play a four years play time on my main alone in WoW. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm underestimating. In nine years though, and it's twenty four seven logged in too. Oh, Oh, twenty four seven logged in. Okay, that makes more sense. I was about to say, I'm like, that's kind of fucking. Kinda, that's kinda wild, dude. That's kinda, that's kinda fucked up, gotta be honest. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, Prince, that's right. Printerinos. I need e-font wings. I need e-font wings. I need cards. Agility cards. Skill efficiency. I mean, to be fair, I Eidolon used to be spreadsheet gaming. Chat, before Eidolon efficiency or Eidolon toolbox, we had to used to do everything by spreadsheet. Okay? Okay? That shit was that shit was H core. Food. I'm pretty good. Trapping, twelve billion efficiency. We're cooking. All right, so what do I need to do here? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten critters. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to know how to trash everything, look at that. Sounds good, dude. Have a good one, Night Fox. Turning player very strong, 2023, 24. Your bro, your electricity bill must be high. I actually, with with my tenant agreement, I don't pay for electricity. So you press, so you press the little garbage can at the bottom left. Okay. Wait, do you guys not? Okay, hold up, hold up. Here. I'm 
So if you guys don't know, here let, here, let me, let me, let me, let me do this quickly. Let me do, let me do this. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just place a random fucking trap. All right. So if you guys want to know a quick way of how to delete all your traps, all you have to do is go on down to the little tap here. But instead of clicking these each individually, what you can do is you can just click collect all. Boom. All gone. There you go. Easy peasy. It's not long enough to be a short chat. But I just taught you guys how to do that. Yo, what's up, Crow Sniper? My dudes. Well, I mean, at least now you know. At least now you know. All right, so I need crab boys. Um, I think we're just going to go the top end, and then we're just going to do 40 hours, same as always. And then we're going to do crabs. And then we're going to do scorpions. Perfect for shorts, absolutely. Mousies. Owlies. And our weekly company ex executive, well, executive meeting and everyone looked at me funny. And then there was that one guy that'd be like, bro, you watch Griffey Bit? Yo, my dudes, what's going on? Yo, Griffey Bit enjoy your dude? Please tell me that happened. I haven't even looked at new main game driver since Ilan is kind of dead at the moment. Jumping back into Final Fantasy XIV. Fucking lame, bro. Fucking lame. Okay, so everybody has it. Girthy bits the next. That didn't... That would have been awesome. You could have just... Can you just fucking lie to me and say that it happened? All right? For the love of God, dude. I ask you to do one thing for me. So is it better to get one critter at a time or different ones? What do you mean? And well, it depends. It depends on what you want, right? If you want, if you want a shit ton of, if you want a shit ton of critters, then yeah, you do all of them one at a time. But if you're not needing really much for anything, then you just do all critters. I'm bothering gating my brains out until World Six. Yeah, good luck. Thrones of Liberty may be nice, but for me, it's always BDO. Man's hating on my game choice. He's been watching mobile game YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm not. Shut up. Shut up. It's satire. Yes, it turned out to be Lava Flame too. Well, that, that now I know you're lying. Come on, Crow Sniper, dude. Gaslight him, dude. And a similar thing happened. They just told me to bug you about being Griff Legionnaire. Okay, bro. That's fucking insulting. That was a good name. I thought Griff Legionnaire was a good name. Griffy Bit's way better, but I mean, Griff Legionnaire wasn't bad. Black Hawk Quest, currently I'm three Hermit Canned in the Rogue Quest. Is this possible for automatic multi-fishing and Big Bubble, or am I just stupid? Do I wait? You just wait until RNG hits. There we go. So now I, have, I get every single critter in the world. Every single critter. So now I can green stack them all eventually. And then I'll never run out of critter materials for anything that might possibly be. I said, my dudes, when I, when I arrived at work this morning, everyone gave me a round of applause. And then we all took the day off to play Eidolon. Bro, <laughs> that's a fucking fever dream, dog. I'm gonna be honest, for the first four months, I thought your name was Griffy Brett. And I thought you're from the UK until I got my glasses. Nora just like subconsciously adds a fucking R in it. They just released the scholar, two little hammers, one big hammer feels like clunky but slow and nice, otherwise fun land for me, dude. It's okay, chat. We will we will one day find a game that we'll all play together as one. Oh wait. We do. You guys heard of Idolon? You guys heard of Idolon? <laughs> Oh, 
I've heard of Bylon. Imagine being a guild name called Heathens, dude. 30... You have 30% more Eagle Eye than me. I'm not sure where that's from. Do you have Eagle Eye at 311? Can I release the Guild House update, Griffey? Bro, true and real, actually. Yeah? Do you... What? What? What is your Violet? What is your Poison Frog Violet? Mine's level 7. I got two more levels on you, then. Spiffing Bit and Griffy Brit collab when? I love that, dude. I would love to be like, Spiffing Brits be like, let's exploit this game, and I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. We can't, we can't just fucking exploit it, man. I can't, I can't be promoting exploits. Yeah, me, me and Spiffing Brit would not, would not be able to collab together. Because my whole thing is I like try, I don't, I don't exploit. And this motherfucker's out here exploiting every game. I had a dream where Lava finished World 6 and where the skills was philosophy. Back to the Sailing Gold blog bug, dude. Fuck, dude. I hate that shit. I hate that shit, dude. I hate that shit, dude. Use an alt? Man, fuck, fuck, man. Okay, are we done with quenchies? Quenchies are so far away from being done, bro. So far away, dude. Sailing Gold was a bug. We just got punished for using the game system. No, Tomeo. To Tomeo. Bro. If that's how you really feel, you're going to need this. Cope the fuck up some more. Okay? Go go cope. All right? Yeah, it was good for you. All right? You're going to need it. It's fucking mad cope. We can play Nova again, by the way. Enjoyed watching it yesterday. We'll play Nova Lens eventually. Uh... You know, I have another combo about pay to win and free to play. I mean, no, not really. Skill efficiency card set or something else for my. Uh, it's definitely skill efficiency. With pr pretty much in any scenario, skill efficiency is going to be better. There are some scenarios where the other one's better, but for the majority of the time, there's always going to be that one that's going to be superior. I don't know, the food effect was better, but fair. Well, it depends, like, right? If you get to, the thing is, is like, if you take a look at here, like mining, if you get to like 62 per minute, then food effect would be useless, right? But usually even then skill efficiency is better. Um, what am I looking for? Bro, I love this. I love this oval page so much, dude. This oval page brings me joy. So much fucking joy, dude. Look at that. Look at that. I can't get over it. Too much drop rate, bro. I, I arguably, I'd say drop rate's the most important, mo most important stat in the game. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters other than drop rate. Did you have to delete the other obols? Yeah, I did. Unfortunately. Damage. Once you one-shot monsters, it doesn't matter. You only need damage up to a certain point, but you'll always want more drop rate, no matter what. Drop rate has an infinite ceiling. Damage has a glass ceiling. See a V-Man in this game, and now I just realized I'm curious what the V-Man is actually doing. He's uh he's more of a support class. He's a really OP support class, but he's definitely a support class. I should probably finish off these cards, eh? I should probably ruby these last two cards. Let's 
Is that really what I should do though? Are they, they're both passive. Mm -hmm. So world six push advice, prayers, big bubbles, bubbles, et cetera. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Five star is shit. I could five star it. Go down, please. No, dude, I'm saving my cardifiers, okay? What if, if what if fucking world world six comes out and he's got some incredibly OP fucking cards? What are we talking about, dude? I'm gonna fucking five star that shit when that shit comes. What are we even saying here? Two star man, fuck you. Minus one card man, fuck you, Chet. You're minus one card. <laughs> fucking one minus one card looking ass. Oh god. Yeah, control card. Curious at what point do stash just get out of hand with new worlds coming out? Oh, they already have. They already have by far. You gotta realize in world four, a really high end account would be considered bubble level 140. Whew. That's out of the water. So you go from 140 to like 10,000. It's a little bit of a hyperscale, eh? A little bit of a out of hand scaling. It was more like Lava just at one point just said, eh, fuck it. Whatever. It is what it is. You know? I wait for that to 90% again. Um, That's too expensive. DNA is really expensive. All this shit is super spendo. Think it'll speed run right through World 6 and release with your account stats? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing in my mind tells me otherwise. It's just, it's basically just guaranteed. It's, uh, yeah, we're just at a point where it's just too strong, right? But I mean, at the same time, I'm okay with it. Like, it's not a huge, huge deal. But I mean, yeah, I'll speed run through it. Even in World 5, I technically sped run through it, right? I got to the end of the zones in five days. So I, I, really, I really don't think that's going to change at all. And now I'm just trying to sneak out uh, free free levels at this point. I need 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Give us a head start. Nah. One month? Nah, because then you'll get there. Where's the fun in that, man? There's no fun in that, bro. How much, how much thread do I have? Oh, I have a shit ton of thread. Gigi, Gigi just wants to catch up. He doesn't want me to be ahead. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like me being better than him at something. That should be... What are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? Our stamp levels now are... I have to check idle on efficiency. That's fucking lame. Are you playing a ride MMO? No, I'm gonna play Taurus Land though. I'm currently at 11,338 stamp level now. We got. I want to try to push that up to 12k. Really need to get auto loot? Yeah, probably. No, I'll play Taurus Land. Taurus Land looks dope. Uh, where is it? Where's a where's a where's a good look? You 
You can see on account page of toolbox. Okay. Oh, okay. Word. Not really good. Any any good images of Taurus land to be honest. But yeah, it's it's gonna be mobile and PC, which is kind of dope. Which I'm kind of looking forward to. That's the main thing. Gotta go have a test. Sounds good, bro. It's actually uh. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, dude. Wait. Does toolbox reviews just have weekly bosses? Wait. Bro, toolbox has everything. What the fuck? Jupiter I Major? Deceptibox? Fat Eggplonk? Well, two blocks just got a whole ton better. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Unit T31, dude. Wait, is this just showing you... What is this showing you exactly, though? In one UI and it has it popped up. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I don't know which one it is though. Graveyard UI maybe? Could be the graveyard UI. Looks like showing the bosses will be showing up. Boss forecast. I guess so. Sandburn UI? Is it Sandburn? When's the Sandburn supposed to come in? Sam yeah, it might be the Sandburn UI. Yeah, I think this I am only missing one. I think it's Sandburn. Look at the date. Yeah, you know, zero three ten seven. Wait, is this the whole month setup or the next two months setup? What the fuck? Wait, so. Wait, does it tell you? I don't think it tells you the turn. It doesn't it doesn't tell you the turn. But it tells you Death Star book is apparently on the 17th. The the new the new Death Star book is is apparently on the 17th. That's fucking wild, dude. That's fucking wild. This game's wild, bro. I didn't. I, well, tell you optimal order, but it tells you what order each character will be scaled off of. Yeah, exactly. Been talking about the boss thread for a few days now, at least. Well, I, I didn't, I didn't know. Dang, it's already 4 a.m. Work in progress, I think. And you see, definitely looks like. I mean, toolbox has just been popped up. <laughs> It must be brand new here. Uh, Island Toolbox, Updates. Had an option material tracker. Uh, how long ago? This was today. Option to character set a dashboard settings how it regards the cooldown. Add an estimated trash per day island page. Fix, fix a bug display. Crystal count on progress while skill was a proct. Okay. You see? I see. Cool, 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 dude. Bless you, Lava. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Well, all right. That makes sense to me, Chip. So let's see. We got uh, we got the prints, everything need done. All right. Time is it? Yeah, I think it's going to be a shorter day today. We did a pretty long stream yesterday. And I need to work on the script. So what we're going to do, Chaz, we're actually going to call it a day. We're actually going to call it a day today. I think we had a lot of fun today. Nah. Don't go. Nah, I've been, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been slack on that script a little bit. I need to get it done. I see how it is. I'm sorry, chat. I got to get the script done. Get here and you'll dip out. 
Don't you boo me, chat. Chat, you gotta realize... I mean, I might as well do it now because when World 6 comes out, dude, I'm going to be, like, not taking any breaks. You you do realize that when World 6 comes out, chat, there's going to be little to no YouTube content for a little while. All right? Because we're going to be doing such fucking hefty hours when World 6 rolls out. But with that being said, as being in stream chat, I got to go work on the new brand spanking new guy that I've been working on. And if you guys don't know what potential guide I'll be uh, working on, here's a little here's a little spoiler for you, dude. This is when this is the new guide that's coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, my dudes, thank you so much for watching. Is a World Six launch the best time to make videos? Yes and no. It kind of depends on the scenario. Like I might make a few videos, but I don't know if I'm going to be making a lot of videos because I'm going to be mostly focusing on stream, anyways. But with that being said. Thank you for all the primers today. Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you for the resubs and all that good stuff. Keeps the dream reality. Keeps the brother off the streets. Keeps the IBA rations nice and high. Thank you for another amazing week. It's good to be back, chat. Good to have all the good stuff. I'm glad we're back from the breaks. All that good stuff. And we got a lot of, lot of stuff happening. Uh, next week, hopefully, maybe we'll do a couple of IE, uh, a couple of TV reviews or IT reviews. We haven't decided what they're going to be. Uh, try to get those done, do some account reviews, all that good stuff. And uh, maybe I can get that overlay all set up and I'll show you guys on Monday what's going down. Just got to drop the VODs and people would eat them up. Yeah, absolutely. Drop the VODs, people will eat them up, bro. It's, if if I say World 5 release in the second VOD channel, dude, they're fucking going to watch that shit all the time. But uh, thanks for all the follows as well, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you guys again. But like I said, we'll be back at it on Monday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys want to come catch me live, come catch it, oh, good stuff, doing all that awesome stuff that we do, you know where we're going to be. But with that being said, Shet, I've been your Guildmaster for today. My name is Griffy Bit, proud owner and leader of this dedicated, hard-working, giga-chad, world six waiting, anime gacha-loving, enthusiast, itty-bitty army best games ever of idle android ios 2023 low phone online offline best itty bitty army and i'll see you guys on monday at 2 p.m pacific standard time i hope you guys stay safe happy grinding and peace out good night chat